Oh, bam. Biggity buck. What is up, you guys? What is up? Oh my gosh, I gotta change the... The, sh the, the gaming named Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon Emerald is here, everybody. Members! What's that? Is that a new emote? Gem gender ambiguous icon? Zerg from Toy Story mixed with Charizard? Oh my goodness, what is this? Make sure to like the stream, everybody. Make sure to like the stream. You know the vibes. Holy guacamole, bada bing, bada boli. Notification gang, yeah, where, where are the bells? If you're in the notification gang, um, use a bell emote. There's probably a bell somewhere, right? Yeah, let's use the bells. Notification gang? I, I'm my own notification, how about that? Yes. Oh, let's see if this works. Come on, FAQ. Come on. FAQ, please. Come on. You got this. You got this. Discord notifications count. Yeah. No way. Why doesn't it work? And like, does this work? You just knew you just had a feeling dude i it's literally a mod i don't know why it's not working that's so frustrating it like what if you have to do it twice do you have to do double exclamation point maybe With the gifted. Thank you, Michael H. Let's go. Let's go. Congrats. Welcome to the Berg. Guys, I am now 18 members away from getting a new emote slot. Why is Reggie still not blindfolded? This is a good point. This is a good point. I, li I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Hold on. We're going to help. Oh my gosh. This is a, this is a good point. Let, let, let's let's make Reggie steal blindfold. Very important. There you go. Oh, don't tell him, Wildcat. Ugh. Why do you suck, Streamlabs? Ugh. Hold on, you guys. I'm just... We gotta check one more thing. Maybe... I just, I just don't know why it's just deciding to not work now. I don't know why it's just like... Just, it just makes no sense. I just don't... I just don't know. perfect shape yes i don't i i am do you guys know why the exclamation point faq isn't working like genuinely i just i have no i have no clue why this doesn't work i just like why isn't it working why like it was working perfectly fine um the calc it's definitely not seeing a calculator amitya 
It's definitely <sighs> weird. Maybe Green Labs not working on YouTube. I don't know. Looks like we'll need a pinned comment again. Hold on a second. Let's do a pinned comment. Uh, oh, man. All right, you guys ready? Whoa, not that one. Not that one. There you go. Okay, so I got I got to change this little text thing. Um I don't know. How do I uh why well, like uh um maybe I go like uh check pinned comment FAQ Okay but now I gotta make this smaller See this is when it gets unfortunate right Ah, that's so lame I don't well hold on if I go like this, then... Food bleeds into the chat a bit. Yeah, we don't want it. That's unfortunate, though. Quite unfortunate that I have to have this in my description now. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay. Let me check my members. Uh, yes, what is up, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Um, we, if we get to 365, we get more emote slots. But yes, we do have a new emote. Chara Zerg is here, everybody. Chara Zerg. Um, what was I going to do? gonna do actually what is up what is up what is up you people that are watching me put a blindfold on the yap maxer returns yeah I am a yapper thank you Amitya. yeah I'm, I'm gonna start soon yes exactly Amitya. Now that I'm learning more about Factory, I definitely think it's one of the greatest things Pokemon created. I agree. Um, what was I gonna do? Um, did you do your duty and like the stream? Did you do? Did you do this? Yes, look at our look at our look at our new emote, everybody. Kara Zerg. Rip Blissey one. We did lose the Blissey emote, but that's okay. Okay, what was I gonna do? Um Got my water. My food is somewhere in there. I'll have that on lock. Okay. So annoying. Maybe we gotta add a little. Uh... Yes, ambitious. I'm having fun. Yeah, don't forget. To oh, also, I saw your guys' uh, fruit conversation yesterday, and I figured that I would share my favorite fruits. You ready? This is my top three fruits, probably. Well, 
Blueberry is number one. Blueberry is my number one fruit. All right. Blueberry is my number one fruit. Um, I'll say, okay, so I got this banana, right? I don't think bananas are my favorite fruit, but they're so, their utility is unmatched, right? You can just have a banana, like you can't carry blueberries around, but like bananas are easily number one for utility, taste, and uh, yeah, like utility, taste, healthiness. I mean, like they're just, it, it, it's just, it's great for utility. Yes. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Umbreon yet. You guys are surprised? Yeah, I think the next the next emotes that are on the chopping block are definitely the Umbreon one. And then, um, well, mainly the Umbreon one, I'd say, is on the chopping block. I think that's on the chopping block. Um, I think Lowland could be on the chopping block. Um, and then probably Latinos is on the chopping block. I think these three are on the chopping block. Um, I know Princess Bloopy the cat has not been on stream for a while, but I literally can never get rid of Bloopy as an emote, so. Um, two bananas per day. That's crazy. Yeah, it was one of the first emotes. Yeah, I think those three are on the chopping block. The Burge is back. The Burge. I thought you said the Bulge. Um, command updated. Maybe if we all refresh YouTube, Streamlabs will work. Come on, come on, Streamlabs. You got, you got this. Come on, buddy. Uh, I am at permission, everyone. Do we need to call Jessica? This is a good point. Let's call Jessica and then and then and then we'll we'll play. We gotta call Jessica. This is Jessica Minip, everybody. Oopsie. Okay, Jessica Minip, then we start. Promise. Jessica Minip, then we start. She came within a whisker of catching this tentacle, but it gave me the slip. I need to try harder. Hard. Interesting. See you around. All right, Jessica. All right. I get what you're trying to do, Jessica. You're trying to get me to come over. Tentacle, tent. Tent is a kind of house. You think I'm cool. But I'm not going to give in to your temptations, Jessica. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's do our proof standards. Okay, we're gonna start. You guys ready? Here we go. Well, let's see. Blindfold. Blindfold. All right, you guys can't see through it. There's nothing to see through. It also has these cuffs, so it blocks the bottom of my uh, thing. Let's do a display capture. All right. These are all the tabs that I have open. Right now, I'm about to X out of this. Goodbye. And I have to keep OBS open or else I literally can't stream. <laughs> um, I'll mi I minus it out when I play. Oh, I gotta do live split actually, hold on. I actually gotta, um, I gotta add live split. Hold on a second, so you guys can see that. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Now you guys, now you guys can see, um, live split is up. Obviously that doesn't give me any info. Um, the game, LOL and OBS. So there's nothing, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Um, all right, let's, okay. we got live split here. Is live split working? Boop. Boop. This is working. All right, that's working. Um, nothing is on in the background, right? Yep, nothing is on in the background. Everything should be good. Everything should be good. I got my nose plug in case that goes wrong. Um, is this covering the game at all? Yes. Okay. 
I think we're good to go then, you guys. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Let's go. Let's do it. Um. Oh, and I think I want to charge my... Ig ignore my shorts that don't match, okay? Ignore my non-matching shorts, okay? You guys are the only one that's the... I'm not matching, okay? I'm not... I'm definitely not matching, but who cares? Actually... <clears throat> I know, it's, it's horrendous. It's horrendously not matching. I know. We have water. I have my water right here. That's where my water is. And I have my banana right here. All right, let's go, you guys. I'm like 17 minutes in. It's time to start a run. Uh, my volume is all good. I also turned up the game volume for you guys. Do you guys, can you hear, wait, actually let's test something real quick. I'm gonna turn my, can you guys hear the cries? Cause um, my stream yesterday, for some reason, the, um, the cries were really quiet and I don't really know why. So let me just test something really quick. Tell me if you guys hear this good. Here, let's see. Do you guys hear this good? Is that loud for you guys? Why is it quiet, man? I just, I don't know if there's like, here, let me, is there a setting? Is there a setting that like, is there any sort of like, yeah. Like, here's what I have for my setting, right? Here, hold on. Cause I want you guys to be able to hear this. Is there something that I'm missing? Like, oh, whoopsie, you guys literally can't see anything that way. Hold on a second, hold on a second. What's up, Quack? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. What is wrong? I don't know what is quiet about it. Would it be sound effects? What do you mean? I just, I don't know. Like, I think this is correct. I just, I really don't... I don't know, is it like a... I, I just, I just have no clue. I, I just, I just, I literally have no clue. You guys have... Stereo and mono in game settings? Okay, let's try that then. Hold on. What the hell? This feels weird. Okay, do you guys hear a difference? What is the difference between mono and stereo? Is it gonna be weird for me? Hold on, is this gonna be weird for me? Or like...
not. Is it? Yeah, I'm turning off speed up. Dude, I don't like that, how that sounds for me, you guys. I don't like that. So it has, so it, di this doesn't change for you at all. Is the volume setting maxed? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to get on a run, by the way. I, I hate, I hate this, doing this. Um, tools, settings. Um, I, I can max it, but is that really doing anything? Here, okay, let's do that then. Maybe enhancements? I don't know. I, I just, I have no clue. Oh, I meant to click up. I had to click apply, right? Whoopsie daisy. Hold on. Don't I have to do apply? Oh no, that's okay. Is this... Okay, well, let's see. Hold on, I'm sorry, but I just... Oh, well, whoopsie, hold on. Is this all good? I hope you guys can hear them. Anyway, um, okay, so let's actually, I mean, let's just, I'm going to turn my speed up off, and then we will start. I'm sorry, guys, we'll start. We're going to start right now. Here we go. Let me just show you that I'm turning my speed up off. I feel like I need to do that. Um, for cuts, this needs to be cleared. Apply. Okay. What the hell was that? I didn't mean to full screen. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's actually run it, you guys. I'm not trying to stall. I just want to, because I, I was watching the VOD, because I, wa I skimmed through the VODs. So if you guys have conversations, I see them all. And I was listening to the stream, and I was like, dude, I could not hear the cries as a viewer. Like, yeah. But then again, I guess that, I guess that doesn't really matter for you guys, right? I, I guess that doesn't really matter. Anyway, whatever. I, yeah, I guess that really doesn't. Whatever. Um, okay, let's lock in. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready to finally go? Here we go. Closing OBS right now, so if you guys are wishing me good luck, thank you. OBS is down. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, guys, let's run it. Make sure to like the stream. Consider becoming a member. 18 members away from getting new emotes. Charizard in the cut. Yep, speed up is not working. Good. All right. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Live split. Let's see if it's working. Yes, that's working. Um, is my win counter reset? Yes. Now I'm closing OBS again. I got my water. I got a banana. Yes. Okay, let's run it. Here we go. Round one, pretty easy stuff. Let's just get some good and fast mods. Something fast. Not the best. Some buskin, whatever. Uh, I don't know if that's Chinchow or Quilava. 
Star you is fine. Execute is fine. Uh, okay. I guess I'll run it with, uh... I guess I'll go what? Star you execute Buskin? That makes sense. I just don't know if this is Chinchow or Kulava. Okay. Firewater grass. One of my keys is feeling sticky. I don't like that. Is that gonna bother me too much? I hope not. I hope my tape is... I hope I know where my tape is. So I put tape on the, the keys, by the way. Duct tape. Mining. Okay. Um... This is Minin. We love Minin. Minin's very good. Let's just go into Execute, because we Wallet only has Spark, and we can just Confusion it. There's the Charm. Yup. That's fine. Exe Ex execute's moveset is Call. C-A-L-L. -L. Confusion, Ancient Power, Light Screen, Leech Seed. Or Leech Seed, Light Screen. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm clicking Confusion. That's fine. Now, are we going to take mine in is the question. Because mine in's pretty good. Um, they're just charming again. Again, uh, random AI. Is my mic in a good spot? Yeah, my mic's in a good spot. So, um, random AI in rounds one and two. Completely random. A full 25% chance for every move to be clicked. Now, they should be dead. Wow. Wow. That's crazy how weak that is. Okay, well, I... Yeah, I got a confusion. Encore is fine. I mean, whatever. I could just swap out. I was clicking confusion anyway. Wow, that's like that's like incredibly weak, though. Um, that's Porygon. Um, eh, I might as well stay in. I don't really see a reason not to. Okay, they must have recycled. So this is Recycle, Agility, Icy Wind, Psy Beam. There's the Psy Beam. Yep. Okay, there's the Citrus activation from them. I guess I should Leech Seed at this point. That seems like a good idea. I can. Uh... I think this is Leech... No, no. Isn't this a Psychic Sandwich? I think this is Leech Seed. Yeah. Psychic Sandwich, meaning that the first move is a Psychic-type move, and the last move is a Psychic-type move. <laughs> they recycled. <laughs> I mean, that's whatever. I do kind of just want to go into Combuskin. Uh, maybe I'll Light Screen and go Combuskin here, yeah. Screw it. I'll just go Combuskin off of this. Agility, whatever. Yeah, I'll just go Combuskin so I can double kick it. I don't really feel like dealing with this recycled, you know, BS. Why are these sticky? Why are my keys sticky? From that honeydew on Friday? I mean, I didn't touch my computer all day yesterday, so... Because I touched grass. 
Actually, you guys want to know what I did? So, uh, yesterday I did this walk for, uh, um, um, SA awareness. And, uh, um, I had to wear heels. So I had, I had to walk a mile in heels. And I suck. Wait, what is this? Double kick ember or ember double kick? I think it's ember double kick. Um, yeah, this is fine. Um, and I had to walk a mile in heels, and I got absurd blisters! Because, uh, I have zero clue how to walk in heels. Oh my gosh, I must have crit on the first one, huh? Uh... Some sort of bird. Oh, Farf! That's Farf! That's a good mod, actually. That's Blaze. Ha! Huh. Yeah, so Farf is actually pretty good. Because, uh, Farf is... Agility... Agility, Swords Dance... Um, Slash. With Stick. So, big crit chance. With random AI, you can set up a lot on Mons with that Farfetch. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Haven't gotten to use it blindfolded, I don't think. But it also just doesn't fit the team. Now, do I want mine in? I feel like the answer's got to be yes that I want mine in. I'm just trying to think of, uh, am I just getting rid of Combuskin? I mean, that makes sense, right? Combuskin does help with grass types, but it's also like, eh, do I really need to? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to get rid of, um, 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 Combuskin. I mean, I just, like, mine in is so good. Maybe that's dumb. Uh... Because, like, what does this actually lose to, right? I don't think my team actually loses to anything. So maybe I should just keep. I could also get rid of Staryu for Minin, which I don't think is a bad idea since Combuskin beats other fire types. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's just get rid of Staryu. Yeah, Minin is very good in round one. Because it has Encore, and if you can lock opponents into random moves, uh, Encore is really good. Can't believe Charizard the villain ruined my run again yesterday. Or Friday, what is that? Nidoran, Nidorino. Um, okay, so I should probably go into... Well, they have, like... Bite. Wait, what is this? They have, like, a bite. So, I don't really want to go into execute and just lose. Um. Because I think I get to it KO'd. I'm just going to spark. I know there's poison point, but I'm just going to spark. Nice. Double kick, whatever. Um. I could go... Yeah, I'm gonna go into Execute right now. Because then I can Confusion it. Is that dumb, though? Nah, that's not dumb. Yeah, and then I'll just Confusion it. This is, this is the Nidorino, I think. Oh, no it isn't. That's Nidorino with Flatter. But don't I have Person Berry? I'm pretty sure I have Person. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, for some reason, a lot of round one and round two mons, they just... They just randomly gave Person. Uh, that's good for me, though. That's perfect. Plus one special attack. Execute's looking good. Uh, what is that? Sounded like a sand slash. Yep, with swift. How did it go first? Oh, I'm not plus one speed. I'm plus one special attack. Yeah, this is swift uh, sand slash. There's another swift. I wonder if I twit KO. Pretty sure this sand slash has some spit F. Oh, that that was a quick kill. Okay. Uh, Kadabra. I'll just confusion still. There, the Kadabra doesn't have Recover, so I'll just Confusion it down. Uh, I could Ancient Power, too. That's Future Sight. 
They have a Confusion, Future Sight, Roleplay. I forgot the last move. Might be Disable. Yeah, there's the Roleplay. Roleplaying Chlorophyll. But we're just trying to take it down, you guys. All right, guys, I have I have a discussion point for you. This is very important, you guys, okay? It's very important. So, I think there are, like, there's, like, five main... Oh, God, I died. There's, like, five main racket sports, right? Hear me out. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to swap, I meant to summary, but yeah, I forgot that it's swap and then summary. Um, I was going to say, there's five main racket sports. How would you rank them in order? Here are the five. You got tennis, table tennis, which is ping pong, badminton, pickleball, and racquetball. How would you rank those five in order? Tennis, table tennis, pickleball, racquetball, and Batman. How would you rank those in order? My ranking would be probably... I'm gonna go with table tennis, then tennis, then... Hmm. Then I'm gonna go with racquetball. No, no, then Batman, then racquetball, then pickleball. That's what I would do. But I like all of them. I think all of them are very cool in their own way. And I've, I've played all of them. And I've been, I've, I've been playing a bit of racquetball recently, and it's really cool. I think it's interesting. Not a lot of people play it, though, so it's kind of hard to, like, you know, join, like, a team or, like, a group. But I think it's interesting. What is that? Oh, that's Char- that's the Rhyhorn, because it sounds like Charizard, right? Um, my Rhyhorn matchup is actually kind of poop balls. Um, huh, that's actually kind of bad. I guess I'll go into Eggy. That's actually bad. Yeah, there's the face. Um... I am fine to leech seed this. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Two hits. Nice. Or that was a crit. Was that a crit? I don't know. I'm just going to confusion, obviously. Ancient power does nothing. That's fine. Again, that's why I leeched, so that if they dig, I just get more healing. Perfectly fine. And the animation doesn't even go through, so it saves time. Does nothing. Oh, they roared. Uh. Alright. I don't know if that's Machoke or Growlithe. Um, I'm assuming it's more likely to be Growlithe, because, like, they swapped into this exegu e Execute. So I'm just going to go straight into Combuskin, which walls it, because Growlithe... And it's probably Flash Fire Growlithe. Um, because, uh, what was I going to say? Um... Uh, Growlithe has Flame Wheel, Bite, Agility, something. I forgot what the other move is. Yeah, there's the Flame Wheel. Double Kick. Maybe two hit KO. Trying to flinch me down. Oh, maybe that... Was that a crit, maybe? I don't know. Or it was just a single hit. Text box? Um, I forgot what you are, but you sound like a rock type that I can double kick. 
Oh yeah, you're like a fossil or something, right? Oh, is that Kabuto? Something terrible. I know it's something terrible, so... Okay. We're just moving. I'm, I'm liking this team. This team is fine. It's not like anything amazing, but it's fine. Um, and I'm gonna keep Execute probably no matter what on this team, because it's the Grass type that's arguably best into other Grass types, because it can Confusion, um, Ivysaur, Roselia, and Weepin' Bell. The Grass Poisons, and Gloom. All four grass poisons, and then you just got like Bayleaf and then like Nuzleaf, but Nuzleaf isn't a threat. Uh, that's Kadabra. I'll just spark. Easy spark. Please don't do that. There's the future site. I'm fine with that. I don't think I kill with two sparks. Might be three or four. Table tennis is such a good sport, though. I love table tennis. Oh, uh, don't have synchronize? Nice. I think they're dead. I'll take the future site, but... That's a joke. Okay, I'm still alive. Um, I'm just gonna keep my mining alive, and I'm just gonna go into execu execute. This thing has low kick, rock tomb, foresight, scary face, I think. Yep, there's the face. My water bottle here. To Oh, there's the foresight. Dude, how- this is so weak. I can't get over how weak this execute is. How are you not 2-KOing on a choke? That's crazy to me. Uh... I don't know, something bad. Flail. Oh, it's that Eevee. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. This thing's so annoying. It's not it's not bad, it's just slow. It has Endure, Flail, Charm, Attract, I think. No, Charm. No, no Attract, no. Endure, Flail, Charm, Attract. Yes, yes. Which is fine. I mean, I, I'm just gonna go into Combuskin. I don't even know why I'm staying in. This is just time loss. I'm just go into Combuskin and double kick its ass. That's fine. I bet I still kill it. There's another leech. How is that thing faster? Oh my god. There's the Salak berry. Watch watch out everybody. Nice. It's dead. <sighs> we're not swapping at all. I mean, there's just no way we're not swapping.
Just trying to stay as calm and exerting as little energy as possible before round three, basically. Uh, Ivysaur or Dragonair? Um, sounds more like an Ivysaur to me. Or, I mean, a, a Dragonair to me. No. No, it does sound more like a Dragonair to me. Uh, what does that mean for me? I'm, I'm gonna... I guess I just go to Kabuskin no matter what? Question? Yeah, I guess that's the play. This is Kambuskin, I think. I don't think I need to check summary. Oh, it is, uh, it is Ivysaur. This is actually gonna chunk me for a bit. I'm gonna Ember. Oh my gosh, it's faster. Kambuskin, you're so slow. I'll, maybe I'll two it KO it. I don't Oko it. Oh, nice burn. Unless that just puts it into overgrow. Hey, I might die here. Nice, we lived. They're definitely dead. They're definitely dead. Nice. Lombre. Well, hopefully they don't click 25% fake out. Oh, I, I'm gonna go live this absorb, right? Oh, I must have been at like... I must have been below 5 then or something stupid. Um, yeah, that Lombre is horrendous. That Lombre is absorb, water pulse, fake out, brick break. Which sounds like a font, which sounds like an okay set, but then you look at Lombre's base stat total and you realize it's horrendous. Nice. Obviously, worst case scenario is Water Pulse. No, that's fine. It's just time loss. I'm saying time loss as if this is a speed run. I really only have the timer up just because it's like it is kind of a. I mean, this is a rare blindfolded challenge, right? Wait, hold on. Uh, ooh, that's Flaffy? Or is that Fanfy? Actually, pretty... I'm gonna spark it. It's a Flaffy. Um, I can Encore into three of its moves. See what I get. I'm static. I don't want to Encore into Shockwave. I want to just spark it. I want to Encore into Cotton Spore, Light Screen, or T-Wave. That's Light Screen. Oh, but I'm slower, so it's... Oh, that's weird. It's actually kind of awkward to Encore. Oh, I hope they don't click Shockwave then. Just hope. Oh my gosh. Please paralyze them. That's crazy. That's 25%. Yes! Oh my gosh, they did it again! <laughs> That's crazy! 25% chance, by the way. I wonder if I'm faster with uh, the Salak. If I could get a spark off or something. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, execute, please. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, so I'm gonna leech seed it, definitely. Try light screen first. I gotta leech seed it. This is actually gonna do okay damage, because Execute doesn't have good special defense. Yes, I hit. Thank God. I don't know if I light screen here or not. I think their light screen is worn off now. Oh, gee, I don't know. I think I got a confusion them. That's... No. Oh. No, I'm gonna light screen. I'm gonna light screen. Jesus, hell. Okay, now I got a confusion. 
Laffy putting me on the ropes. Oh, how long are you on cord? Confused, confused. That's fine. Maybe we're doing okay, actually. I don't know. I mean, I'm just spamming confusion no matter what. There's the cotton spore. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. We don't care about that. What was I even talking about before this? I was talking about something. I forgot what I was talking about. I... Was it something important? I feel like it was relatively important. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wasn't. What was I talk- I swear- What was I talking about? It wasn't the racket. It was, uh... But I don't even remember what I was talking about. Obviously, if I could look at chat, you guys could tell me, but rip. Uh... Fucking hell. I don't know what that is. You sound like a bird, but you're not a bird. I'm just gonna spark it. 420, spark it up. Just kidding, it's 421. The hell? Oh, Magby. Oh, that's gonna do damage. That's a- I'm just gonna spark it again. It's- surely it's dead. Nice. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna spark it. Not <laughs> nice. Hey, that 30% paralysis chance on Spark is real. Look at oh, Lickitung. Am I dead? I could be dead. This is Lickitung though. Lickitung is really good. Something interesting is uh, um, let's see if I die first. Yep, I'm dead. Um, okay. Something interesting about Lickitung one is uh, Phi Sigma in the chat. No, not the fraternity. Um, did a a, a, a test where he made a like a program that pits every round one Pokemon versus each other, where one side has smart AI and the other side has random AI like in round one. And you know what Pokemon had the highest win percentage? It was Lickitung one. It has Slam, Brick Break, Mud Slap, and Lick um, with Citrus Berry. So it's kind of neat. So theoretically, statistically, Lickitung is the best Pokemon to have in the back to try and 1v1 something. In in theory, if that kind of, that might hold that Lickitung has the best um, odds to win something one-on-one, -on -one, which I think is really interesting. Anyway, uh, we got to double kick your ass. I wonder if it dies. Nice. See, we got left. Uh, oh, fur it, double kick. Yeah, so this fur is weird. It has slam, protect, follow me, helping hand. I guess made for doubles, but it's just a horrendous set. A far cry from fur it two, which is found in round three. Nice. They either clicked helping hand or slam missed there. Or the one in, like, a billion chance that Protect fails, which has a microscopic chance to fail, actually. If you guys didn't know that, or is that a Ruby Sapphire only thing? I don't know, but there is actually a microscopic chance. Very, very microscopic chance that Protect fails in Gen 3. Um, I had a little video that actually talked about it in a, um, uh... LRXE cult classic video, which was a uh, jump fluff versus Entei, an adventure into insanity. 
check it out. Jump Fluff versus Entei and Adventure into Insanity is an old LRXC cult classic. When I had like, you know, like 500 subs, like before I got to 20k, uh, I was making videos and Jump Fluff versus Entei and, and Adventure, capital ADV, into Insanity is a, a great video. I, I really, I really think I did a good job. Check, check that out on my channel if you want something to watch. Anyway. Uh... I don't know, you sound, you sound weak to electric. I was correct. Nice, I'm getting all the paras. Ancient power. I have no clue what this is. Ah, that's Corsola. And it has mirror coat. So it's actually kind of scary. We're cruising though. What is that? Sounds like that. Is that a ground type? Oh, Nidorino, duh. Hot slap, whatever. Um, I'll just keep pressuring it. Oh, all the paras. Iron Salak. No, I'm gonna keep mining healthy. Uh. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep mine in healthy. That could be useful. I'm going to go straight into um, the execute. <laughs> Saving time. Man, what was I talking about? Oh, focus band, you little monster. Damn it. Damn you. Bag car. Go. Good night, Mad Cargo. I'm gonna leech seed this. Um, this thing has acid armor. Now, I'd be fine if. I mean, I'm just gonna go straight into Combuskin and double kick it. Let's just speed this up. Let's speed it up with the Combuskin. Sandstorm. Flame. I don't think I kill with two leech seeds plus a double kick. I doubt it, but we'll see. However, I think this has lax incense, so I could miss. Acid armor, whatever. 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 Dude, Charizard? Members, spam Charizard right now. Man, I that is that is such a great new emote. It, it's the perfect emote, right? Because you can use it. You can use it when Charizard comes out. It's a villain, just like Zerg, right? Charizard, Charizard, but also that Zerg conversation yesterday was hilarious about Zerg being a gender ambiguous icon. That was so good. Charizard is just a great, great emo. All right, we're on to round two. Let's go. That, that was a relatively good and quick round one. I'm happy with it. I don't feel very fatigued at all. I do want some carrots, though. I really want some carrots, which I have in my fridge. 
I, I might invest in some carrots. Get some carrots. Um... Yeah, I'll get some carrots. Hold on. After I get to the draft. Oh, uh, what's that? Celio? Let's go, Celio! Okay, hold on. I go get carrots now, blindfolded. Left and right, okay. Carrots taste good, everybody. Okay. What do we got? Wait, that's not Celio, is it? Is it? Why am I forgetting Celio all of a sudden? I don't know. That's Soul Rock. Um, not very good. Graveler, guess the magnitude! Guys, we get to play the we get to play our favorite game. Guess the magnitude with Graveler 1. Uh is that that's Ponyta, right? Pretty bad. Like a really horrendous Pokemon. But god damn it, I might take it just because of grasses. Ooh, what's that? Haunter? Shadow Punch Haunter, that's interesting. Oh, what is that? It's like Dragonair, right? Isn't that Dragonair? Oh, this this draft is actually kind of poopy. So I need something in the waters. So I gotta take Haunter. I mean, just to, like, I mean, I have to take Haunter. Then I guess I'm taking Dragonair, maybe? This is actually kind of awkward. Haunter's actually really good into all the grass types. That, so, uh, Nuzleaf is not in round two. So I'm feeling good about Haunter here. Isn't Celio? What is that? No, oh, maybe it is. I I'm like really. I don't know why that slip. I don't know why that doesn't sound like Celio. But I'm pretty in it. That has to be Celio. This is Dragonair as hell. And Dragonair is Cheeks. I mean, look at its moveset. It's Dragon Breath, Wrap, Safeguard, something. I forgot what the other one is. I can't take. I mean, this thing is so bad. Like, at least Celio can deal some damage, right? Or like... You know, like, Celio can Ice Ball on stuff. That's pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going Graveler. Haunter in the back. Oh, no, that's Swalot! No, 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 that's Swalot. That's Swalot. That's why I was... 
I knew that sounded off. That swa- How did I forget what Swalot sounds like? Okay, this changes everything now. That's actually really good for me. Do I want to lead it? No. Well... I'm really bad into psychics, which would literally just be like Kadabra. Would I- I would only be- I would really only be scared of Kadabra. Yeah, we're gonna go swallow out in the back. What does Celio sound like? Because that was weird that I thought that that was Celio. I wonder, like... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. That's Parasect. No guess the... We're just gonna go straight into Swalot here. Um, this Parasect does have Psybeam, but again, the AI is completely random here. It is completely random here, so, uh... Not a high chance they click it. That's funny. So, this Swalot, by the way, has Sludge, Stockpile, Spit Up, and Swallow, which is oh, awesome. Great stuff. So, I'm gonna Sludge it. What? We're Sludge! Hold, wait. Where the fuck is Sludge? That's Stockpile? Okay, that means Sludge has to be last then, right? Okay, well, I have one Stockpile. Do I, like... Can I just... This has to be Sludge. Okay. So then I wonder where Spit Up and Swallow are. Kind of unfortunate. Did they miss Flash, I assume? That's, that's fine. I'm still sludging. And I have a stockpile up, so I can, uh... Oh, no. So I can, uh, spit up or swallow. I mean, probably swallow. But, um, yeah. Uh, fur it? No, it sounds different than fur it. You're something terrible. I'm just gonna sludge you. Weeping Bell? I don't know what this is. No, it can't. Oh, Bayleaf. Got him. Well, I can actually set, I can actually uh, spit up or swallow on this. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is swallow right here. Yay! We healed a little bit. <laughs> Oh, hit a move. Safeguard, whatever. A little bit too late, yeah. Uh, Charmeleon? I kind of don't want this to set up SD. That's kind of scary. be hidden. No, that, that's fine. I don't care. Um, let's go Haunter, maybe? Just to make sure this is Haunter. Could be Magneton. I could be messing up. Nope, that's Haunter with Shadow Punch. Let's go. Do I like my team? I'm not going for the Parasect swap, because I really don't want, uh, I don't even know what the hell that other Mon was before Charmeleon. I already forgot what the Mon before Charmeleon was. Um, oh, Bayleaf. Yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, Bayleaf does make sense in the waters, but Charmeleon doesn't make sense in the waters. Swalot is 
spine into waters. So, I will rather keep. Unless I could guarantee something like Gloom, then I would take Gloom over Swalot. Um, but, uh, if it's not Gloom, I'm not taking it. Maybe I'd take Rose, actually. I'd probably take... No, I wouldn't take Rose. I'd take... I'd take Weepin' Bell, though. That is... That's giraffe rig, right? That's scary. I gotta earth I gotta magnitude it. Alright, chat. Guess the magnitude, you ready? Mods? Man, my Discord. If you guess the number of this magnitude and you show me, you will get the seismologist role in my Discord. It'll have a fancy color, you'll be popular and famous, and you get to brag to everybody else in the chat. What is this magnitude going to be? Here we go. Here we go. I'll, I'll wait. I know. There's like a chat delay. You've got to think. If you guess five, you're lame. You know that's the most likely, but if you guess it, you're lame. All right, here we go. Just kidding. You guys are all awesome. You guys are all awesome for being here when I can't even see what you guys are saying. Here we go. What is that? Wish. Huh? What was that? How did I kill it? That's Tentacool, right? Which has Bubble Beam. Um, but I really want to stay in Magnitude. I'm not switching to Haunter, and obviously I'm not going straight into. Well, do I just go into Swalot? Is that the lame move? I'm. I'm. Should I stay in? How cool am I? How cool am I to stay in? Yeah, theoretically, I could go um, stockpile, 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 and then I could uh, um, spit up on the tentacle. Maybe I'll just do that. Not worth the risk, right? Yeah, it's not worth the risk. Wait, what? what the hell are you? That was a crit. What are you? Silverwind sleep powder? What? Oh, Venomoth? Or, like, Butterfree or Venomoth or something? Um... Oh, I hella should have stayed in. Well... I'll try to burn a sleep turn. Wait, what? I woke up! What is happening? Okay, I'm stockpiling. Yeah, you have Psy Beam. That's kind of why I wanted to swap out. But you're going to get spat on after I do this again. No! Okay, you ready for the, sp the spit up, you guys? What the hell skill swap? All right, that didn't do as much as I wanted. This is unfortunate. Oh no. I'm kind of letting Swalot go at this point. Unfortunate, I'm gonna sludge. Or not. This is whatever. Um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna keep Graveler in in Magnitude now. Or do I Rock Throw? I guess I Rock Throw. Yeah, I'll just Rock Throw it. Alright, now I have Liquid Ooze. I guess. 
Pog. Uh... Some sort of flying type. Or not. What the hell was that? I have no clue what this is. to this. Man, I don't know. I forgot. Uh, obviously not worth my time. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Who did I kill at first? It was a... What did I... What did I... Wait, what did I... What did... Gravel or kill? Um, it was that was a giraffe rig, right? I kind of like giraffe rig more than um haunter. But yeah, let's do it. Oh wait, no. A giraffe rig? This is giraffe rig, right? Yeah, it had wish. And I must have crit it or hit it with a mag 10. So I must have hit it with a magnitude 10. I don't know how else. I don't know. Uh. Oh no, that's artillery. Um. Octillery is a very, very good round two Pokemon. Octazooka, Aurora Beam, Psy Beam, and Rock Blast. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to try to handle it with the uh, um, Giraffe Rig. And Swalot. Let's just go I'm just going to go Rig right away and just try to stomp it or Psy Beam it. Nice, into the side beam. Yep, there's my side beam. There's the Zooka. Ah, it sucks. Uh, I'm gonna wish. I'm already at my Pattaya? Oh no, that's their Shell Bell. Um, do I need to wish? Uh... No, I'm just gonna side beam up. Oh, that's crazy! I killed him. That's Arbok. Four distinct cries. I'm just gonna side beam it. They're faster. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I guess it's max speed then, huh? All right, guess the magnitude, everybody. You guys got five seconds to guess this magnitude. You type right away, right now, right now. There's a stream delay. You better type right now. Go. Oh, nice dig, Arbok. You're doing great. You're doing really good. That was a great dig. Catch this magnitude. Oh, Roselia. Uh, I'll just Earthquake it, or Magnitude it. There's the Spore. Cotton Spore, that is. By the way, if you're new here, 
And you have doubts. You're questioning. How is this possible? Check out the FAQ that is in the pinned comment. Stupid Streamlabs is not working, so you can't just type in exclamation point FAQ, unfortunately. You can either check the pinned comment or the description of this live stream, and it has a really good FAQ that I made. Now I'm dead. That's okay, because I have Swalot. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not going to lose. It's just like, because they can only hit me with Magical Leaf. They have Magical Leaf, Toxic, Grass Whistle, and then Sweet Scent. This is just getting, it's just slow. The Leaf. They literally can't win. Go. Yeah. Now, am I taking Octillery? That thing's a shooter. I I want to. I really want to. Um. Oh, but Swalot makes more sense. I think Swalot actually, or do I just take Octillery on lead over Girafferig? I mean, that makes sense to me. Um... I mean, Giraffrig's a good mon. I don't like that my Steel-type matchup is bad right away. So I'm, I'm actually gonna swap. I'm gonna swap. Octillery is one of the best mons in round two. So I'm gonna get rid of Giraffrig. The Giraffrig, right? No, 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 no. No, yeah, it is, it is. Wait, no. Wait. Oh, yeah. You're done. You did a good job, Giraffe Rig, but Octillery's here. Hello, Tropius. Tropius is maybe, it's a, it's a very top five Pokemon in round two. Magical Leaf, Aerial Ace, Steel Wing, and Whirlwind. Um, I'm just gonna go into Swalot though, cause Swalot can obviously handle it pretty well. Let's go Swalot. Wow, they clicked the perfect move, that's annoying. Oh, they clicked Whirlwind. There's no way I'm faster, so they had to have clicked Whirlwind, right? What? Really? Am I faster? And I still didn't kill them. Wow. Healing, that's annoying. I don't think that defense raise matters. There's the citrus berry. This is another reason why Tropius is really good. So, uh, Phi Sigma uh, also did a test with uh, round two. And every round two mon pitted against each other where one side has smart AI and the other side has random AI. Tropius came out on top as the mon with the highest win percentage. That's Combuskin, which, which, well, oh, am I going to swap? Uh, I don't think I even go to Octillery here. Well, no, I kind of want to keep this in case there's a Grass-type in the back. That's why I am going to go into Octillery. 
Um, but yeah, I just think that's interesting. So yeah, Tropius is technically, arguably, the best Pokemon to have in the back overall, as it has the best odds to 1v1 something. I just think that's so cool. Um, okay. Go to Pokemon, let's go to Octillery. That better be Octillery. Sorry. Quick attack, whatever. Zuka time. Oh, that was a crit. That first one was a crit. It took too long. Thankfully, Buskin is dead, and I get I get some Shell Bell. Tough squad so far. Uh, sounds like an angry boar, so I think that's Grumpig, which is a good mod. Um, let's just get Azuka off. Wait. No, that that's that's Vigoroth. Never mind, that's Vigoroth because it clicked uproar. Which I'm very fine with. I'm just gonna earthquake this thing if it's locked into uproar. Or is Brick Break more damage? One fifth. No, well, magnitude. No, Brick Break is on average more damage, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it is, yeah. Yeah, because 170, 150. The only magnitudes that do more damage, I think, are uh, 9 and 10. I have, I don't know if I've used Vigoroth one. Um, I'm not sure. The real question is, do I want that Tropius? I'm feeling like the answer is yes, because that was the lead, right? It went Tropius, Buskin, Vigoroth. Yeah, why don't, why don't, why wouldn't I take it? Well, I guess I, I do need my last mod because because I'm playing Gravel Artillery. I do want my last mon to be as good into grass types as possible. And I guess technically Tropius, like, you know, it's weak to, it's weak to poison from Gloom and Weepin' Bell. Um, maybe I'm just gonna keep Swalot. Huh. Is that weird? Is that a weird play? I don't even think it is. I'm just going to keep Swalot. I'm just going to keep. Like, Tropius is... I think Swalot just feels so secure. Into those mons that I'm, I'm just going to keep Swalot. Even though I think Tropius is a good mon. Maybe this is the wrong decision. I don't know. Uh, It's either Dragonair or Ivysaur. That one sounds more like Dragonair... But I am afraid of Ivysaur, so I think I still have to go into Swalot. No matter what, I have to go into Swalot. That's what I'm going to do. And I mean, Swalot uh, sits on Dragonair anyway. I could actually probably fully stockpile up on it. So let's do that. Yep, Deep Breath Dragonair. You know, I mean, I was I was certain it was Dragonair, but just in case, because there's the Dragonair and Ivysaur are so similar. Um, so am I going to use this opportunity to set up a stockpile? Um, I feel like I can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I kind of feel like yeah, I can. I don't. I'm going to sludge first, actually. That's the, what is that? Leer. Oh, it has Leer. That's right. That's the fourth move. Leer. Okay, poison, but it could have shed skin. Okay, didn't get it there. Um, do I want to stockpile? Yes. Just once. Well, no, now that it's poisoned. Well, I don't know.
see if it poisons still. Oh wait, it's not. Safeguard, that's fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up on this, right? I think I, I'll heal to full on this swallow. Wait. No no, this is swallow. Wrap, whatever. I love Swallow's sound. And I know its animation is good too. It has like the little hidden power balls that go up, I think. And then like, I think it like eats it coming down and then it has like that healing look. I love that animation. God, Gen 3 is so awesome. Okay, I'm at minus two defense. Gotta remember that. I'm just gonna sludge away though. I'm gonna just keep sludging. That's fine, it's not doing anything. That's fine. Para was bound to happen. That's fine. There you go. Um, is that Parasect? Oh, they sent it in because it's weak to poison and it has a super effective move in Psybeam. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, bless me. Um, I mean, I'm still nervous about grass types. Other grass types in the back. I'm going to swap out here. I'm going to go into my Graveler. Well. Yeah, I'm going to go Graveler. I'm going to rock throw it. Nice. Oh, that was a crit, right? That did way too much. Am I bleeding? Hold on. Okay, put them in their citrus, so I'll just rock throw again. I do appreciate how uh, Rock Throw is like a smaller rock slide, audio-wise and sight-wise. Uh, that's a furret. Brick break. Protect, whatever, just wasting my time. This is a definite win, though. There's the follow me. I should to it KO. This thing does have max HP, so it probably eats this. Oh, stop it. Stop wasting my time for it. <coughs> Am I swapping? No, right? Not for for it. I'm not going for a uh, dragon air. That makes no sense. The mon is pretty bad. A pretty bad Pokemon. Am I in the lobby? No. One more battle, maybe. Yeah, I'm just keeping. I mean, I'm, I'm just keeping. No reason to not. Swalot has become a quite a feature Pokemon, hasn't it? In a blindfolded battle factory, I've used it like probably three times in round uh, round three, and now I'm using it for the first time in round two. It's kind of neat. What is that? Seeking. Um. Oh, awkward matchup for me actually, because uh. Seeking has um, Agility, Swift, Water Pulse, and Psy Beam. So that's actually a really good matchup spread versus my team. Um, oh, wow. That's interesting. So I guess I have... To, I feel like I have to go Octillery here. And just like Psy Beam it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. There's the agility. It doesn't matter, though. We're just looking for a confusion, and we get Shell Bell Recovery, too. There's the Swift. Whatever. Oh, that's Aurora Beam? Attack drop? What? 
Okay, well then, Psybeam's 100% bottom left. There's agility. That's embarrassing. I thought Psybeam was top right. I was really confident on that, too. Yep, get that shell bell going. Yeah, I can't recall what this Seeking has as an item. Swift, that's fine. Not doing anything. We're at least doing some damage with Psybeam. It's probably not a lot. But we're also trying to get that confusion chance going off on Seeking. Um, can't wait to um, get back to the Battle Pyramid Challenge. Like, if I... If I, uh, um... Let's say I get the gold symbol today. Um, for the next two to three weeks, I will be doing Battle Pyramid. Um, because my plan is I'm gonna return to level 100 singles attempts in the summer. So, level 100 world record attempts singles in the summer. Um, and if I do my blindfolded challenge before that, um, in that in-between time, I'm gonna fill that gap with more of that Battle Pyramid challenge, which is kind of exciting. Um, yeah. What? Really? Okay, I'm out of the... So I was barely in the red, so they can't kill me here. Oh, this is gonna do the most to me, though. Ugh. Yes! I think they're dead. Wow. Damn. Well, I'm going to swallow out, right? Cause I'm not I'm not gonna get water pulsed. Yes, good. No side beam. They they gotta be dead. Come on. There you go. Alright. Hopefully no ground types. A buskin? Um yeah, I'll just sludge. Good. Good good poison. See what they do. I'm fine with that, whatever. Oh my god, dude. I'm still gonna sludge. I'm not gonna go into Graveler and take damage on Double Kick. Oh no! That's Quillfish! Um... Oh, fuck. Oh, I need my Swalot to die, actually. Because this thing has Minimize. I am not losing to Minimize Bubble Beam Quillfish, dude. Is that real, dude? Oh my god, help me. I need this thing to bubble beam my Swalot. I'm not gonna 1v1 it, so I don't even see the point of doing damage, if that makes sense. No magnitude can kill it. I'm gonna sludge it, I guess. I mean, okay, that's something, I guess. There's the pin missile. There you go. Get a good crit. Doesn't matter. Well, I guess it helps with magnitude ranges. There you go. This is close. I'm happy with living there. I want to get more chip 
as much chip as possible. I died a burn, I think. Okay, that's so funny that the burn was actually kind of good there. But I am dead to a Bubble Beam. Well, maybe Bubble Beam doesn't kill because it's a Quillfish. That's what we gotta hope. Don't Bubble Beam, man. Yes. Oh, well, that's that's bad. I got a hit. But it it's better than Bubble Beam. Yes! Please die. Yes! Wow, Quillfish 2 of all things put us at a pin. And that Seeking was an awkward matchup. I think that was Battle 7 though, right? Really? Okay, um... Well, I can't face the Seeking again, which is nice. So I'm just gonna keep. Those are just some awkward matchups at the end. I think my team is solid and fine. Hit him on top. This thing... I'm gonna... Uh, do I want to go into Octillery or Swalot? Because this thing does have Dig. Um... I'm gonna go... This is Triple Kick, Mock Punch, Quick Attack, Dig. I feel like I kind of like Swalot here, honestly. I like, I like the idea of Swalot. But I don't like taking Dig. I'm gonna go Octillery. I think keeping Swalot for a Grass type in the back is more important, and I can side beam this. That's fine. Quick Attack. Well, is there a difference between Mock Punch and Quick Attack? Like, sound wise? I actually don't know. Yeah, mate. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know. This is max spidef, I'm pretty sure, so this might eat two. That's my shell belt. Yep, I figured. I think. Oh, is that lychee? Do they have lychee? Yep, I put him in a lychee range, which is kind of scary. But I I mean, uh, could I have played around that? No, because I don't know if Psybeam was a 2-8 KO or not. Okay, so that one was more Mach Punch, right? Because it like it, it, it felt different than that than the previous moves clicked. That was probably Mach Punch, I'm guessing. Sableye. I mean, I just kind of want to stay in and Zooka it. I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Let's just stay in and Zooka. Um. Oh, I'm dead. And all right, let's go Graveler. Guess the magnitude. Here we go. This is Fake Out, Confuse Ray, Knock Off, Feign Attack. We're obviously very okay with Fake Out and Knock Off, uh, but Confuse Ray and Feint Attack are bad. That's so bad, actually. Nice. I'm pretty scared to stay in. I kind of want to go into Swalot and, like, use Stockpot. No, they can confuse me. Never mind. I'm just going to stay in. That's fine. Don't care. Ugh. Nice. Come on. Graveler, please. Yes.
Uh, Delcaddy. Yeah, I'll just stay in. Oh, this might have been dumb because they could have cute charm. Maybe I should have magnituded. Well, they have cute charm. Like, we could be opposite genders. Oh, I already knocked him down to citrus. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just going to keep brick breaking. There's the heal bell for no reason. Delcaddy hasn't been on my team for a while. Nice. Okay, I think that was the last battle of round two. This, sh this should be round three now. Here we go. Let's go. So, round three is a bit more difficult. So, my the Pokemon that I get in my draft are nine IVs. So, that's like their stats. They have nine... Nine out of 31, right? Um, the uh, um, Noland's Pokemon... So, I have to face Factory Head Noland on this round. He has 15 IV Pokemon. Also, he has totally smart AI. So he'll not he'll he'll use his smart AI and he always has a stat advantage, and that's because um, uh, if I swap for a Pokemon, those Pokemon will have three IVs. Um, also, the AI in this round is still mostly completely random, except they now know about um, type immunities, so they won't Thunderbolt to Ground type, and they know that if I'm status, they won't status me again. But other than that, every other move is completely random. Let's see what I get. Kecleon, uh, not the best. This is a choice band trick with uh, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, and Skill Swap. Yeah, not the best. I wish it had Normal Stab, but it doesn't. This also means no choice band for it or Lanoon in my draft, which sucks. That's Combuskin again. That's the Flamethrower Sky Uppercut set, but I don't think this set is very good because it has max attack, max special attack, no speed, no bulk. Um, I'll take it if I need to. Is that Soul Rock or Banette? Oh, is that Soul Rock or Banette? That's gotta be Soul Rock because it sounds more UFO like. Um, this is the Quake Slide Overheat Soul Rock. This is a good mod. Um,. Wildcat is higher on it than I am, but I do I do think it's good. I just I I'm not super high on it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, this is good. Um, also, just to be clear, because some people might be like, why is he on the move screen, right? I don't need to be on the move screen to tell you what the Pokemon is. You ready? Watch this. Arbok, four distinct cries. This is Sludge Bomb, Earthquake, Iron Tail, Glare. All right, I don't need to look, all right? I'm just doing this so that you guys get a better viewer experience knowing what the mons are. Oh, uh, what is that thing? Oh, what is that mon? Hold on. Are you good? Is this Hitmonchan? Not Cloyster. This is this the dynamic punch hit mod chan? I don't want to take this. Mag car. I'm not taking mag cargo. Oh, my draft is terrible. Okay. Well, it's definitely Arbok Soul Rock. Jesus. Um. I feel very weak to uh um waters Oh, I forgot. Is there is is this does this thing have iron tail somewhere else? I know it's sludge bomb EQ iron tail glare. I know glare is the last move and sludge bomb is the first one. I'm pretty sure. And then it's earthquake. It might be iron tail before earthquake. It might be something weird like that, right? I don't know. What is this? Hold on. What is... What is that? that that's got to be Hitmonchan. I don't think it's Lickitung. It has to be Hitmonchan, right? It has to be Hitmonchan. 
Um, which I'm not taking. Am I taking Buskin? It's either Buskin or Kecleon in the back. Um... So, let's see. Solrock and Arbok, they have good physical coverage. They're fine. They both have Earthquake, which is huge. And they also both have ways to hit Flying types and Sludge Bomb and Rock Slide. What are they weak to, though, right? It is nice that Solrock resists, is immune to ground and resists Psychic. That's actually a pretty stellar core. Um, but I'm nervous about Grumpig. That's one thing I'm really nervous about. Grumpig in round three is very good. Psychic and then all of the elemental punches. Uh. I mean, it's Kecleon or but I mean, why would I want Combuskin, right? I feel like Combuskin's the misplay, right? But what is Kecleon doing? I, I don't think Kecleon is good at all. And is it is it seismic toss instead of brick break? I don't know. I have a personal connection to Kecleon though. Kecleon, um, in Generation 3 1v1, I innovated Kecleon in that competitive metagame. So offensive electrics were really good, like Raikou and Zapdos, and Ke Kecleon's color change ability combined with Choice Band, meant that it did really well into, like, a lot of special attackers. Um, like, you know, Zapdos and Raikou. And it had Trick Choice Band, so you could trick Stallmons, like Registeel and Vaporeon, and then rest up and win. So, Kecleon actually had a niche, and then the meta kind of adapted to Kecleon a little bit, and Kecleon is now not very good at all. But Kecleon did have a niche that I pioneered, so I think that's kind of fun. Anyway... I'm yapping. Um. Buskin or Keck? Like, what is what is Solrock and Arbok not good into, right? Like, ground types, right? I just feel like, in general, Combuskin's gonna perform better. You know, it's interesting, Kabusk, or, uh, um, uh, Kecleon's also better into, like, Banet, for example. Banet, it's better into, um, I just feel like it might be more consistent with the bulk that it has. Am I bleeding? Um, uh, I mean, I... I just really hate Combuskin. I think it's a really bad Pokemon. And it's not like... Yeah, I just hate how slow Combuskin is. I hate it. I think it's so bad for Combuskin. I think Kecleon just gets more. So I'm going to go Keck in the back. So I'm going to lead Arbok because it could have Intimidate. It either has Intimidate or Shedskin. It's 50% chance. Or do I lead? No. I definitely go Arbok, lead. Go Solrock. Let's go Keck in the back. First time using Kecleon, so let's run it. I definitely have not ever used Kecleon blindfolded, so let's see how this goes. I know it's Trick, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, and then Skill Swap. Maybe there'll be some weird skill swap strats with like Rock Slide, Earthquake, Soul Rock. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now I forgot what was in front of me. I was over focusing on listening to Intimidate. Oh no. Oh. Do 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 do. What is that? Sounds very Gen 2. It's not Noctowl or Merc. Is it Murkrow? No. Do do do. 
Oh, wow. That was dumb. Why would I was over listening to, um, I was over listening to, uh, um, the Intimidate. But I kind of heard it, but. Doo doo doo. That could be Merc. What am I gonna. Is it a rock type? There's no way it's a rock type. I'm just gonna sludge bomb it, and I think I will be fine. And I'm faster. Oh, no. Okay, so it clicked something that failed. Oh, pseudo wudo. What did it miss? Oh, it missed Mega Kick. So this is Low Kick, Earthquake, Mega Kick, Self Destruct, Pseudo Wudo. Clearly, the play is to go to Soul Rock. Or I can Earthquake it. There's the Mega Kick. Now, is it Quake Slide or Rock Slide Earthquake? Let's see. I think this might be Rock Slide Earthquake, but I see Quake Slide all the time, so I'm gonna click this hoping it's Earthquake. Yep, it's always Quake Slide, it's always Quake Slide. Hopefully they don't boom. Nice, that, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, don't I have Cosmic Power? I guess I could've, uh, I could've gotten cheeky and tried to Cosmic Power once, that could've been fun, but nah. And now, is this Focus Band? I don't know. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Not the People's Clamp, no! Oh, 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 oh. I just give this a- I- oh my god, I- I trick it with Kecleon, right? All fucking day, let's go Kecleon! Huh? That's why we got Kecleon, baby! Let's go! It's your time to shine, Kecleon! <laughs> Okay, so it had to just either protect failed or toxic mist. That's the only thing. Okay, let's trick it. This better be trick. I swear to God. That's fine. That's fine. I'm tricking. You can scout all you want. That that's that's a okay with me, Cloister. Let's go, man. So, okay, so here's the question. So, I'm a water type right now. If it locks itself into dive, I I will win, right? Because I have left these recovery and they don't now. Dive is also special in Gen 3, so it's not like they're getting boosted. Um, What I'm curious about, though, is do I go into Arbok anticipating a toxic? Because if they click toxic, I don't want to, uh, if I don't want Kecleon to get toxic if I don't need it to, right? Like you never know, you never know. I might, I might need that, I might need that, uh, Kecleon. So yeah, let's just, let's just go into Arbok. I think that's the safe play. Let's see if they click. Okay, that could be toxic or it's protect. It's not protect, they locked into toxic, sick. Good play by me then.
was I gonna say, how are they not dead? Uh. Oh, Cedra? I'll just sludge it. There's the frustration. This is DD Frust Hydro Pump. I'm just gonna sludge it down. Probably missed a pump. I should eat this. They have Shell Bell, that's right, yeah. I forgot what their fourth move is. I forgot if it's like Smoke Screen or something. I'm guessing it's Smoke Screen, but it could be, uh. Could be. No, Rain Dance is Cedra 1. I don't know what the fourth move on Cedra is, honestly. Um, it's not worth going for Cloyster here. Um, it's just not worth it. Um. Did it. Who was the first Mon again? Um. What did I face? Um, Pseudo Wudo. I'm not swapping for Pseudo. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't even have a rock move. Um, Cloyster is good. I mean, Cloyster is very good. But if I don't get Cloyster, then who am I getting? I'm getting, uh, um. Who did I do? Who did I just play? Literally, who did I just battle? Seedra. Um, I don't see, like, okay, obviously I'd, I'd be slotting these over Kecleon. Um, I mean, I, uh, nah. I, I just don't think so. I kind of like that Kecleon clutch versus Cloyster. That was sick. That's Octillery. So, uh, Octillery in round three is, uh, Octazooka Fire Blast T-Wave Mud Slap. Um, so kind of crazy. Yeah, Octazooka Fire Blast T-Wave Mud Slap. Um, so, Solrock is obviously not an option. I don't really think I go Kecleon here. I don't see why I would. I mean, I, I just... I mean, do I? I, d I just don't see why I don't just sludge this. Um, yeah, I, I, I just I just don't see I don't see why I don't sludge this. I'm faster. I maybe can two it KO it. Um, like, Kecleon could come in on Fire Blast and then get Zookud. It could come in on Mud Slap and then get Zookud. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna. I am going to sludge it. We hit through Lax Incense. Let's go. That, that's fine, I think. I don't I don't think I'm scrambling that hard on that one. Nice. I, I don't think we 2 it KO. I'd be shocked. Oh, did I crit? Or is that... Huh. Uh, Croconaw. Um, Crocodile's interesting. So this is a, a full physical set. It is Mega Kick, Aerial Ace, Rock Slide, and Dig. Um, because Soul Rock resists Kick, Ace, Dig, and then Slide won't do that much, I am going to go straight into Soul Rock. Yes, this does not have a water move. This is full physical. So I'm going to go into Soul Rock. And save by Intimidate. Fine. Whoa. Here, bud. Here, bud. Get back in my ear. Um, do I want to cosmic power on this? Um, do I want to cosmic power? Is that cheeky? I think it's kind of cute. No, I'm just gonna slide. Yeah, I must have missed. Flinch?
Flinch again? Or Mega Kick miss or Rock Slide miss, I guess. Let's go. Good job, Soul Rock. Um, that's like Dragonair or Ivysaur. Um, I, I mean, like, I'll just Earthquake both of them. Probably, I don't know who. I'm just going to EQ it, though. Uh, I guess that's Ivysaur that missed a Leech Seed? Question mark? Wow! That had to be Ivysaur if I killed it in two. Because uh, Ivysaur doesn't have any Vulk in round three. It's max attack, max special attack. Yeah. Am I really keeping Keck in the back? Do I want Octillery in the back? Um, What I don't like about Octillery is that it's not good into water types because water fire is walled. Um, uh, oh, that's interesting though, right? Because uh, I think I'm going to keep Kecleon. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Kecleon. Uh, well, I could have gone for Ivysaur and or, um, Croconaw. Eh, I, I don't really think Croconaw is that good. I also don't know Croconaw 2's move order, actually. I, I don't know what the order it moves is. I think it starts off with Mega Kick, but still. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, I forgot what that is. Wow, I have a clue what that is. Come on, man. You know that sound. Like a, it sounds like a water type, right? Oh, what is that? Wow, no. I'm, I'm, I don't have it. I don't think I have it. What? Come on, man. I feel like this is a, a simple mod. I feel like... I mean, I don't think it's threatening whatever it is. I think I could just sludge it. I'm just gonna sludge it for info. I don't want to waste too much time thinking. The hell? The hell was that? Wait, wait, what? So, I resisted a move that sounded like that. Signal beam. Okay, wait, that's signal beam. That that's signal beam because that's the only move that sounds like that that I resist. And then they resisted my move. So, signal beam. Oh, Venomoth. Oh, this is a Venomoth. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Venomoth with a Signal Beam, Psy Beam, Giga Drain, and then I think Sludge Bomb. So that's actually pretty bad. It's a bad matchup for my team, actually. Um, uh, or it might have Skill Swap as its last move, actually. I, or no, I know Venomoth 1 does. I think Venomoth 2 has Skill Swap as well. So what do I have for this? Soul Rock doesn't like taking a Signal Beam, but it is Intimidated. So, I mean, do I go Kecleon and just try to Shadow Ball it down? That feel, that seems kind of weird. Uh, um... Uh, interesting. I just don't want to get psychic. I'm pretty sure this has psychic. I I'm pretty confident. No, does it? Well, it obviously has signal beam. 
Maybe it doesn't have Sludge Bomb? Fuck, man. Because um, I kind of want to Earthquake it, honestly. I kind of don't want to go into... Um, uh, what do I have? Soul Rock. I kind of don't. You know, I'm just going to Earthquake it. I'm just going to Earthquake it. Screw it. Oh, is this Iron Tail, though? I think it is. I'm going to click this move. I think this is Earthquake. Ah, it was Iron Tail. Damn. Okay, well, I'll just EQ. It's just signal beaming. Trying to confuse me? Maybe it's dead here? I doubt it. Nope, it's dead. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Why is that another tough cry, man? Super Gen 1 sounding. Oh, oh, um, oh no. Is that, uh... That's Chan... That Chansey? I think it's Chansey or Pidgeotto, but I think this one's Chansey. I, I think this is Chansey. I gotta sludge this. Or am I going Kecleon? Oh, shit, man. Do I think Kecleon lives two hits from Pidget if it's Pidge? I think it's worth the scout. I think it's worth the scout. Ah, it was Pidget! Crit? That was a crit. That ha that had to be a crit. There's no way that wasn't a crit. Uh. Uh. Sounds like Machop, which means it's Omastar. Um. I'm pretty okay into Omastar. Well, not really. That actually could just like run through my team. Oh, that's scary. Oh, interesting idea. Do. Oh, I have a cr I have a crazy ass idea. What if I go into... Okay, because if... So, Omastar is Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Rain Dance, Protect. So, here's my here's my logic here. What if I go into Kecleon and Skill Swap it in case it has Swift Swim over Shell Armor? Because I think if it sets up a Rain Dance here and it has Swift Swim, I think I lose the game. Potentially, right? I think I would have a... I think I'd have a pretty good chance of losing the game. So do I, is that too weird to go Kecleon and like brick break it? I mean, and skill swap it? Furthermore, 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 if I, uh, um, if I skill swap it, then, um, well, no, then I'm choice locked with skill swap. So I would, oh no, then I'd actually have to swap out. That doesn't make sense because then I'd be stuck staying in skill swapping because I have a choice band. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna trick this. I don't think tricking makes sense. As I, I'm just, I could glare it. Ooh, I could glare. Glare's kind of fun. Does it have lum? Oh shoot, does this thing have lum? Oh, I totally forgot if this thing has lum. I don't think it does. I think it's like a, I think it's Pattaya Berry, right? Because I feel like I've drafted Omastar and Magneton in the same draft before. And I know Magneton has a Lumberry. And you can't... You, there's item claws in draft. So two draft Pokemon can't have the same item. So I don't think Omastar has a uh, Lum. Glare seems like a really high level play here though. Is it worth it? I'm faster than Omastar. Is it worth it? Or do I just set up an EQ? Do I just Earthquake it and then I hope that Kecleon has Brick Break? <laughs> I mean, I know it does. I just I just don't know where Shadow Ball and Brick Break are.
I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try and glare it. I'm gonna try and glare it. I don't think it has bum. No. Please don't be swift swim. Oh my Jesus hell. See, now I kind of want to go Kecleon. Now I kind of want to go Kecleon. I, I kind of want to go Kecleon and skill swap it. I don't know. Gee, man. I don't... Ugh, how did I miss the glare? That's so annoying. Fuck, maybe this thing does have Lumberry. No, it has Pattaya. It has Pattaya. Eight. Dude, I don't want to lose on round three right now, man. Um, I got to really lock in. Maybe I just click Earthquake. May well, now, now it could have Swift Swim, which means it would be faster. But I, I think, is that overkill to go into Kecleon right now? I think it is, because what's nice about Kecleon here is that um, if they click a water move into me, right? If they click a water move into me, I then resist water and ice. Ah, but I mean, ugh. I really don't know. I don't like that I'm locked into skill swap. Like, what I'd basically be doing is I'd, I'd be... I'd be... And then, oh, also color change? That doesn't help me, actually. Because if I skill swap at color change... So let's say I go into Kecleon and I skill swap with the intention of then sacrificing... Um... I don't know, actually. Would I then be sacrificing Arbok? Would I be sacrificing Arbok... Uh... No, I'm just gonna earth. I don't think I do. I think I'm just gonna earthquake. I, I, I'm starting to doubt myself with the whole glare thing. Not a glare. I have to glare. God, I just, I don't know if this is bum. I totally forgot if this thing is lumberry. And I'm, I'm starting to doubt myself now, so I'm just gonna earthquake. Yes, it's shell armor. Thank God. That's actually huge. They must have clicked Rain Dance again. Or they missed Pump. Okay, we got this in the bag. Okay, they must be missing Pump again or clicking Rain Dance. That's the only explanation. Wait, what was what was that? What was that? What? That's not Pattaya Berry. I didn't I didn't hear a stat raise. What? They have Citrus Berry? No, would it? I don't fucking know. What? I don't even know. I have no clue what that item was. I think I think they're dead though. Nice. Okay. Perhaps I made that needless needlessly complicated. I don't really think so, but Okay, who did I I I don't even remember who I led against. I I have I have zero recollection of who I led against. Um no, Venomoth. It was Venomoth, which is honestly not a bad bond. Not a bad bond. And then I I stayed in the whole time, right? I think I did. So who did I stay in on? Uh, it was another cry that I forgot. 
And I think I crit them, right? I crit I crit something to kill. God, who is that second mon? What the hell? Who is the second mon? I, if I can't remember it, it probably wasn't very good. I'm not. If, if I can't remember it, it wasn't good. That's my logic. Oh no, it was Pidget. Oh no, that was good. I wish I had a Pidget. Um, whatever. That's Volbeat or Illumise. Either way, I'm just sledging. There's no reason to do anything else. That's Volbeat with Signal Beam. This has Tail Glow. Oh no, did I knock it into Pattaya though? Oh, this might. Oh, never mind. Um, berry activation comes before poison, so. Ah! I wanted it to tail glow. That's good. Our box speed is important. Good, no para there. Go. Ooh, Laren. Um. So I can't swap in anything because this is a this is Iron Tail Earthquake. So, I'm just gonna EQ it. That's my best play. I'm just gonna EQ. I'm faster. Let's just EQ it. And then we can finish it off with Soul Rock. This shouldn't kill. This might kill. I could definitely see it killing. Wow! Is that their citrus? I think they have citrus, right? I still don't remember what our box item is, to be honest. I really don't know. I just know that Laren's dead, because our box the goat. Um. Oh, fuck me. That's Kingler. Right? That's definitely Kingler. So that's the Endor Salak Guillotine Flail set. Um. Okay, well, do I glare it? Hold on a second. No, 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 no. This is a Endor Salak Rock Tomb Guillotine, right? Well, that a Salak is not a move. Endor Flail Guillotine Rock Tomb. Um. I want to glare this. I think, right? Do I swap out? I feel like I gotta glare it, right? I feel like I have to glare it. Yeah, but dude, I'm not doing that much damage with Kecleon or Soul Rock, though. Nah, I gotta glare it for the upside, right? Of just like paralyzing it so it can't guillotine me. Is that dumb? I don't think it's dumb. I think I glare it. I think I glare it. I want to glare it, man. I think I think I glare it. Yes. Come on. We live that flail. We're just gonna sludge. Endure. That's where. That's best case scenario for me. They did it again. That's hilarious. I wonder if I kill them with three sludges.
That's their Salak Berry. Shouldn't matter, though. I think they're dead. Let's go Arbok. And Dor failed on the Paralysis. We got ourselves a win. Wow. Arbok's just going crazy. What a good mon. I'm not taking Laren. And, uh... Who did I lead versus again? Um... What did I lead versus? Why do I keep forgetting this? Oh, Volby. Uh, do I want Volby? No. Well, oh, that's kind of interesting, actually. Oh, that's kind of... Three IV Volby, man. That thing does not hit hard. I kind of don't want to. Ugh, oh, I don't know, actually. Why take the Volby? It's a Signal Beam, Thunderbolt, Ice Punch, Tail Glow. But this thing has base, like, 47 special attack, so it doesn't hit very hard. But it does have speed, and it does have coverage, and Signal Beam is good into Psychic types like Kadabra and Chimeco for Arbok on the, um... Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like I keep the Keck. I kind of feel like I keep Kecleon. I, I think I keep Kecleon. I think I keep Kecleon. Yeah, I'm going to keep Kecleon. I, I, I admittedly don't like how Kecleon isn't, like, amazing versus some waters, but at the same time, like... Uh, Volbeat does resist ground, though. Uh, this is actually interesting. Do I feel weak to Graveler? Well, I intimidate it on lead, and then I can go Soul Rock and Earthquake it. No, Pupitar, I Earthquake. Sand Slash doesn't touch Soul Rock, really. Um... And, of course, can be intimidated. Um... Huh. Maybe I'll regret this. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I think I do like having Kecleon with Choice Banded, Brick Break, and Shadow Ball. I think that's just... I think that's fine. Um, and, you know, Kecleon has good special bulk. My team kind of wants that a bit. Where's my water? Here. Down here. I love this blindfold. Okay. Well, it's, it's actually a sleeping mask, but... Anyway. Uh, what is that? Noctowl. Um. Noctowl has a good matchup versus me. Psychic, Faint Attack, Aerial Ace, and then I think Reflect. Um, I'm gonna go into Soul Rock though, so I can slide it. Let's go with Soul Rock to slide it. Don't faint attack. Nice. Good. There's the ace. Faster. Let's get the flinch. Uh, that's reflect. Okay. Do I ever wait reflect out? Because my team hates. Oh, I can brick break with a Kecleon, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't think I... Do I Cosmic Power here? I mean, like... That feels like a cute idea to click Cosmic Power. That feels like a cute idea. Huh.
Because I'd kind of rather have this on the field with Reflect Up than other Pokemon that actually threaten my team, right? Am I right on that? I don't know. And I, I kind of like how Cosmic Power could set me up for something. So I'm going I'm to Cosmic. I'm going to Cosmic. Screw it. I'm going to Cosmic once. Oh, wait. Is it Overheat Cosmic or Cosmic Overheat? Wait. I feel like... I feel like... I think I got annoyed at Soul Rock once because I was practicing and I thought that it was Quake Slide Overheat Cosmic Power. But I think it's actually Cosmic Power Overheat. Right? Hopefully this isn't... I'm... I think this is cosmic. Nice, dude! I'm so happy I thought of that. Let's go. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think that crit. Um, okay. So let's, uh... Uh... I wonder how much that did. I guess I could, like, see. Probably zero, right? I mean, there's no way. Let's go to my summary and see how much health I'm at. Yeah, I'm still fine. I'm gonna do that one cosmic, though, and I'm gonna slide it right here. I just think cosmic gives me upside. I don't know. I don't even know if I kill it here. Oh, I do. Okay, so now there's gonna be two turns of reflect left. What's that? Is that Haunter or Kadabra? I think that's Haunter. And that makes sense because... No, it doesn't make sense. They don't have Shadow Punch. They just have a Hypnosis, Dream Eater, um, Confuse Ray Psychic, I think. Um, with Reflect Up, though, they do eat my hits really well. Um, I don't really want to go into Pecleon. But I also don't want my Soul Rock to be sleeping. So maybe I do go into Kecleon. Well, they can't touch me, actually. No, I'm just gonna they can't touch me. They can't touch me. I'm sliding. I mean I guess that hurts. Ugh, I don't know. Uh I'm gonna slide still. I mean I did, but. Okay, I mean, that's... That's fine, right? Oh, that's psychic good. Oh, nice snap out. Another psychic. Let's go. Oh, I had an itch in my ear, but I kept the earbud in because a Pokemon was coming out. Oh, that was tough. Um, that is Relicanth. That's a relatively scary Pokemon. Uh, this is the People's Canth. Earthquake, Rock Slide, Amnesia, Rest. Um, what am I doing? I am thinking about tricking this, but I think giving this a choice band with Rock Slide is a mistake. So I'm just going to try to punch through it with Earthquake. Don't rest, damn it. I, mean, 
I, I just keep earthquaking it, so. I guess I don't care about amnesia hilariously, so. Yeah, because I literally have zero special attacks. Which, I don't think that makes me weak to anything, really. Because nothing really boosts their defense in round three, actually. I, I can't think of anything. Yeah, actually, well, Iron Defense, Laren, I guess. I can't think of anything else, though. Nice win. I don't think anything does. Okay. Do I swap for anything? I think the answer is no. I don't, I don't see why I do or when. Who did I lead off against again? I led off against a... Why do I- why do I forget what I lead off against so consistently? Um... Oh, Noctowl. Uh, I came in versus Noctowl and then Soul Rock soloed with Noctowl. Noctowl, Haunt, or Relicant. Do I want Noctowl over Kecleon is a crazy idea. No. Well, no. I've decided no. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I do. Uh, that's Hitmonlee, right? So I'm staying in. I don't think that's Stantler. I think that's Hitmonlee. Oh, that's got to be Stamp. I mean, Hitmonlee, right? That's not Stantler. I'm going to stay in and I'm going to sludge. Hitmonlee is Mega Kick, Brick Break, uh, Foresight, Rock Tomb. So I'm just going to stay in and sludge. Can't paralyze it because Limber as well. Wow, they really kick clicked the best move. Nice, that's fine. I mean, that. I guess I would have rather had Brick Break, but that's fine. His speed drop could be annoying. I wonder if this kills. Wow, that thing's bulky. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. It, this should be dead. Yeah, so it was right there. Okay. Um, that's either Wigglytuff or Poliwrath. Um, I'm guessing it's Wigglytuff because it has Dream Eater. I don't think this is Poly... Well, Poliwrath does have Hypnosis. Am I scared of either of them? No. I mean, I just sludge, right? I mean, what? why, why would I do anything else? I think I might have Lumberry. I think I think this might have Lum. Yeah, I'm just gonna sludge. There you go. Love poison chance on that. Okay, I think I have Lum. This is wiggly tough. I think I have Lum. See if I'm right. Nice, I do have Lum. Cool. Okay, sick. That's our box item. Dude, Arbok is just proving to be a great lead. There's the fake tears. Yeah, I mean, Sludge, I mean, obviously, Intimidate helps. Um, but yeah, this Wigglytuff, by the way, is fake tears, Sing, Dream Eater, Brick Break. This, it's gotta be dead, right? It's gotta be dead. Let's go. Um, could, does this thing have a chance to beat me? Um, I'm saying no. But I'm gonna try to glare it so that Soul Rock outpaces it. Oh, 
Oh, I might live this. This is an Illumise. So this is Silverwind, Thunderbolt, Ice Punch, and then Giga Drain. I'll just Sludge. It's fine. I might be in red now. Nope, not even close. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're dead to two of these, surely. Let's go. Okay, we're kind of cruising through round three. Is this Nolan? My Nolan senses, man. They, they just, they tingle. They tingle. Am I really keeping Kecleon for this battle? Uh, let me think. Ah. Uh. So, smart AI, I'm really worried about Kecleon. Really worried. I really like Illumise. That's a fast mon with Thunderbolt, Ice Punch, Giga Drain coverage. Giga Drain would be really good into my Marsh Tomp weakness. I, I am not good into Marsh Tomp at all. I'm really not. But who else could I get, right? Oh, Hitmonlee! Oh my god, wait. Wait, there's a whole ass hit, Monly. I have to take that, right? What was after hit, Monly? Um, Wigglytuff. Yeah, I'm not risking getting a wig. I'm gonna go for hit, Monly over Keck. Ah, is that dumb? Psychic weakness? Pretty massive. Smart AI. Kadabra sweeps my ass. Oh, maybe I don't. Are you kidding me? Do I actually not? Wow, wait a second. No, okay, Kadabra, I have Soul Rock, right? That's fine. Um. Oh, this is interesting now. Yep, it, it's a hit on me, man. That thing is fast, it clicks Brick Break. Like, it's gonna, but what I, what I kind of like about Kecleon, is that, you know, Hitmonlee can die to some hits from Psychic. Well, maybe not. It has weaknesses, right? Flying and Psychic. Kecleon doesn't really die to anything. Like, it's it's only gonna die to, like, a, a dynamic punch, a dynamic punch from, like, you know, M M Hitmonchan or something, which is just rare. Uh, I like Hitmonlee a lot. I think I gotta take it. It gives my team some more speed as well, which I like. I just think the damage output is really nice from Hitmonlee. Um, am I gonna regret this though, man? Oh, uh, do I swap for the Hitmonlee? Do I swap for Hitmonlee? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hilariously, it makes my Banette matchup really bad. Like, I would have to Foresight Banette and then Brick Break it. And in that time, I could get Shadow Balled, I could get Will-O-Wisped, I can get Frustrationed. Uh. Kecleon might be safer, man. Kecleon might be the safe play. I mean, Kecleon has literally barely been able to even be used, right? It's literally only come in to click trick. That is the only thing it has done. It has not clicked an attacking move. Like, the Arbok Soul Rock core has been kind of carrying. Okay, um...
Fuck. I'm really thinking, sorry for being quiet. I'm just, I'm really thinking, like... And there's... Loud neighbor. Oh, okay. Um... And, uh, Hitmonlee is such a better Pokemon, but I almost feel like on this team, I... I keep the Kecleon. I think I might keep Kecleon. I, I don't think... I think I, I think I, I feel like I have to keep Kecleon. I'm gonna keep Kecleon. I'm gonna keep Kecleon. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Kecleon. I, I think I like Kecleon more here, of all, which is crazy. I think I like it more here. Um, okay. And you know the IV advantage. Anyway, here we go. Let's play. Let's play Snowland, you guys. Arbok, Solrock, and the Kecleon that hasn't done anything. Well, it actually did help us clutch that cloister. Here we go. So this is Delcaddy. Delcaddy has fake tears. Sing. Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Um, fake Tears, Sing, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. This is a clear stay-in from me. This Delcaddy does not do that much damage. And I have Lumberry. Um, I'm gonna just sludge. I'm gonna sludge. I'm also faster, I'm pretty sure, so I'm just gonna sludge. I like seeing this as a lead. Oh, they're faster? Wow, they must be max speed then. Maybe, I don't know. I'm sludging though. Poison? Oh, I crit. I, I totally crit. I totally crit. But I have to remember, I have minus two spit up. What is that? Polytoad? I think that's I think that's Politoed, right? I think that's Politoed. Um So Yeah, Politoed's not something I really want to see. Um It's going to psychic me cuz it probably sees a kill cuz I'm at minus 2 speed F. Um What I'm interested in is if I ever go Kecleon and Trick. Um or do I just go Kecleon in general, right? Um, yeah, but why am I going Kecleon? Why am I going Kecleon? Okay, I guess I'd be going Kecleon to... Uh, I guess I'd be going... This is, this is Polytoad, right? Or is this like Pseudo? Wait a second. No, this is this has to be Polytoad. I think it was really low tone. I think this is Polytoad. Um Is it? I think it I think it's Polytoad. Um so that's Surf Psychic um Mud Slap Swagger. Um I think they see a kill with Psychic here. They are max special attack, 15 IVs. My Arbok's at minus two speed up. They're gonna Psychic or they're gonna Surf. So it, why would I go Kecleon as a pivot? I'd go Kecleon as a pivot, not to trick it, but to just get a Brick Breaker, a Shadow Ball off. And then 
I would think that Arbok can then 1v1, because I don't think Arbok dies to a single hit, which I think is beneficial for me. Um, I don't think Kecleon dies to Psychic and to Surf. I think I think I have enough special defense to live that hit. Um, they could also just choose the Mud Slap or Swagger, which I'm fine with. Um, yeah. Or, well, okay, another thing, though, is... Is it just better to stay in and sludge bomb it right now and then um and then go Kecleon and 1v1 it? Because what's nice is that Well no, they could just swagger Kecleon anyway if Arbok dies. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think I think I go Kecleon here. I think I go Kek. Um Yeah, I feel like I go Kecleon here. Ah, what if I just die? I mean, I am a Kecleon. No, I... There's no way Kecleon dies to Surf plus Psychic. There's just... There's no way. I, I don't believe it. I... There's no shot, man. There's no shot. Ah, the other thing, too, that I could do that's actually kind of funny... Oh, what if I skill swapped? If I went to Kecleon and I clicked skill swap... Um... Wait, wait, wait. If I skill swap, do I keep that ability on swap out? Because one crazy idea I have, which is nuts, but... I could technically skill swap, which is potentially water absorb, and I could swap between Soul Rock into Psychic and Kecleon on water absorb, and um, I could stall this out of moves. That's a crazy idea. That's a hilarious idea. But I don't think... Like, the other idea with giving it color change is that if I give it color change, I could sludge bomb and earthquake it. So I could sludge bomb it, and then I could earthquake the polytoad. Because I'm actually not confident that Sludge Bomb into Earthquake kills. I'm not- I'm not confident about that at all. Another play, which is a kind of a crazy idea, is I could, like... I could go Soul Rock here. Just to get Chip off. And then, um... 1v1 it with Arbok. And then say that I'm trusting... Because here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of Politoed, um killing Arbok. I don't know if it kills Arbok. And I'm afraid of um, Politoed beating Kecleon and Arbok. And then Solrock is on the field. Slower than Politoed. Pretty sure. Slower than Politoed. And Politoed gets a huge surf off. And then I don't beat the Mon in the back. That's what I'm really nervous of right now. Really, really nervous of that. So, in that sense, I would rather have, like, Arbok versus the back. I just don't. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Solrock is slower than Politoed. I'm pretty sure. I actually don't know. I think they're both base 70. And Politoed is 15 IV. Solrock is 9. So, I don't think I... I don't think I outpace at all. But I probably live a Surf. Like, I probably live a, a single Surf. I would, I would hope. I would hope Solrock can live a single surf. So am I really going Kek then? I guess I'm going Kek. I guess I'm going Kecleon. I think that's what I'm going to do. Ah, uh, am I? Man, there's no way that Polito just KOs Arbok, right? I don't think there's any way that Arbok just, like, straight up dies. There's no way that Arbok just straight up dies to Psychic. Right now I do because of Fake Tears, but there's no way I just straight up die to Psychic. I don't believe it. I really, I really don't believe it. There's no way. Hmm. Another hot idea. Oh, shit. Another hot idea. This is crazy. 
What if I swapped Kecleon in and then I swapped back into Arbok, anticipating Swagger? Swagger Lum plus two attack, and then I just kill the Politoed. Huh. I don't know. I'm going Kecleon. I think I'm going Kecleon. Let's just go Kec. Your time to shine, Kecleon. Yep. Okay, am I below half? Nope, I ate that. I ate that up. Om um, nom nom. Which means I'll get I'll get a hit off. I can get a hit off. Um I'm pretty sure it goes Shadow Ball Brick Break. So I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball. I want I'm not gonna do a lot of damage, but like Damn, do I skill swap? I know this thing can be damp, but like Dude, that feels worth it. I just don't want them to swagger, right? I feel like that feels kind of worth it because I no Arbok should kill. Are they faster than Arbok, dude? Wait a second, pause. No, Politoed has no speed. I don't think Arbok has any speed either, but I'm pretty sure Politoed is base 70, and I know Arbok is base 80, which means that they definitely don't outpace me. Even if Politoed was 75, they wouldn't outpace me. So I think Arbok outpaces, and I think a Kecleon Shadow Ball or Brick Break into Double Sludge Bomb should win. Like, I think, I think I should kill the Politoed that way. Um, and, yeah, so I don't think I need to skill swap it color change so that I can Sludge Bomb Earthquake it. I don't think I need to do that. Okay. Please be Shadow Ball. Okay, they swaggered. Come on, Kecleon. Yes! Okay, I'm staying in because they won't swagger here. They are going to uh, mud slap or um, surf me because I'm a psychic type right now. Yeah! I'm not even in the red? Alright, Kecleon, that's embarrassing. You're choice banded, you're at plus two, and you can't even two at KO Politoed. That's crazy, I'm not even in the red. I wonder if they kill me with Psychic. I'm assuming they do? This is huge, though. What a, what a, what, what greatness for me. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go, Arbok. Kecleon did its job. <sighs> Unfortunate we can't we can't get intimidate off on anything like important, but we're just gonna sludge. We should be faster. Oh, lax incense! But they gave me the swagger boost! I had I had to miss, right? I had to miss. I think they got they got the lax incense dodge. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, that's hilarious. Um please don't dodge again. Oh, they were so close to dying. Okay, we got this. Is that? Um, 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 what is that? What is that? I know that. 
Haunter. Oh my god, it's Haunter again. That's funny. Um, um, so Haunter, right? I mean, like, Soul Rock's gonna 1v1 it. Um, I guess I'm curious. Do I glare it or do I sludge it? Huh. Forgot what item this thing has. I don't know if it's Lum or not. I, or is it might be Chesto? I mean, do I Iron Tail it? I don't know. Let's see. Wait, wait. If when uh, Haunter had a Reflect up, they lived two Rock Slides, but they didn't live three, which means that they'll die to two Rock Slides anyway, right? If they're gonna die to two Rock Slides from Soul Rock. I don't think a plus two sludge bomb is going to bring it to half. Iron Tail definitely will. But do I just go for the glare? Is glare my best play? Or do I just Iron Tail this thing right now? One thing I could do is I could swap into Soul Rock and then... No. Oh, but I don't want it to... Um... I don't want it to Dream Eater on me, so I have to stay in and wait for Arbok to get slept. Yeah. I wonder if I just kill it with Iron Tail. Glare feels nice, though. Man, I really don't know. Well, no, no, no. Isn't, uh, um... I think that Delcaddy has Lumberry, so this wouldn't have Lumberry. Oh, do I just Iron Tail it, though? I think I just Iron Tail it. I think I Eye Tail. What? Did I... Did I not click a move? I, there's no way I die, right? Wow, really? Huh. How did I die? Huh. Anyway. Alright, Soul Rock. Let's slide it up. Oh, dude. Please don't. I, I so wish I glared or something. I don't know. I, I wish I glared. Please die. How are you not dead? Wow. Okay, um... So... Wait a second. My crazy idea is is a uh, um I know overheat is 90% accurate. Is rock slide 90% accurate or 85% accurate? Um Wow, I'm forgetting rocks. I Isn't it 85? Don't I click overheat here? I feel like I click overheat, right? I think I click overheat. Right? I think that's my play. Rock slide 90 or 85? Man, I don't remember. How am I- how do I not remember that? 
That's like the most ADV OU move ever. That's the most competitive gen... 90 or 85? The 90 or 85, man. I, maybe this isn't worth using a lot of brain power. Right? Right now? I'm blind. I don't think it's worth using that much brain power. I don't think I'm in danger of losing. I don't... I think I click overheat. Rock 2 has 80% accuracy. Ah, uh, doesn't Rock Slide have 90? I'm just trying to think of, like, a phrase that someone said, like... Uh, how inaccurate is Rock Slide, man? Like, I've done ADV 1v1 calculations where, like, the odds that you miss X amount of Rock Slides when a mod clicks sub, like a fast sub Zapdos versus Rock Slide Tyranitar, why you run HP Rock, why was Rock Slide bad? I think I think Rock Slide is 85. I don't think it's 90. I think I overheat here. I think I overheat, man. I, I don't see how I don't drop this Haunter. I don't see how I don't drop it, man. I, like, how could I... How would I... How, how could this thing not be dropped? I hit it with two slides, man. I hit it with two rock slides. This thing's gotta be dead to an overheat. I'm gonna click rock slide, though, just in case. I, I You know what? I'm not gonna get too fancy. Let's just... Let's rock slide. They're dead. Yeah, I would have killed him with overheat. All right, Noland. You're getting easy now. I can beat you blind. Okay. Good stuff, you guys. Let's go. All right. So that's 21 wins. Now we're on to round four. The AI is the same as round three. Um, this is random AI, except they know about type immunities and they know if I'm status to not status me again. When I get to round five, which is after 28 wins, that's when it starts to get really, really difficult because it's smart AI. Um, but also there's a whole new slew of Pokemon now and they all have better sets, better stats, etc. Um, so let's do this, here we go. Let's see what we get, come on. Ah, uh, this thing isn't terrible. Zatu one is not terrible. But is this the Sharp Beak set? I know this has like Drill Peck. I've used it in doubles next to a Steelix. And I'm pretty sure this is the Nightshade one. This is like Nightshade Drill Peck. Um, I can't remember its other moves though. I I'm pretty confident it doesn't have Psychic actually. I'm pretty, I don't think it has Psychic, right? I think it's like, I think it's Nightshade, Drill Peck, Confuse Ray, something else. It might be Future Sight. It's something else. Um. Xpod 1 is not bad. This is the Rest Talk Hyper Voice Shadow Ball set. Oh, am I on the move set? Yeah, Hyper Voice Shadow Ball Rest Talk. Um, not a bad one. Max HP, max attack. It's like, it's whatever. Oh my god, is this Rhydon or Magmar? I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end myself. <laughs> Dude, is this Magmar or Rhydon? No! Hold on, let me really listen to it. Hold on. Nah, I can't tell you. I didn't practice it. I'll admit, I didn't practice Rhydon and Magmar. It's giving me more Magmar vibes, though. It's giving me more Magmar vibes. Um, 
This is Flareon because it sounds like Tentacool. This is the Flamethrower Bite Sand Attack Roar, I think. Not very good. This draft is... This draft is looking really bad. Skarm doesn't even help. That's the drill or air cutter stealing counter agility or agility counter. That's not, this is not looking good. Tauros! Oh, wow, that saves it, right? That's definitely Tauros, right? Yes, because it sounds like War Turtle. Oh, that saves it. Jesus, let's go. That's max attack, max speed. Um, earthquake. Thrash. Facade Swagger. Yes. Earthquake, Thrash, Facade, Swagger. Um, that's awesome. Let's go. That that's that's immense. That's immense. Okay. Oh, now it sounds more like a ride on though. I don't know. Wait. No, you have- don't you have Quick Claw? No, you have Scope Lens, never mind. I know, uh... I know Magmar 1 has a uh, Rost Berry, I think. Something stupid, because it's a Magmar. Yeah, you have Chesto. Sharpie, okay. So let's think about what we're doing here. Um... So I, I need to hit Mischievous and Gengar, or else I lose. We're going lead Tauros all day. We're leading Tauros, we're, we're punishing, we're pushing through stuff. And then I need help versus like Swamp Hurt 1 with Curse Rust. Um, Cradley 1 with Barrier, Confuse Ray, Lefties. I mean, damn, is it Zatu time? I think I'm going Zatu. I think I want Nightshade. Oh, damn, I think I want Nightshade. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go Zatu. Because also, hilariously, Tauros just loses the Shuckle. Defense Curl, Rollout, Rest. Dude, why am I weak to Shuckle? Is that so, that's a real sentence. Oh, am I going Skarm, though? Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Skarm, uh, um... No, Skarm 1v1 Swampert, right? Because, uh, um... Swampert is Curse, Rest, Counter, Earthquake. I could just use, I could just spam agility on Swampert, wait till it runs out of PP, then it'll use plus six struggle on me, and then I click counter. Easy. That's so funny. Wow, that's great. Because I have, what, 20 counters, and I have, like, I think it's 30 agilities? I think it's 30. I think it's 30. So, Earthquake is 10, Rest is 10, that's 20, Curse is, I think, 15, so that's, uh, um, that's 35, and then they have Counter, which is 20. 55, for, yeah, no, I can Agility and then just Counter Spam, that's so funny, dude, wow. But obviously, Tauros can't do it all. Tauros can't do it all. I mean, Exploud is the best overall, I think. For just doing damage. Like, it, it's not gonna die to anything except a, like, a Hariyama Cross Chop or a Machamp Cross Chop. And it's gonna get a Hyper Voice or a Shadow Ball off, right? So, I think, I think that's what I do. Ugh. Is that what I do, though? I just, I don't know. Is that, is that really what I do? 
I wonder what you guys are talking about right now. What your little, uh, your little chat convo is. Probably not fruits again. I wonder, it could be vegetables. No way you guys are still talking about racket sports. That would really surprise me. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see in the VOD. We'll have to see what you guys are talking about. Um, okay, let's actually think, though. Tauros. Gengar Mischievous coverage is necessary. Um, Mischievous 1 is good into Zatu. Skarm owns Gengar and Mischievous. Um, what else does Tauros not like? I mean, I think I just need to... I, I need to do two things, right? I need to have a plan into um, Swamp Hurt. And then I need something. Oh, oh, oh. And then I need something that can... I, okay. And then I need something that just gives me the best overall matchup versus everything else, right? And I'm afraid of Pokemon that have recovery. Because Tauros doesn't have recovery, and it's not like it's, like, hitting the hardest. So, you know, things like, um... I mean, like, literally Shuckle is annoying. Oh, you know what's crazy, actually? No, Zatu is a Shuckle answer, because Shuckle has, like, no base HP. So, I think Nightshade literally two-it KOs Shuckle. So, actually, no, Zatu is a Shuckle answer. Zatu does consistent damage with Nightshade once I find it. I don't know where Nightshade is on its moveset. I think it's the second move, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, that's interesting, man. Of all things, Z and Zatu can drill peck fighting types. Hariyama, Machamp, Heracross, Metacham. Uh, Breloom. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I think it might be Zatu time, man. I think it might be time for the bird. Do I have my Zatu on the shelf? Here's Zatu, right? The beak. Look, everybody, it's Zatu. Yay, Zatu's on the team. Okay, back to the shelf you go. Um, I think I'm gonna go Zatu, Tauros, and Zatu. Both both mods with emotes. Speaking of emotes, wow. Um, if you become a member, which is only three dollars, uh, you get access to all my awesome emotes. Random members only streams where I practice blindfolded stuff. I do other random stuff. Um, you get to have a green name, you directly support me, you're just cool. And it's awesome, it's good stuff. And I'm also, I am 18 members away from a new emote slot, yay! Okay, I'm enough, I'm done plugging, I'm done plugging. But yeah, become a member, free bucks, it's the join button. If you're on iOS, it doesn't show up, you'll have to go to my channel page and go to my description and it'll be a link. Anyway, let's get back to Pokemon. Um, Tauros and Zatu is the team. Oh, Aerodactyl. I think I gotta go Skarm. That just feels weird, though. Like, am I really trying to lose to Electric types that hard? Am I trying to lose to Jolteon 1 this hard? It's either Exploit or Skarm. I think it's either Exploit or Skarm. That's what I'm really thinking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I just don't like that Skarm could just like die to fire hits. That I don't like that. Typhlosion, like Blaziken, Charizard, Ninetales, Houndoom. Arcanine, you name it. Like, I don't like... I just feel like x -Plowd might just do the most overall. So I think I'm going to go x -Plowd. I think x -Plowd just... I think x -Plowd is not a very good Pokemon, but I think it can do... I think it can work. It'll just get some damage off. I'll likely swap it. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so let's lead Tauros.
Oh, I'm so weak to Cradley, though. Ah, uh, fuck it. Okay. We done did it. Tauros, Zatu, Explod, baby. Let's go. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. What is that? I have no clue what... Bump, up, up. Up, up, up. Well, I, I actually don't know that cry. What? What? Who has that, like, underwater sound? I'm I'm really tripping. Whoop whoop up up. What? Come on, Logan. What is that? I need to know what this is. I don't I don't believe in my team enough to play it safe, or to not play it safe and really think about this cry. It's in there somewhere, man. It's I mean it's in here somewhere. It sounds like Gen Two, kind of. Dun dun dun. It's not Electrode. Mr. Mime? I think it's Mime. I think that's Mime. I think that's Mime. I'm pretty sure that's Mime. Yeah, that's Mr. Mime. So Mr. Mime is Fake Out Reflect Psychic Magical Leaf. Nice, dude. I was struggling with Mr. Mime before. I'm really happy I got this, actually. Um, so... What to do? Well, Zatu walls it, and I could use this as an opportunity to see what, uh, where the Zatu moves are. Um, I kind of like that idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. I kind of like that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Like, I just, I don't, I don't need Tauros taking a Psychic. Fine. Okay, so what's this? That's drill pack, okay. There's the leaf, don't care. So... No, they have lefties, they have lefties, I don't. So what's this? I think this is Nightshade, I'm gonna click this move. Oh, I do have Wish! Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. So then... What's this move, then? Oh, is that Future Sight? Okay. So, they have a Reflect Up now. Um, I don't want that Reflect Up. Uh, I could just sit on this, I guess, right? I could just, like, wish again? Like, why not? So they set up Reflect. Oh, I'm going to hit him with a Sight. Right? Isn't this when Future Sight hits? No? Okay, I'm going to Nightshade now. I'm going to start Shading. Yeah, that's Nightshade. That's fine. No Split F drop. Did I not click Future Sight? I must have missed. I'm, I'm assuming it just missed, because it can't miss. Oh, never mind. All 
I think they're dead. Nice. Sick. Go, Zatu. Oh my god. Why do I always mess this up? Glalie. Oh god, that's Glalie. Um, yeah, Zatu is not, does not like Glalie. Not a, not favorable. Um, I kind of want a Future Sight because Glalie can just choose to click Protect, and I think Future Sight gives me the most mileage. Um, um, that's why I'm gonna click. Okay, they hailed. That's I mean that that's not that's okay. That's fine. Um. So I'm dead to I ice beam. Is it better to wish or is it better to uh get a hit off? Well, if I get a if I I, I don't know what does more, nightshade or drill pack. Because if I I no, you know what? I bet Tauros I don't know if Tauros I wonder if Tauros kills this after a uh um a uh like uh, like let's just say nightshade, future sight, earthquake, or facade I think I do. I'm I don't know how much drill pack does, I'm just gonna shade it. I think this Zatu is also pretty fast, which is nice. Yep, I'm dead. And that's okay. That's fine. I mean, I kind of wish I wasn't wasting an Intimidate, but like... I think we'll be fine. Future Sight, please connect. Oh, I'm always a turn early on that. Okay, I'm just... Oh, damn. Oh, I wish I went x Cloud now. Fuck. Got it, though. This, this better be Facade. This better not be Swagger. Oh my god, it's fucking Swagger. I got bailed there. Dead? Okay. I bet that Zatu has, like, no special attack investment. This is Facade. Yeah. Okay. Uh... It's either Steelix or Typhlosion. Okay. So... No, that's, that's Typhlosion. Okay, so my logic here... I am afraid to Earthquake this into Blaze range, and then it KOs my x -Ploud and my Tauros, right? Do I ever just want to go straight into x -Ploud? Oh, I don't know. Surely I just Earthquake this, right? I know I'm faster than it, but I also... And I could, like, Thrash? No, maybe I just kill it with Earthquake. I feel like I don't, though. Well, maybe hail. Wait, how many turns is I think that was the last turn of hail though, right? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, this is actually interesting. You know what? I don't think a blaze fire blast kills Xplod. I think Xplod can barely eat it. That's what I'm predicting. Fuck, man. Like I don't think I'm not as confident that a Tauros facade into Xplod hyper voice kills. Why Thrash? Does Thrash have that cute mid-ground of, like, putting Typhlosion in the yellow instead of the red? 
but if Typhlosion doesn't kill the Tauros, I can still just click Thrash again and it dies. That's interesting. I'm, I'm just afraid of e Earthquake barely not killing. Ah, no, you know what? Then again, then again, they would have to choose to click Fire Blast two times in a row, which is uh, objectively a um, one in eight chance. And they'd have to hit both Fire Blasts. And Blaze Fire Blast would have to kill Explode. Yeah, I, I just don't know about that. Hold on. On fight. This is Earthquake. That's the Goat Tauros, baby. Okay, so interesting question here. Um... I, I mean, so I, I like Glalie and Typhlosion as Pokemon, right? Uh, we saw Glalie on Friday. Glalie 1 was a good Pokemon blindfolded. It was a, it was a good Pokemon. Ice Beam Crunch was really good. And Typhlosion is a fast mod with Fire Blast. Um, I feel like they give me more upside. But at the same time, I kind of like how I, I feel like Explod feels solid in that I'm not going to die to random super effective hits from like ground, water, fighting, steel, rock. So I think I'm going to keep. I think I actually like Explod in the back right now. Is that a mistake, man? No, I'm going to keep. And I think Explod's even better with uh, Toro softening it up. Uh, was there an argument for getting rid of, uh, um, Zatu? No, I don't want to lose the, um, the Swampert. And I feel like I could legit lose the Swampert. So I'm good. Okay, let's see what's up. Blaziken. I'm just gonna Earthquake this. Blaziken is horrendous. Blaziken 1 is Flamethrower, Double Kick, Sunny Day... Roar. I'm sorry, Mr. Leaky. I'm sorry, but Blaziken has to die. We like Blaziken 3, though. Blaziken 3 is a shooter. The Endor Salak one, that's a shooter. Oh, what is that? Rapidash, I just Earthquake again. Yep, that's Rapidash 1 with Protect, yeah. That's, uh, Protect... Protect, Flamethrower, Double Kick, something... Flamethrower? Double Kick, Protect, Quick Attack, I think. I think I used this in doubles once, didn't I? Gardevoir. Um, I kind of just want to thrash it. Um, yeah, let's just thrash it. I mean, like, whatever, right? What's it gonna do to me? Well, I guess it could put me to sleep. Um, nah, I'm thrashing. There's the magical leaf. LOL. No way I 2 it KO'd that. That was also a hilariously quick battle, wow. Um, I'm not taking anything. I like my team. I think Zatu works here. Again, just for consistent Nightshade damage, and it helps with fighting types. I think I'm keeping Zatu. Where's your, where's your beak? Zatu the goat, everybody. Zatu the goat. Oh my god. 
I don't know which one you are. Does Magmar 1 have counter? I don't think so. Damn it, I'm just earthquaking your ass. You're one of them. You're, you're one of them. If you're Magmar, you probably die. Okay, that's Magmar. Please don't burn. Okay, you're dead. Fog. Oh, no. No, that's slow, bro. That's not Machamp. That's slow, bro. That's not Machamp. Um, that is, uh, um, uh, Rain Dance, Surf, Ice Punch, Headbutt. Um, I kind of just want to thrash it, but I also think that this is a good Pokemon that I might want to keep alive. Um, I am also fine with just going into uh, x Plowed and just Shadow Balling it down. I don't think I need x Plowed for anything right now, but Zatu could have a good matchup into something. Um, and I want to keep Tauros' Intimidate. So I'm going to go into x Plowed, I think. I think I'm going to go into x Plowed here. I'm gonna Shadow Ball. There's the Ice Punch. There's the Headbutt. Ooh, that was a crit. That that had to be a crit, right? That lasted way too long before I could move my cursor. I wonder if it'll uh, show on the summary screen. Yeah, they crit me with with headbutt, and I'm at half. Damn, X Cloud. I can rest any after here though. Yeah, I'll rest here, because why not, right? Yeah, I'm just going to... I mean, like, why not, right? I have Chesto Berry. I don't see the point in not doing it. Oh, actually, I do see the point. It's called not knowing where rest is. Um... Would they order it sleep talk rest or rest sleep talk? Oh, uh, damn it. Um... I feel like it's usually sleep talk rest. So that's what I'm going to hope. Or do I just shadow ball and go for the kill? Am I getting cute here? How many shadow balls have I clicked? They ice punched on switching. Shadow ball. Headbutt. Shadow ball. Ice punch again. Because I'm pretty confident that after another shadow ball... And then Zatu coming in and clicking Nightshade. I think I have the kill. I think the kill is mine. Um, so what I yeah what I don't want to have happen is me click Sleep Talk instead of Rest, and then lose my X Cloud, which will happen um, probably 75% of the time. Like basically, if they click any move but Rain Dance, and then I don't want to have to have Tauros waste its Intimidate. And potentially not follow it up and take a chunk. And same with Zatu. So I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Rest is the last move. But, like, it's just not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. We're going to click Shadow Ball. And who knows? I might kill. I don't think I do, but... Yeah. Wow, really? Huh. Interesting. Um, what are you? Um, hold on. I mean, you're not very good. I don't think you're very good. Oh, you're Umbreon. No, you are good. Oh, good lord almighty. Um. Interesting. Well, okay. No, I can stall this out, right? I can stall this out. Um. 
How do I stop? Oh, I don't want to stall it out. No, that's so much time. Oh, that's so much time. So this Umbreon is a uh, bright powder with a uh, double team, confuse ray, baton pass, and fan attack. Um. Well, can I actually stall this out? Like, okay, I kind of want to, like... I could technically rest loop this, right? I mean, I could totally rest loop this and then, like... But, okay, the problem is Zatu does have recovery with Wish, but it's also weak to Fan Attack. Um, I feel like I just go for the throat and I hyper voice it. I hyper voice it right now, and I uh, um, I just have to punch it down. I think I just punch it down. I don't think I actually try to stall it. I think. Wait, hold on. Let's actually pause. No, I don't think I. I don't think I stall it. I think. I don't think I. I don't think I. I don't think I stall it. I don't think I do. I don't think there's a chance I do. I think I just gotta punch it. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. That's not what you want to see. Yeah. Um. Okay, well. Here's the interesting idea. So, they won't confuse Ray me here. They're guaranteed to faint attack, double team, or baton pass. Um, because they know I'm confused, they won't confuse me again. I feel like I'm dead to faint attack. That's what I'm assuming I'm dead to faint attack. Do I just go to Tauros here and uh, just try to thrash it down or something like that? Or facade it down even? Um, yeah, I would facade it because facade is... 105 compared to Earthquake's 100. But Thrash is 120, which is a pretty big difference, actually. Um, uh, I don't know. So I, I don't think Hyper, Vo Hyper Voice probably did Cheeks damage. No, I'm just going to stay and I'm going to Hyper Voice. Uh, come on, X Cloud. You know what's silly? I, 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 you know what I think I should have done as well. I should have rested anyway. I should have tried to rest anyway. Yeah, you know why? Because th I forgot Umbreon does not have leftovers. So I would have objectively slowly beat the Umbreon. I would have. I would have slowly beat the Umbreon. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, it's okay, though. So, are we going Tauros or Zatu? My brain says Zatu. No, I don't know. Why is Tauros low? Wait, what? What? How am I low? Wait, what hit me? Is this the Magmar game? Is this the same game with Magmar? No, no. Before that was that was Magmar Rapidash. What is or no, was that Blaziken Rapidash? That's actually so bad. I could just lose to this, man.
Oh, I should have tried to rest. Oh, I think I made a misplay. I should have tried to rest, man. I should have... Damn, 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 damn. I should have tried to rest. I should have tried to rest. I gotta nightshade it down, I guess? If only Zatu had magic bounce. <laughs> Why is this thing low? I know facades doing nothing. I think I just try to slam it with facade. I don't think I thrash. Something about clicking thrash seems off. Because I don't want to be confused. Oh, wow, that's so crazy that happening. Now I'm gonna go Boros, I guess, and Facade. Wow! Good hit. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather have that than double team. Or, I mean, then Confuse Ray. That's fine. This is okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Perfect. I have Person Berry. I don't care. Do not care. Tauros doesn't care. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, do I take slow, bro? Um, kind of interesting. Slow, bro's not bad. Oh, wait, no, I can't guarantee slow, bro. Never mind. Wait, right? Man, I totally forgot what I let off against. I like, I, t I totally forgot. I have no clue. I think it's Magmar. I think it was Magmar. Like, why else would I have been low? I think, I think I got hit by a Magmar. Um, which I'm not taking. Um, I definitely do not want that Umbreon. And I definitely do not want, um... Well, I kind of... Slowbro would be fine. But I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. Okay, this is a mis I don't think it is, but we'll see. Alright, let's get it. Oh, Mischievous. That's funny. Here's the Mischievous. So, yeah. This is Mischievous because it sounds like Blossom. That's funny. We found the Miss. Okay. So let's go to Plowed. Let's go. I think this is the Paint Split T Wave Confused Ray Shadow Ball set. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's the Confused Ray. That's fine. That's fine. Um. I'm just gonna shadow ball it twice. Well, kind of nervous to shadow ball it and then have it pain split me and then hit myself in confusion, but I'm still gonna ball. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, you're gonna be killed. Well, actually. No, you know what's interesting? I think they guaranteed click paint split. That was dumb, right? Because I'm a, uh, I'm double status right now. So if I'm double status, they won't confuse. They won't T wave. They won't shadow ball because I'm immune. Damn, I think they guaranteed paint split, right? So. I think I rest then? I think I want to rest here, right? I think I rest. I think I rest, yeah. I rest. What I think is here.
Yeah. That's okay. That's fine. Nice. Okay, so now I think I knocked them out. I think I knocked them out with the Shadow Ball. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe I snap out here? No, oh, come on. That's fine. Uh, I could rest. Um... Oh, rest sleep talk is kind of funny, actually. Ah, but then I have a sleeping X Plowed, which I don't know if I want that. Um. Like, I could rest and then talk, talk. I don't think it's that big of a deal that I'm paralyzed, honestly. I, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a world ender. So I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Nice! We hit through. Are they dead? No. Okay. Oh, well, they're low again, right? I'm just gonna ball. Probably low, but what? How are they not dead? Oh, interesting idea. Do how much PP does Pain Split have? Wait a second. I have, I have zero clue how much PP Pain Split has. Actually, I have no clue. Feels like a move that would have 20, but I could also see it having 10. Or if it, I, it's definitely 10 to 20. It's not anything below or higher. It's not 5, and it's definitely not like 30 or 25. I don't know if anything has 25 naturally. I don't know. I haven't been in a lot of pain split scenarios, except versus except using uh, Dusclops 1. Like, I've never used this mischievous, I don't think. Like, maybe I could, like... Maybe if I rest up, I could distract it while it's low. So, like... Oh, but it's gonna pain split me here, right? And I'm definitely above... I don't know where I am, actually, on the... Because I'm paralyzed, so I don't know... My cry will always sound low. Oh, this is interesting. I think I'm gonna rest. Now what do they do? Oh, they probably confuse me. That's bad. How is it still... What? Okay, do I sleep talk? Yes. This is fine. Must have been rest or hyper voice. Uh. Okay, I mean, do I just do I like stall this? Can I stall this? 
I, I feel like I kind of can't, right? Oh, what if they confuse me? I just, I have no clue what HP they're at right now. I kind of want to ball them right now. You know what the better idea is, though? You know what the better idea is? If I... Oh, you know what I could have been doing? If I have a paralyzed Exploud, I can swap stall between Tauros and Exploud, right? Because they'll never paralyze Exploud if it's paralyzed. Huh. Interesting. That could be a cute idea. Well, no, I could literally- I could have a sleeping Exploud install this. Right? How is that still working? Okay, I'm correct that I can do this, right? I just don't want to get my Tauros paralyzed, but I don't think- I think I could do this a couple of times, right? Like, like just, just, just a couple of times, just to be funsies. Ah, uh, well then, then I'm wasting my Tauros's Personberry. Ah, uh, maybe that isn't worth it, right? Personberry could be important. And I do like that when I sleep talk, I'm not actually using Shadow Ball's PP. So I'm gonna keep doing this. They'll confuse. Yeah, they'll confuse here. Yup. It must be a full then, huh? That's fine. Okay, they're splitting. Oh, here we go. Get a Shadow Ball off. There you go. Now, do I just shadow... I mean, I, I don't kill them with two Shadow Balls, so I, I feel like I definitely don't, right? However, they could confuse me and then T-Wave me, so maybe now's my chance. Maybe. Yeah, so... As I wake up here, then they might T-Wave me. Oh, nice. Okay, well, they're just dead. Never mind. Okay, sick. Oh my god, it's the Shuckle. Did I forget about being weak to Shuckle? Um... You just, just don't fucking... Don't click rollout. Don't click rollout, okay? I'm going Zatu and I'm gonna Nightshade you. Imagine loading up a team that was almost weak to defense curl, rest, roll out, shuckle. There it is. There's the de there's the defense curl. Shuckle one is charging up. But it takes like more than half from this nightshade. Yep, you're dead. I think they die, right? So funny. Uh, what sounds like that? Who's weird like that? Oh, Exeggutor. Um, I'll just drill pack you. Good night. Light screen, I don't care. Uh. I'm definitely feeling the fatigue a bit today. Button here. Oop. 
I'll admit, I'm definitely feeling the fatigue a little bit, but we're pushing. Do I want any of these mons? I don't think so. I don't see why I would. I think, well, Shuckle is horrendous. Mischievous is also pretty horrendous, and I don't think it makes sense on my team. I think x always just does more. I think this is just a really interesting scenario where all the mons on the opposing team were pretty ass, but they also had really interesting interactions with my own team. See, that's just what's that's just what's so great about Battle Factory. That's what, it's just what's so great about Battle Factory. I love it. Man, I can't wait to get back to go for the world record for level 100 singles, which is held by Wildcat right now with 119 wins. Yes, the same amount as his level 50 record, well, former record, but it's 119 with an asterisk because Wildcat hasn't continued it yet. He's waiting for someone else to get up there, which, uh, you know, hopefully is me over the summer. Let's see what we got. Uh, Porygon. Good. Tracing Intimidate doesn't work, thankfully. Okay, this isn't Victory Bell, this is Porygon. Try Attack, Aerial Ace, Shadow Ball, and Recover. Um, kind of actually awkward in, with my team. Like, well, they're not smart AI, so it's not like they're just going to, like, recover all the time on x -Bloud. But I also, I don't want Tauros to take damage if I don't need it to. Um, so I just kind of want to go into x -Bloud and, like, Hyper Voice it. I don't know if that's a losing battle or not, but, I mean, that, that's what I want to do. Um, I just, I just don't want Tauros to take damage and then just have it recover it off. I mean, I just don't. My team struggles to break this, definitely. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just go x -Bloud as the mid-ground. Yeah, let's go x -Bloud. Let's just Hyper Voice it. You know what would have been hilarious? If it, if I led x -Bloud, it would have traced Soundproof, and I wouldn't have been able to hit it with Hyper Voice. It would have walled me. That's hilarious. That's really cool, actually. Anyway, let's uh, Hyper Voice it. There's the try attack. What is that? Oh yeah, they have lefties, don't they? Or something like that? My below half? I doubt it, but maybe. Oh, I'm above. Thanks to that Tauros Intimidate. I think I'm gonna rest here. I think I'm gonna rest. I think I think rest makes sense here. Um, I'm def I'm I'm assuming I'm below half. I would be shocked if I wasn't. Yeah. So let's just rest up here. I think. Well, I don't think I die to a hit. So I kind of. Yeah, actually, this is interesting. I don't... Does an Intimidated Porygon 2 kill me with three Tri Attacks and an Aerial Ace? Well, no, no, it could also click Aerial Ace again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Hyper Voice it. Ah, but do I kill it with three Hyper Voices? I think I, uh, I think I do. So if anything, I think I actually want to rest and then voice voice. No, but then I'm taking two hits. Well, that's better than what I just took now, which is three hits. I'm at three hits of damage right now. If I think I can rest and then voice voice, I'll only take two hits. Which, and the worst possible scenario is two try attacks, which is objectively better than Aerial Ace try try. However, I also they also have a, a chance to then like burn me or paralyze me or freeze me. 
with the, which is 20% chance with try attack. So then I'm just really asking to get haxed in some way. And then I'd have to rest again. I'm going to voice it. I'm going to voice it. I'm going to voice it. Oh, nice. Let's go, Xplad. Okay. What's that? Slaking. I'm not scared of slaking one. Uh, slaking one is horrendous. Like, slaking one is really bad. Um, this thing is Yawn, Swagger, Bulk Up, Aerial Ace. Horrendous Pokemon. Um, however... Oh my god. Wait, why does Bulk Up slaking kind of... Like... Wait, hold. Why does this actually kind of, like, do stuff versus me? Um... Wait, that's kind of crazy, actually. Um... Huh! I guess my play, if I want to play it safe, is to rest with x -Plowed. And then I keep swapping um, Tauros in to intimidate the Slaking. Um, but does it have lefties? No, it's Scope Lens. It's not lefties. No, wait. No, it's not. No, wait. What is it, actually? Four is Lum. Three is Band. Two is lefties. One is Scope Lens. It is Scope Lens. Oh, my God. Wait, that actually makes it even more scary. Is that real? Wait, pause. Why does... And I can't hit it with Nightshade because it's a normal type. Wait a second. Why is Slaking 1 actually scary? That That's hilarious. That's really, really funny. I mean, that that that's hilarious. Wow. That might be the funniest thing ever. Slaking 1 is scary. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, Yawn, Bulk Up, Swagger, Aerial Ace. My x Plout is... I'm assuming... I mean, it's it's guaranteed in the yellow. It's not going to die to Aerial Ace here. So I could get a Hyper Voice off. Um, unfortunately, Yawn isn't a sound move, so Soundproof doesn't block Yawn. What, though? I want to get Tauros in on a Swagger, right? I, I want to get Tauros in on a Swagger. I'm kind of thinking about directly going into Tauros right now. That's what I'm considering. I feel like I want to directly go into Tauros. Because if Slaking clicks Yawn here, that's okay. Like, if they Yawn into Tauros, I'll just swap back into x and then I'll go back into Tauros, hoping they Swagger me. If they Aerial Ace, all is well. I just click Facade then. And I hope that they Swagger me. Um, and I'll get two Facades off. If they Bulk Up, I think I still just stay in and Facade. They're not threatening me that hard yet. Yeah, I think I go Tauros here, actually. That makes the most sense. Yeah, because even if they Yawn, I at least got an Intimidate off. Um, where are my keys? Here they are. Okay. So, I'm gonna keep x -plot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Aerial Ace crit would be terrible, but, like, whatever. Why we have Tauros? Come on. Swagger me. Swagger me. Okay, I mean, they had to mit. Wait, wait, wait. Did they loaf? No, they couldn't have loafed. They had to miss Swagger. That had to be what happened. They, they just, they had to miss Swagger. That's the only explanation. Um, which I'm fine with. I'm just gonna facade here, right? Yeah.
Yes, let's go, swagger. Person. Huge. Let's go. Tauros won, man. We love Tauros. Horny Tauros emote. Should be dead. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, victory bell. Um, goodbye. I'm gonna thrash you for style. I've decided. Nice. Okay. I'm not taking any. Well. Oh, do I? Hmm. Do I take Porygon 2 over Exploud? I kind of want to, right? Try attack Shadow Ball, same deal. Um, I gain Aerial Ace coverage, which could be useful for like last second Heracross insurance. Um, helps me hit through double team and recover is arguably better over um, Rest Sleep Talk on Exploud. Interesting. Um. Oh, I don't know. Um, is that what I want to do? Why would I keep X-Pod? What does Rest give me? I mean, the long... The... No. Well. Well, is... I forgot what Porygon 2-1's bulk is. I think it's like... Didn't they give it max attack and then max defense? So isn't Exploud actually spe more specially bulky than Porygon? On top of the fact that Exploud hits harder? Like, it just, it straight up hits harder. Um. Ah, uh, but, I mean, Lefties is nice, man. I mean, Lefties plus Recover. Like, that's not even, that's not a bad Pokemon at all. And Trace is cute, right? I mean, like, Trace could help with, like, Flygon. Trace helps with Vaporeon. Trace helps with Jolteon. That's pretty notable, actually. Um, that's a notable one. Yeah. Um. Interesting, right? I mean, nobody's using Toxic, so it's not like I'm, like, afraid of Toxic, where I need rest. Oh, wait, Blissey won. Oh, that's actually interesting. Wait, how, what does my Blissey won matchup look like? If, uh... No, uh, oh, I don't know if Zatu has Synchronize or Early Bird. Hmm. Because if Zatu has Synchronize, then if they Toxic Zatu, I could then swap stall with Zatu plus something else. No, Zatu doesn't have lefties. Never mind. I can't do that, actually. Well, Porygon 2 could trace Blissey's natural cure, if it has natural cure, and I could swap stall it. Ish. Ish. Yeah, ish. And then I could Aerial Ace it down. Oh, that's interesting. I could Aerial Ace it down then. Yeah, why, why am I not going Porygon 2? I feel like it's just because, like, well, Exploud is just, it's bulkier. Exploud is bulkier, and Exploud hits harder. Which, I'd really just be taking Porygon for, like, random trace matchups and, um, instant recovery. I mean, Trace, Trace is, like, a notable reason, like, right? Helps with Flash Fire from, like, maybe, like, a Flareon or, like, a Ninetales or a Rapidash. Uh, maybe I just go Porygon. Huh. Yeah, why am I not, right? That, that's got to be the play. That's got. That's got to be the play. Right? I mean, that's got to be. The play. Ah, 
<laughs> but I really like Xplod's bulk. And instant recovery overrated. When I can't see my HP, it might be overrated. It might be. It, it, it could totally be overrated if I because I can't see my HP. I mean, this, this isn't that. I mean, this is kind of an important decision. What does what does Tauros and Zatu hate to see? The main thing I can think of is Aerodactyl with uh, Aero, Aero 1 with Aerial Ace, Ancient Power, Dragon Breath, Roar. That set sucks for me. That's like a... Oh, you know what's interesting? Oh, what's kind of funny is that uh, Xplod can't be phased out. Hmm. Xplod can't be phased out because of uh, um, Soundproof. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Huh. Huh. Man, I kind of want to keep. But I, uh, oh, I mean, my Vaporeon matchup is poop. My Jolteon matchup is poop. I mean, my Jolteon matchup is bad. Like, it is, that is a, that is a not good matchup. 100% not a good matchup. And Flygon isn't, like, very good either. I'm gonna, I think I'm actually gonna go Pori though. I think Aerial Ace is really big. I, I feel like Aerial Ace is actually a big deal. And instant recovery is nice, and also, like, just, you know, I mean, Vaporeon and Jolteon coverage is just useful. That's, like, really, really useful. Yeah, I'm gonna swap for Vape. I'm gonna swap for vape. And that was in the lead, right? Right? Oh god, wait a second. Was it? Yes, it was. I'm gonna swap for vape. I'm gonna swap for I mean not vape for Pori. Okay. X Plowed is this one, but just to make sure, summary swap. X Plowed, you did a great job. Um but I gotta swap. the Pori. I think I, I like this decision by me. I think I do. Pretty sure I do. Yeah, I don't know. A golem. Oh, does this thing have counter? Oh god, I forgot if this thing has counter. I know this is a Rock Tomb Earth... I know this doesn't have Boom. I think it's Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Rick Break, Boom. This is hell. I mean, this could just counter and just kill, but I also am not... I'm obviously not switching in Zatu. Um, I don't know if Porygon makes that much sense. Like, I don't know why... But I, I don't want to get countered. I mean, that that's... The, I don't I don't want to get countered. I don't want to lose the counter, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this thing has counter. So, uh, um, I don't think it has Earthquake. Or not Earthquake. I know it has Earthquake. And I intimidated it. I probably wall it with Pori and I can slowly kill it. I could even hax it with Tri-Attack, something like that. Yeah, I, I, I forgot if this has Counter or not. I think it does. Doesn't it? Does it? I know this thing has Rock Tomb. I know that's a signature part of this golem. Earthquake, Rock Tomb. I think it's Earthquake, Counter, Brick Break. Oh, that, that feels wrong. Earthquake, Counter, Brick Break, and Counter? Earthquake, no, Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Brick Break, Counter? I thought it had something bad like a... I thought it had Scary Face, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go into Porygon. I know, uh, is that a dumb play? No, I just don't want to get countered. I forgot if this has countered. 
Not letting that happen. Tauros is by far my best mod. Hold on, just to make sure I'm on the fight. Pokemon. Yep, okay. Pressing B. This is Pokemon. Okay, Porygon. Tracing Sturdy or Rockhead. None of them matter. that move? What? Body, body slam? Does it have body slam? Is that what it has? Oh, maybe this thing has body slam instead. Oh, I think it has body slam. Cause that's what that sounded like, I think. Huh. Um. I'm just gonna shadow ball it. See what's up. That you're not. That's not Aerial Ace. Are you serious? Wow, they're really trying to get the para on me, which is actually kind of scary. Um, I feel like I have to recover. Maybe they don't have counter? There's the earthquake, that's doing a lot. Let's see if I'm above half or not. I assume I am because of intimidate. I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, so I don't die to two earthquakes unless they crit. Yeah, they're still not getting it. I wonder if I'm below half now. I am now, so they're actually kind of chunking me. Um, am I really sacrificing my Porygon to this thing? Um, I still think they have counter. I still think they have counter. I really do. I think they have Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Body Slam counter. I think they have counter. Shadow Ball is probably not doing anything. I'm afraid of getting paralyzed on the on the recover. That's what I'm afraid of right now. Or getting crit. It almost feels like it's not useful to do either of them, actually. It almost feels most useful to just Shadow Ball. I'm dead to crit on Earthquake. They could also start Rock Tombing at any point. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Uh, but Tauros, I don't think Tauros kill. I don't think Tauros kills after that, though. Maybe it does. Ah, I don't know. I, I really, I really have no clue. What's the worst that happens if I recover? They body slam and they para. Okay, that's not even that bad. I don't think I'm dead to EQ. I'm going to ball twice. Get a crit. Okay, that's a setup. Okay. So, I... They might outpace me. I'm not sure. I'm in the yellow, but I'm not in the red. I feel like I'm probably dead to an earthquake. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball again. Oh, I don't think I'm dead, though. Get the Shadow Ball off. Useless, but F-Drop doesn't matter. Um. Yeah. Yep, so I'm dead to anything unless they click counter, I guess. Probably dead. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This is what we planned. So... God, you better die to Earthquake, man. 
This thing better die to Eevee. Three shadow, three shadow balls. Come on, man. I mean, you gotta be dead. Oh wow, I was definitely killing it. I I didn't kill it with one, but okay, let's go. I'm happy with this. Oh no. Jesus hell, are you serious, man? Heracross? Um Wow, that's horrendous. Okay. So this Heracross is um I know it has counter and rock tomb. I know it has those moves. I know it has counter and rock tomb. Pretty sure it's Megahorn Brick Break counter rock tomb. Pretty sure it's Megahorn Brick Break. Or it, it, I feel like it lacks one of its stabs. I thought it lacked one of its stabs. No, no, no. I've used this in round one of, uh, yeah, for speed running Battle Factory on round one. This is, this is Megahorn Brick Break. And then it is, yeah, Megahorn, Brick Break, Counter Rock Tomb. So... It's also slow. It's a slow... It's a... It's... This is a zero speed Heracross. Which means that... Oh, does Zatu live, man? Does Zatu live the Megahorn? I... I don't know. I'm not in a good position here, though. Oh, wow. That's... That's... That's terrible. Because I... Obviously, I can kill this with Drill Peck. Oh, that's tough, man. And I didn't even get an Intimidate off because I used it on Golem. Oh! Man, do I kill it? Like, okay, well, here's the thing. They could click Brick Break or Counter, right? They can click both of those moves, Brick Break or Counter, and Zatu is fine into that. If, if they click Rock Tomb, I'm not looking good. Like, Rock Tomb is worst case, but also they have to choose Rock Tomb and they have to hit the Rock Tomb. But Megahorn... I know this thing is 252 attack adamant. That's gotta knock out the Zatu, right? I feel like that definitely does. So... Like, obviously, what I'm ideally trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to have it so that Tauros is 1v1-ing something in the back. Because I trust Tauros 1 to 1v1 something way more than a Zatu, right? And if I go Zatu and I just die to Megahorn, then... Because this Heracross is max attack, and then it has 252 defense. Which means that right now... Uh, it probably, I don't know if it lives two thrashes, but I know I'm, I don't have any bulk on this Tauros. I'm dead to Brick Break. I'm dead to Counter. And, uh, Rock Tomb's honestly fine. I don't, well, let's see. Brick Break is, I don't know if I die to Megahorn. I feel like I don't. I'm not putting it in Swarm. Man, okay, I have a, I have, I have an absurd idea. Do I swagger? Do I swagger this thing? If I'm, if, if, if I am deciding to go the route of Zatu trying to one v one something in the back, and I am, I am, I am playing recklessly with Tauros. Hitting it with Thrash or Facade doesn't do anything to me because Drill Peck KOs this Heracross anyway. Like, it, it KOs the Heracross anyway. Drill Peck does. So, if anything, I would want to try and 1v1 this Heracross with my Taurus. And my best way of doing that is Swagger. However, another idea is what if I Swagger... And if it hits itself in confusion, because again, if well, hold on. I'm I'm considering swaggering and then going into Zatu. That's what I'm considering right now. I'm considering swagger then going to Zatu, because swagger, you know, doesn't matter if they brick break. I will live a plus two brick break, 
Doesn't matter if they counter. If they Mega Horn, I was dead anyway. If they Rock Tombed, I wasn't dead before, but also, like... If I was swapping Zatu into a Rock Tomb... I would probably keep Zatu in. Ugh. This is weird, man. I don't even... I'm just considering if I Swagger... Because I don't, I don't think I can go Zatu. I just, I feel like I can't go Zatu. Are the odds in my favor technically? Yes, because 50% of the time, I love Brick Break and Counter. The other 50% of the time, I hate Rock Tomb and Mega Horn. However, both of those moves can miss. Um, and, I mean, I have to die to Mega Horn. I, I, I die to Mega Horn. And, well, I don't die to Rock Tomb. And so if I swapped in on a Rock Tomb... I would still have another chance to win, and it would just involve them clicking counter or brick break. Or missing again a rock tomb, like missing a rock tomb or a mega horn. Oh, I'm starting to go back to switching into Zatu, man. I'm kind of going back into switching into Zatu. Oh, I wish I had a calc so I could like I don't know. I mean I don't even know what a calc would well I would I would be able to calc Mega Horn and I'd be able to think about this quicker. Uh I mean I I I, I think Zatu one drops to Heracross. I, I think I'm dead. Man, this is tough. This is tough. I kinda wanna swagger it, man. Because if I swagger it and it kills Heracross and it kills Tauros, that's okay. You were killing the Tauros anyway. Like, I'm just deciding if I swagger, basically what I'm deciding is, A, I'm deciding if I, I I'm, I'm looking at my swagger route. Dude, Zatu 1v1ing something in the back. There has to be very few Pokemon that Zatu just 1v1s in the back. I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, it's a Zatu, dude. Like, this thing is not... I'm sorry, Zatu. I love you, Zatu. But, like, you're not... You're not a world beater. Tauros can 1v1 things in the back. But Zatu, like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And they sent out their fighting type into... They sent out their fighting type into x -Plan. So I think I don't think there's like another fighting type in the back. I I doubt it. I doubt there's another fighting type in the back. <sighs> well, it can't be Metacham in the back because Metacham has Focus Band and this also has Focus Band. Um, I forgot what Breloom One's item is. Honestly, what is Breloom One's item? I actually don't remember. Not black belt. Nothing has black belt. I don't know. Um. Ah. Uh, man, I really. This is an important decision. I really don't know. Well, what's the. Okay, let's go over the scenario where Zatu comes in and dies to Heracross. Then it's not the end of the world, then, right? Because then it's Tauros 1v1 versus. Heracross, except Heracross is at minus one, which means that it won't kill me with anything. It won't, yeah, it won't, it won't kill me with anything, except counter. Dude, the up, the upside of Zatu coming into Brick Break or counter is crazy. I think I have to go Zatu, because, I mean, I just, like, I don't know, man. I don't think I trust Zatu to 1v1 something in the back. I, it just dies to too many hits. It just, it dies to, like, Walrein Blizzard. Like, you know. Probably dies to an Elemental Punch from, like, Zam or Hypno. I mean, I just, I don't know. It doesn't two-hit KO anything. That That's, that's Zatu's main problem, right? Unless you're a Shuckle, Zatu does not two-hit KO anything. Nothing is two-hit KO'd unless you're weak to Drill Peck. Like, right? That's the only way. You'd have to be a Grass-type. Or you'd have to be a fighting type. Or else you're just, you're not... Ugh. 
I think I'm gonna go Zatu. I think I'm going Zatu. I think I'm going Zatu. I just... A part of me wants to stay in and swagger and then go Zatu, but... I mean, Heracross, 75% of the time here is clicking an attacking move. Megahorn, Brick Break, or Rock Tomb. And if I give it a plus two attack, that's gonna chunk Tauros. I don't think I like that. I'm gonna go Zatu. I'm gonna do it. I'm going Zatu. Ugh, I'm going Zatu. Oh, is that dumb? This is dumb. This is. I don't think it's dumb. Like I, I literally have a over 50% chance to win this interaction because again, Brick Break counter 50% of the time. Love it. Mega Horn Rock Tomb, the other bad 50%, but both of those moves can miss. And Rock Tomb isn't the end of the world. Like I don't automatically lose on Rock Tomb as. Heracross can still choose to Brick Break or Counter versus Zatu. Or, if they choose the Mecha Horn or Rock Tomb again, they can miss. I think I think Zatu just has the upside. I think I think I have to go Zatu. I don't see the... I think Swagger it might be dumb. Yeah, I think, I think Swagger might be dumb. I'm going to go Zatu. I'm going Zatu. Man. Going Zatu, I'm going Zatu, going Zatu. Imagine if this isn't a Heracross. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was Heracross. This is not Scizor. Okay. Who do I have in right now? Tauros, right? Just to be sure. Oh, come on, Zatu. Yes! Let's go, Zatu! Let's go! Let's go, Zatu! Oh, good night. Please don't focus, man. Yes! Let's go, Zatu! What is that? I know that sound. Let me just think of it. What is that? Cradley. Oh my god, not Cradley, dude. Dude, this thing's this thing's an actual nightmare. Hold on a second, that's bad. Um, no, this thing's a nightmare. This is Confuse Ray, Barrier, uh, Rock Slide, Giga Drain with lefties. Oh fuck! Shit, dude, this is a this is a terrible matchup. I mean, am I just going to nightshade it down? Is that my play? I kind of want to just nightshade it down. Um, and just say, you know what? If you rock to me, or if you rock slide me, that's okay. And I think that Tauros can like 1v1 at the end. Because I do have a person berry, which is good into Confuse Ray. And I wonder if I ever... No, I don't... I'm just going to nightshade this down. Because if this sets up barriers, then whatever. But I'm just going to nightshade it down. I'm going to nightshade it down. I'm going to nightshade it down. Let's just do that. It's also nice that I'm faster. Barrier. Yep. All right. Come on. Come on, Zatu. Oh, this is terrible, man. Oh, uh, I almost, I almost want to go Tauros because I feel like I died a rock slide. I feel like I died a rock slide. And if they rock slide me here, that's that's horrendous. And I think I think Zatu can live a minus one rock slide. I'm I'm pretty confident it can live a minus one rock slide. Oh, I I, I almost want to just punch this with Tauros. Yeah, but then it gets Giga Drain recovery. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna shade. Oh, please don't rock slide me. Dead. Don't die. Uh oh! When I didn't hear the red, I thought I was dead. What? Wow. That's like really good for me. Yeah, let's just keep nightshading.
They they missed. They missed Rock Slide. That's the only explanation. They missed Rock Slide. Beautiful. Oh my god. Datsu, go off. It's a KO! Wow! Let's go, Zatu! Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so sick! Let's go, Zatu. Okay. Uh, okay, let me think. Who did I lead off against? Um, Golem. Porygon was dealing with a Golem. I would love Heracross. But I don't want a Cradley. I don't. I do not want Cradley. Cradley is not for my team. No. I, I. Right? Am I sleeping on Cradley one? Hold. Pause. Let me think. Am I sleeping on Cradley one? What does Cradley one give me? Um. I can beat Aerodactyl. Uh. I'm very very good into Swampert. Well, no. Zatu beat Swampert anyway with uh, um Nightshade. Um. Um, do I want that cradley? Giga Drain, Rock Slide, Barrier Confuser. I feel like no, right? I just don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think. Uh, Porygon's kind of a sitting duck too, though. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep Pori. I'm keeping Pori. I think Pori is the keep. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Round four has been exciting. Dude, Zatu clutch, man. Let's go. That's so funny. If, if Heracross clicked Mega Horn, I easily lost that game to Cradley. I definitely lost. Starmie? Okay. Um, Starmie won. We have an emote for this guy. Where's this? I need to see some Starmie 1 spam in the chat right now. This is Starmie 1. Shell Bell Starmie, the iconic Starmie from my What Does Round 16 of Emerald Battle Factory video look like? The video that helped me blow up on YouTube. So shoutouts to Starmie 1. You probably kept people watching Starmie 1. This is Psychic, Confuse Ray, T Wave, Recover. Um. Not a good matchup for Tauros, because I don't want to get... I don't want to take damage, and I don't want to get paralyzed. Um, however, Zatu looks nice here. Because um, I can wish up. Uh, they're not doing that much damage with Psychic. I can wish up on it. And if they T-wave me, if I have Synchronized, they get T-waved back. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going Zatu. I mean, I could also just go Porygon. Yeah, maybe I just go Porygon, right? Because, uh, you know, I can just recover with Porygon as well, but I I can also Shadow Ball it. Um, I'm just... Is Zatu unironically important for stuff in the back? Probably, actually, right? Unlike Porygon, in a way. Like, I don't need Porygon for anything, for Tauros, like I do uh, Zatu. I'm gonna go Porygon. Oh, I don't like the matchup that Porygon has sometimes, though. No, I'm gonna go Pori. I'm going Pori. Hold on. What is this? Fight. Pokemon. Pressing B. That means I'm on Fight Pokemon menu. Pokemon. Now let's go Pori. Come on. This better- this better not get ch Oh, this might get chunked by Psychic, though. This might have been stupid. What is that? What? Oh, it clicked recover. Oh, that's funny. Wow, that kind of bailed me. I kind of want to go Zatu, man. I kind of want to go Zatu because I'm... No, I'm going to Shadow Ball it. Screw it. I'm Shadow Balling. There's the Confuse Ray. That's annoying. Come on, man.
This is why- This is why Starmie 1 is good. I kind of hope that I traced Natural Cure. I could technically see if I traced that- I could go into Z I could- I could still make my Zatu play. If- I mean, because I might have traced Natural Cure. I don't know if it's Natural Cure or Illuminate that I traced. But if I go Zatu... But a paralyzed Zatu is actually really bad for my team. I feel like I'm going to lose this current interaction, though. I feel like I'm going to lose. Okay, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. I'm going to Shadow Ball. Uh... Oh my god, no. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh my God, I crit. Oh, that was so lucky. Holy crap, I just got an absolute luck box. Wow. Hit through confusion and paralysis to get the shadow ball crit. Wow. Brand bowl intimidate. Um, okay. I mean, that was immense. That was crazy. Um, oh, what's funny, they can smelling salt me right now to heal my paralysis. That's interesting. So they have mega kick, smelling salt, roar, and T wave. Um, yeah. Wow, that's so funny. They could smelling salt me right now. I don't think I recover. I think I definitely just try attack this. I don't. I mean, I could recover, I guess, but I, I don't... I don't really see the point of that. Um, yeah, because if I don't try attack, I don't think double facade Tauros kills, and I want to get two facades off. So I'm going to try attack. I'm going to play sacrificially here. Ah, there's the smelling salt. <laughs> And I'm dead to smelling salt. That's so funny. Okay. Um. No. Tauros time. So this Grand Bowl is Mega Kick, T Wave, Smelling Salt, Roar. Um, I don't want to see T Wave, obviously. Um, I'm thinking about just thrashing right now. I feel like thrash. Or do I want to? I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway, um, where's my keys? So, I think I want a facade because if they T-wave me, I want to have a boosted facade. And if I'm thrashing, I'm locked into thrash. And also, person gives me good upside versus a potential confuse Raymon in the back, um, which could be big. Something like a Lapras or something like a Lantern. Um, or, well, Gengar doesn't matter, but, uh, yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, Jesus. Let's, uh... I just don't think two facades kills, but I'm, I'm gonna click it anyway. I have to. Man, dude. I mean, Thrash does 120 compared to 105. That's a lot of damage. They could also Smelling Salt after the T-Wave. They could also roar here, though. So I'm, I'm just going to facade. I'm facading. I mean, Thrash would be better on roar, but I'm just going to facade. Uh, yeah, that's, a, man, that's so bad. No. Oh, I thought that was a crit. Okay. Well, no, that's actually good that they healed me. They have to die here, right? I'm not clicking Thrash because I might have to Earthquake, but they have to be dead to three facades, right? Please to God, dude. I'm a max attack Tauros. 12 IVs, max attack Tauros. You have to be dead. You, you have to be dead. Thank you.
Oh. Uh. Is this. This has to be Vile Plume. It can't be Aerodactyl. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Hold on. I think it's Vile Plume, though. So they sound really similar, but I seem to have a natural talent of knowing which one it is, and I'm playing it back in my head, and it sounds lower. Or I don't I don't know which one is lower and higher, but that felt more like a vile plume. I think that's a vile plume. Let me think. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Vileplume has what as its item? Personberry. Okay, that doesn't matter with, uh, um... Granville. Granville has Cherry. And then who did I kill off the bat? Who did I take out off the bat? I took out Starmie with, a uh, Shell Bell. So yeah, that doesn't matter. Ugh. I mean, Arrow, Arrow would literally just be game over, I think. I'm just nervous about clicking Swagger. Because if it's an Aerodactyl... Oh my god, dude. If this is an Aerodactyl, I want to Swagger it. I need to Swagger it if this is Aerodactyl. But... Simultaneously... This is crazy. Simultaneously. If this is Vileplume, they have Persimberry. And Sludge Bomb. So, I would just die, and then I don't think Zatu gets the KO, and then they'd kill me with Sludge Bomb. Oh. Oh my god, this is the craziest blindfolded moment ever. This is the craziest blindfolded moment ever. Wow. This is crazy. This is cr this is actually crazy. That's nuts. That's so nuts. I'm trying to figure out with AI switching. So like, so Porygon two killed the Starmie, and then yeah, none of them have a super effective move on Porygon. But uh, yeah, and they none of them have any sort of priority on what they would come in. So if if Granbull and Vileplume or Granbull and Aerodactyl were in the back, I think it would have been a tie, like an AI tie. Like there wouldn't have been, I don't know what the priority, I don't know who would have been sent out first. I'm definitely going to be studying the AI switch and mechanic a bit more uh, before I do level 100 attempts. Because I think that's a huge part of my game that I can improve. Um, uh... I'm just trying to hear that cry again, like the... No, oh, maybe that was Aerodactyl. I, isn't Vileplume higher? I think that was Aero, dude. I think I got a Swagger, right? Here's what I'm thinking, right? If I... No, I mean, if I Swagger the Vileplume, first off, it has to click Sludge Bomb, right? For me to lose right here. It, it has to click Sludge Bomb, right? I don't think I die to a pedal dance from Vi from Vileplume. And even if it starts pedal dancing, I can go into Zatu and win the game. So, because Vileplume 1 is Sludge Bomb, Pedal Dance, Moonlight, Aromatherapy. Aerodactyl 1 is Aerial Ace, Ancient Power, Dragon Breath, and Roar. Oh, they could roar. That's hilarious. And they have King's Rock as the arrow's item is King's Rock. Um... I think in case this is Aerodactyl, which I think it could be, I need to swagger it. I, I have to swagger Aerodactyl. I have to swagger it. I have no other chance. I have to swagger it. I have to. I have to swagger Aerodactyl. I have to swagger it. Yeah, I have to swagger it. I have to swagger it. I'm not doing enough damage with anything else. Well, am I at half health? Let's actually see something. Am I at half health? Maybe I'm not at half health, actually. So maybe I could... Oh, interesting. Do I, like, just thrash the Aerodactyl and then hope it doesn't... Ah, interesting. What if I just hope it doesn't click... You know what? Let's pause. I don't think I have to swagger. If this Aero... Wait, let's just look at my health first, though. 
Oh, uh, damn, I'm below half. Um, yeah, it definitely, I think it knocks me out with Ancient Power or Aerial Ace here. Dragon Breath obviously won't kill me. And then uh, Roar is best case scenario, I'd say. Um... Another idea, another idea is, uh, interesting. Do I ever go into Zatu so that I reset Intimidate and then somehow, some way, try to 1v1 Aerodactyl? Because I think it would allow me to live one hit. I think if I get in it, if I, I, I'm pretty confident that if I Intimidate the Aerodactyl, I can live one hit at my current health, which is below green. But I think because I intimidated the Grand Bowl, Smelling Salt, yes, was base 120 there, but I just don't see... That did a lot of damage, actually. That's kind of crazy how much that did then. Wow, that's actually nuts. Because I intimidated it, right? Anyway, whatever. That, 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 that's, 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 that doesn't matter. What does matter is the fact that I think if I intimidate the arrow... Um, I can try to swagger it. And this is if Zatu dies. Because my goal with swapping Zatu in would be to... Um, my goal with swapping Zatu in would be to get a wish off. I want to get a wish off into Taurus. So if I swap Zatu in, I think Zatu, yes. If they click Ancient Power once, I'm dead, right? Well, I might live one, but I'm probably dead. But if they click like some sort of combination like Aerial Ace, D-Breath... Well, what would be funny is if I wished, and then I swapped to Tauros, and then I got, uh, um... Well, if I wished, wouldn't I stay in, actually? If I wished, I think I'd stay in, because if I... If I live, then Zatu gets health back, and I could click Nightshade. But if Zatu dies, then Tauros comes in and gets the wish, which is obviously useful. Another thing, too, though, is that if I'm intimidating Arrow and I swagger it, it's only at plus one attack instead of, uh... Um, plus two, which I would want it for hitting itself in confusion. Man, dude, this is tough. I hope this is Vileplume and this doesn't matter. Ah, what's funny, though, is that if this is Vileplume... No, Zatu definitely lives a sludge bomb. And what happens if I go to Zatu and Aerodactyl roars? Then I just get a free Intimidate. But what's my, what's, what's my play from there? Do I like that? Do I like Zatu into Roar? Um, what would I do then? I think, you know what? I think I would. Because I think if, uh, if, uh, um, if Aerodactyl gets intimidated, I think Zatu lives in Ancient Power. I think it could live one Ancient Power. I feel, I feel like it could. And then I could get a crucial Nightshade off. Um, yeah, a, a crucial Nightshade. Oh, and you know what else is kind of crazy? If they Dragon Breath Zatu, and I synchronize, then they get paralyzed, which would be immense. Jesus Christ, am I going Zatu right now? There's no way. I mean... I, I mean, like... Because if I... I feel like Tauros dies, man. I feel like I'm dead. I feel like I'm dead. I have no clue how much Granbull did with Smelling Salt. Like, I, I have... I mean, I'm below half, right? I'm below half, right? Let me see. Wait. No, yeah, I'm below... My keys. Where's my keys? Where's my keys? Okay. I'm on... Fight Pokemon... Yeah, I'm a lower pitch. I just don't know how much, man. Oh, I just don't know how much. Um, uh, this is... So I mean, I'm leaning towards Aerodactyl, obviously. <laughs> I so hope this is a vile move. 
But what if I... What, could you imagine if I swapped into Zatu? I get crit by Sludge Bomb, and then I just lose the game to Vileplume? That, that would be the most hilarious thing. Oh, man. That's why I'm kind of scared to stay in and swagger, though. Ugh. Because then Vileplume could just, like, smoke my ass. I, I, see, man, if I had a calc, this would be so much easier. Because I could see if, can Arrow kill the Tauros? If it couldn't kill Tauros, I think I would instantly swagger here. I just don't see how, I don't think Thrash is doing, I guess, like, the question, I guess, I guess I need to ask myself this, right? Why would I stay in with Tauros and attack? Do I really think that Thrash, plus, like, Crash plus two Nightshades is going to kill? I doubt it. So what is my kill plan? Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Let's pause. What What is my kill plan right now? Um, If if I sacrifice Zatu here, which it would die to an Ancient Power. It, it would, I would drop to an Ancient Power. Then Tauros is at half health versus an Intimidated Arrow. I would have to swagger it, and then I'd have to thrash it. I'm losing that. I think I'm losing that, man. I think I gotta stay in. I don't think I go Zatu. Ah, but what if they... Uh... No, I might go Zatu, bro. Jesus, hell. I gotta calm down and just really process this. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. I'm getting stressed out and my stomach's hurting. I can't have that happen. Okay. Sorry I'm being silent. I'm just trying to think right now. I'm really just I'm just trying to think think. I think I think, I think this Aerodactyl is 170 HP. 170 attack, 170 speed. I'm pretty sure this arrow has speed. I'm, I'm... Yes, this Aerodactyl has speed, because Aerodactyl 1 and 2 have speed, and this is arrow 1. So I'm definitely outsped, or am I? Wait, if I have 12 IVs on Tauros, and I'm max speed... Am I faster than this arrow? Is Tauros one adamant or jolly? I kind of forgot if this thing's adamant or jolly. I think it's adamant. I think it's adamant. I don't... I couldn't see how it would be jolly. And even if it was jolly, I don't think it outpaces base 130 with 170. Yeah, I'm definitely slower. I'm slower. I'm... I'm... I'm, con I'm pretty confident that I'm slower, right? So... God, going into Zatu seems like such a stupid choke, right? That's got that's got to be a choke, man. That's got to be a choke. Because then I'm just asking. I mean, Arrow then has to not click Ancient Power in two turns for that to be worth it, right? And I might even die to double Aerial Ace. So there's there's a if you have if they if Arrow can click four different moves each time, Ancient Ancient Ace. Breath and Roar. How many combinations of those moves are there? There are, uh, um... What is it, like, 4 times 4, right? 16? I guess there's 16 scenarios, right? One of those scenarios... Well, is Ancient Power turn 1. Well, that's actually 4 of those scenarios. Because, um... 4 of those scenarios, I'm dead, okay? That's 4 out of 16 scenarios. Then you... Also have... Wait, no, that can't be right. That can't be right. No, 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 no. It's, it's permutations, right? Not combination? Wait a second. Well, 25% of the time I'm dead with Ancient Power on the swap, right? 
And then the other amount of times is Aerial Ace or Dragon Breath into Roar, into Ancient Power. So that's like, or Double Ace. That's another one. That's another, that's two Aerial Aces, I'm dead. Dragon Breath into Ancient Power, I'm dead. Aerial Ace into Ancient Power, I'm dead. God, I hope they roar. That would be hilarious. Uh, I feel like I have. I feel like I want to swag. The problem with Swagger too, though, is that if I Swagger this Aerodactyl, they kill Zatu with Aerial Ace. I think I need it to hit itself, though. God, I just don't... I feel like... I just don't know if I'm dead here. I don't know if Tauros is dead to an Aerial Ace or an Ancient Power. I don't know, man. Aerodactyl has an okay attack stat. It's 170 attack invest here. Ah. Uh, but here's the thing. Okay, yeah, I could go into Zatu. And then I could go back into Tauros. And then, yes, I live a hit. Like, I live in Ancient Power. I live in Aerial Ace. But am I really gonna win the game then? Like... Am I really? I'd have to swagger the the Torah. I'd have to swagger the Aerodactyl. And then I'd have to thrash and just hope and pray. And I just don't... I, I think I'm dead to any combination of two moves. Even if intimidated. I think D breath plus power kills me. I think breath plus aerial kills me. I think double ancient power kills me. I think double aerial ace kills me. I don't think double D breath kills me. But... I think I'm going to stay in and swagger. I think I'm going to stay in and swagger. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, th I think, I think, I think I have to swagger. I, I, I kind of want to go into Zatu and do the whole, like, wish up my Tauros thing, but, like, I just... I think I could win. If, if I had a Tauros, if Aerodactyl was intimidated and my Tauros was at full health, from the witch. I think I I think I can 1v1 it with four thrashes, right? I think I click thrash four times. I think I win. But that's not the case. I got a swagger. I got a swagger and I got a hope. I got a hope and pray. I got a swagger and I got a hope. My key. Am I off camera again? Hold on. Okay, let's see. Is this this is Tauros in the field, right? Yeah, I got a swagger, man. Please be a vile plume. Oh, deep breath. Okay, it's arrow. That that's arrow, and they're faster, and they deep breath. Okay, okay, hold, 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 hold. Okay, um. Okay, that that's that's a chance. Okay. So What do I I have to thrash, right? I don't do any I have to thrash. I have to thrash. I have to thrash. I have to thrash. I just I have to punch it. I have to punch this thing and I have to punch it. I have to punch it. I don't think Zatu makes any sense. It has to hit itself. I have to thrash it. Just don't snap out, man. Just don't. Just. I mean, you you literally actually can't snap out here, but just don't snap early. I gotta thrash it. I gotta get some thrashes off, and then I gotta hope, man. I just gotta hope. I gotta hope and pray. Oh, I can't. Do I ever go Zatu and Wish? Interesting idea. But there's no way I go Zatu and Wish, right? Is there? Hold on. Hold. Let me actually. I'm at full health, but I'm dead if they click Ace or Power here and hit. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a thrash. Thrash does the most. Oh, they roared!
Okay, let's go, man. I got lucky there, but like, I think that was the right play by me. I think that was the right play. That's crazy that they clicked Roar twice though, huh? Wow. I, I mean, I got lucky. I got lucky, but I, I'll have to look back and see on that play. I, I think that's an interesting discussion. Oh, I made it. Wow. That was, that was to make it out of round four too. Wow. So that's it. Uh, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to look back at that play and I'm going to decide if I made the right play and I'll do calcs and stuff like that. I really don't know. I feel like that was the right play though. I don't know. Anyway, we're on to round five. Let's go, you guys. 28 wins. Smart AI starts now. This is where the AI gets smart. Um, which is why we're going to need a banana once I get to the draft. So the AI is now smart AI, so they make very good decisions, and they operate on a whole, totally different level than rounds one to four. Um, yeah. Noland is on round six, though, but this is still difficult. This is way, way more difficult, especially blindfolded. Um, okay. Oh my god, is this Needle Queen or Lapras? I'm gonna- I'm literally gonna flip. I'm literally gonna flip. I have no clue. No, I- This is Needle Queen. Because Lapras- The- the vowel in Lapras is A, compared to the vowel in Needle Queen is I. A is higher than I. And I think Lapras is do 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 do. This is Nido Queen. Wait, is it? Yeah, this is Nido Queen. So this is the uh, this is the Earthquake Shadow Ball set. No, 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 wait. Well, it's a, it doesn't have Sludge Bomb. It's a Double Edge Earthquake. Aerial Ace Rock Slide, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did I have an acronym for this? Double Edge? Or I'm pretty confident on Double Edge Earthquake. D-E. I know it has Aerial Ace. Was it Deer? Or was it Deera? Was it Deer, maybe? Well, the ways of... Oh, I think it... I don't think it has Rock Slide. I think it's Shadow Ball, right? No, I think this is Shadow Ball. That's why I didn't... No, Nido King has Shadow Ball. I don't know. I think it has Rock Slide, but Double Edge, Earthquake, Aerial Ace, Rock Slide. I don't think this has Shadow Ball. Either way, what's next? I'm not taking Parish Song Jinx. 0% chance. Oh, that's how Doom. Oh, that's a good mod. That's a Fire Blast Crunch Rust Roar. Yeah. Okay. Good partner with Nido Queen too. Kind of is good into well, ice types are ice water usually, so that doesn't actually matter that much. But uh, psychics. Okay. Oh my God, is this Espeon? I don't know. No, it can't be, because they both have no, 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 no. Houndoom has Lum, not Chesto. This can be Espeon. This can be Chesto Espeon. This is the uh, um, the Psychic Shadow Ball Calm Mind Rest. Which you guys might think is good, but they actually made a mistake with this Espeon, and they gave it max attack instead of max special attack. So yes, this is a max attack Espeon. Maybe it wasn't a mistake, maybe they wanted to give it max attack. But yeah, so this thing has some Shadow Balls that sting, but its Psychic is not that powerful. What the hell is that? Wait, that's a... Uh... That's- that's Lapras! Yeah, no Shuckle. Oh my gosh, it's Needle Queen and Lapras. Okay. And that's NASCAR Lapras! Oh my god, we got NASCAR Lapras, you guys. This is, uh, if you guys watched my recent video, which you should, by the way, we know NASCAR Lapras. Max speed, timid nature, max special attack. Surf, ice beam, body slam, roar with quick claw. This is a good mod.
Okay, I mean, I gotta take Lapras. I gotta take Lapras. Lapras is very, very good. This is a very good Pokemon. Um, my intuition is telling me to go Lapras, Houndoom, Nidoqueen. The only Mon that would be... Like, the only four Mons in discussion are Nidoqueen, Espeon, Lapras, and... Uh, um, Houndoom. Um, so let's discuss. So... Lapras is the best mon on the team easily, right? However, it struggles versus waters because it, I mean, it, it, it could have water absorb, but it's either water absorb or shell armor. But I still, I'm, I do struggle versus like something like a Whale Lord 2. Um, Whale, Whale Lord 2 is double edge amnesia, curse and rest. Um, no, well, we all, we know that Hound Doom actually kind of chunks that thing from that blindfolded stream, like, what, a month ago? Three weeks ago? I think that was a month ago where Hound Doom double crunched the Whale Lord. Um. That, that's Espeon, right? That just sounds like Espeon. Yeah, that's Espeon. That's not Vaporeon. That's Espeon. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Shell Bell? Oh, no, you have Bright Powder. That's right. Shell Bell, Bright Powder. Lum. Chesto. Quick Claw. Leftovers. Yeah, no. Uh, Jinx doesn't have lefties. Never mind. Yeah. Jinx is the uh, Bright Powder set. Yes. And Houndoom, we know Houndoom is a good mon, right? We know Houndoom is good. I'm really scared of Snorlax. Snorlax 2 is Curse, Rest, Quake Slide. That's like a very polarizing mon. And while I can 3v1 it if I go Lapras, Espeon, Doom, I don't know. I mean, this Espeon is really not good just because it doesn't have a special attacking stat. That's like, that's like so bad. But I'm also really nervous about my water type matchup with Houndoom, Nido Queen, and Lapras. It just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right about it. I mean, like, yes, Houndoom is fine into Slowbro and Slowking, but like a Hydro Pumping, Thundering Starmie too. I just get cleaned by. Well, okay, Houndoom is faster, but still. Uh. But is Espeon really good for waters? Oh, that's right. I need food. I need a banana. My banana up here. I down. Oh. This doesn't taste right. No, oh, fuck that. I don't like this. You don't taste right. Damn it. Um. Ew. Something's up with that. I do have a cup of vegetables in my fridge, though, so I'm gonna go get that cup of vegetable. Let me go on a Pokemon that I don't know so that you guys don't think I'm cheating. Alright, Houndoom, Fire Blast, Crunch, uh, Rest Roar. Okay. Time to get it.
my mic all good? My mic is all good. Okay. If you're not Espeon, I'm gonna flip. No, you actually have to be Espeon because Vaporeon 2 has Shell Bell. And you have Shell Bell. You're Shell Bell Nido Queen. I'm so scared of, like, water types, man. I just, I don't know. Well, if Wailord comes out, I roar it if Lapras is in. If it comes in on Nidoqueen, I guess I'm just earthquaking it? I guess I'm, yeah, I guess I'm just earthquaking it. Maybe I can punch through water types, right? Maybe. Swampert is pretty horrendously annoying. I just don't think I'm, by the way, I'm eating a, a cup of peas and corn. That is a real statement. Yep, peas and corn. Because it's easy to eat blindfolded. I just like, I just, you know, munch on it. Um. Um, and what to do, what to do. Man, I don't know. Like, Espeon... Uh, I just hate that Espeon doesn't kill stuff, you know? And Nidoqueen... Nidoqueen is stronger into mons like Blissey and Snorlax. Just, just a bit. Than Espeon. It is. And Poison Point is such a great ability, actually. And it, it helps me with electric types, right? Yeah. And Earthquake's a good move, man. Earthquake's just a good move. I think I'm gonna go Nido Queen. I don't think I'm going Espeon. I think I'm going Queen. Am I? Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm going Queen. So if I'm taking Houndoom, Lapras, Nidoqueen, which is what I'm leaning... Oh, dude. I'm still going back and forth on the whole waters thing, man. I mean, like... I just hate that la... I mean... Okay, it's really last mon... I mean, Kingdra is terrible for my team. The, the rest Kingdra? I mean, rest Kingdra is terrible for my team. Maybe I go Espeon. What if I drop Houndoom? Is that a bad play? I guess how I guess Houndoom and Espeon are somewhat similar in the sense that Espeon is kind of anti-psychic because it sets up Calm Mind on them and then punches through them with Shadow Ball. I'm thinking things like, you know, Starmie, Gardevoir, um... Yeah, but man, Houndoom's speed and power is just great. I'm really nervous about Kingdra. Surf, Ice Beam, Dragon Breath, Rest. That thing is a monster. Yeah, but at the same time, Nidoqueen does give me insurance into Rock-type moves, such as like a Choice Banded Aerodactyl clicking Ancient Power here. That's pretty bad for me. Um... What else is scary that Needle Queen helps with? I mean, electric types. It's still okay into fighting types because it resists fighting. However, Heracross is faster and has Earthquake. Machamp is bulk up Earthquake. 
Hariyama and Metacham, I'm actually good against. Breloom as well. I'm a, but I'm never afraid of Breloom. Because I have a, you know, uh, Ice Beam Lapras that's faster than it. Um... Man, I do like that Espeon has... I mean... Once Espeon clicks a Calm Mind, it's Espeon again. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's Espeon again. It, ha it has the special attack boost. It just needs one Calm Mind. Right, that's Espeon, right? Yeah, that's Espeon. That has to be Espeon. Uh, are you forgetting about Shuckle? Yes, this thing sucks. Espeon, oh, Espeon. Fast Psychic types are fast Psychic types, but are they really when they can't... Ugh. I don't even think this Nidoqueen is that good. I really, I really don't think it's that good. I swear I don't. I don't think this thing is that good. It doesn't even hit particularly hard. There's no sheer force. There's no life orb. Uh, but you know what? Nita Queen's gonna live a hit, man. It's gonna it's gonna live a hit. I think I'm going to lead Lapras, and I'm going to go Nido Queen Houndoom. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm pretty bad into um, that get Dude, uh, Espeon is just a failsafe versus so much random stuff. I mean, like... Like, even, even something like, you know, Gyarados 2. It's Hydro Pump, Thunder, Fire Blast, Blizzard. Like, I don't, like, that's a weird set, but, like, it kind of owns my team right now. Ah, uh, but Espeon's so weak with that attack investment instead of special attack. It's just, it's too weak, I think. It's too weak. It, I, I, it's, 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 it's too weak. It's too weak. I can't do it. It's too weak. Yeah, I can't do it. It's too weak. It's too weak. But it's fast. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna... This is horrendous. I just don't know. And you know what? I have Hound Doom for the problematic psychic types, right? Like, maybe I'm chilling more than I think. Yeah. We're gonna lead Lapras. We're gonna go Queen Doom in the back. Round five, here we go. First battle where we are facing smart AI. Let's run it. Let's do it. 14 wins away. Oh, fuck. So that's Skarm 2. Um, Skarm 2 is a classic ADVOU set. Competitive Gen 3. This is Spike's Roar Toxic Drill Peck. Um, I think I just want to go into Houndoom. Houndoom KOs it with Fire Blast. I have Lum, which is anti-toxic. And I don't want Lapras to get toxic because it's an important Pokemon. Um, I think the clear play 
And the reason that I'm not going to go into Needle Queen is while Needle... Yeah, no, because I, I don't want Needle Queen to get drill pecked for no reason. Um, I don't know what... I know they're actually never going to roar, but I don't know what Spike's AI is. Like, I don't know if the move Spike's has any AI, honestly. Interesting. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's just go into Houndoom. Okay, well, there's one spike. I guess I'll have to remember that. Um, yeah, interesting. Blindfolded with spikes. That's uh, that's crazy. Um, just fire blast it. This should drop. Yep, let's go. Mill tank. Okay. So this is the, uh, um, so F-A-S-T, except it's F-S-A-T, Focus Punch, Shadow Ball, Attract, and T-Wave. Um, obviously always has Thick Fat. This mod is actually relatively annoying for my team, isn't it? Um, I don't know if it can attract my, uh, Needle Queen. Um... I kind of just want to crunch it. They could focus punch Houndoom right now. So I think I just want to crunch it first and just see what happens. Because if they T-Wave, I have Lum. If they attract, and we're the opposite gender, of course, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, pretty high likelihood they actually focus punch here. So I'm going to crunch on the focus punch. And I always hit because they're lefties. Yep, okay, let's get the crunch. Nice, lost focus. Um, I think I can actually just crunch two more times now, and I probably kill, and I don't have any downside because of I have Lump for T-Wave. Nice, and they're just going to keep focusing, yeah. It's interesting they're not choosing to T-Wave, though. It is, I guess it's because Focus Punch has a weird amount of priority right now because it's super effective. Yep, yeah, okay, nice. I think they die. Nice, let's go Hound Doom. Easy. Um Oh no. Oh no no no, it's Tauros 2. Oh no 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 no. This is uh the infamous double edge earthquake double team rest Tauros. Oh, wow, that's bad. Um, okay, so I am faster. That's one thing. I'm faster. They see a kill with Earthquake, I think. So, what I kind of want to do is I'm faster than them. I want to put myself in a scenario where... I want to put myself in a scenario where they're at Fire Blast kill range, and I don't know how to do that. Because the problem is, is that I could go into Lapras right now, but uh, they could just start, they could double team up on me, which is bad. The reason that I'm not just going to stay in and Fire Blast this, oh wait, is, is Lapras faster? No, there's no way. I mean, I am 15 IVs and I'm max speed timid, and this Tauros has no speed. There's no, I don't think I outpace 110 with a base 60 ma. I, there's just, there's no way, right? There's no way. No, there's just, there's no way. There's no way I outpace. So. I want to, I want to, and I, I'm, here's why I'm not going to fire blast. If I fire blast, they're just going to kill me with earthquake right now, right? And then, because they're faster than both Needle Queen and Lapras, they're just gonna rest up on me. And that's not a scenario that I really wanna be in. Um, or is it? I might want to be in that scenario though, because maybe 
Who does more damage, Needle Queen or Lapras? Um, I'm assuming Needle Queen does. I'm assuming Needle Queen does. Um, and okay, so let's say they rest up on Needle Queen, and then I Earthquake the Tauros. Um, that'll probably put them in a range where they want to rest again. And then if they rest again without setting up a double team, I then three hit KO them with Earthquake. So that's actually not bad. So maybe I do fire blast them here. Cause I don't think there's a cause like if I go if I go Needle Queen on this uh, I don't I wonder if Toro sees a kill with double edge here. I don't know if the I feel like I mean like double edge's base power right now is 120 plus 60, that's 180. Earthquake is 200. Oh, well, yeah, that's actually likely. They could see a kill with Double Edge. Um, interesting. I'm pretty sure they see a kill with Earthquake. Ah, uh, yeah, but then again, that would be really bad if they didn't, and they set up a double team as I switched out. So I think I actually do really want to stay in. I think I really do want to stay in. Because I'm not 100% sure they see a kill, and so they could double team right now. And double team on a switch shot would be terrible, because then they're likely to just double team again. Ah, maybe Lapras does more damage to it. Maybe, maybe an Ice Beam from Lapras does more than Nido Queen. Because also, I like that Lapras has Quick Claw. I think that's pretty huge. Like that could give me that could give me a lot of upside. And of course, like, you know, freezes, that's good. Okay. Ugh, okay, interesting. You know what? I don't even think I fire blast, I think I crunch. Yeah, you know what? No, no, no. I crunch. And here's why I crunch. I crunch because if I think that Fire Blast nor Crunch kill Tauros, I would rather get 100% damage on it, which is the 100% accurate crunch, and that will still make it want to rest versus whoever it is off against. It'll make it want to rest most of the time. This is assuming I'm doing at least 40% to Tauros, which I I think I'm doing at least 40%. And I could get a spit up drop, which would be really big for Lapras. Okay, I'm gonna crunch. I'm gonna crunch. I, I'm gonna crunch. Where's my keys? They are... Okay. Just to be paranoid, sure, I have Houndoom on the field, right? Yeah, okay. We're just gonna crunch it. Where's my... Oh. Crunch. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Should kill me. If it doesn't, that's big. I'm dead. And that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's what we were planning. Okay. So, let's go into Lapras. <laughs> Wait, which one? <laughs> Hold on, which one's Lapras? This is Lapras. Okay, let's go for an Ice Beam. Okay, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Okay, this is good. They have Chesto Berry. That's fine. We just want to pressure them so that they rest and they do not double team. They cannot double team. Freeze. Freeze. 
I'm good at this, man. Let's go. That was a gr These are great plays by me. Let's go. Good stuff by me, man. It's fine. It's dead. I don't know if I kill it off at this one, but I definitely kill it in three. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, that Tauros is absurdly good. Um, but if I try to swap for it in the back, who could I also potentially get? Who is the second Mon? Um, Mill Tank. Oh, I really don't want Mill Tank. That Mon is not good. That Mon is, that Mon is really not good. I don't think it's worth the swap. I don't think it's worth the swap. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth to try and swap for it. Not worth to try and swap for it. For those that are new here, by the way, welcome. The reason that I can't guaranteed swap for that Tauros is that the, the, the trainer doesn't always send out their Pokemon in the order. So the lead Pokemon, I do know, will always be the first Pokeball on the swap screen. But um, even though it then went out Miltank Tauros, I don't know that Miltank is the number two Mon. They, they actually use smart AI to choose the next Pokemon to come out. So I have a 50% chance to get the Pokemon that I want when I'm swapping in the back. However, it's not a pure 50-50. Because of, um, uh, if they somehow both tie in terms of AI score, then they'll default to team order. So it's more like if I selected, if I went to the third Pokeball to try to get Tauros, it would be more like a 51 to 52% chance instead of a raw 50. Um, but yeah. <sighs> All right. Yep. We have lead Lapras and then we got Queen and Doom in the back. Here we go. I think I pressed my wind counter button. Either way, we're on, uh, this is, that was wind number 29. Let's do this. What is that? Gloom, gloom, oh my God, is that Marowak? Wait, that's a Marowak, that's Marowak, that's Marowak, right? I'm pretty sure that's Marowak. That's a Marowak, right? Because I think I heard Gloom, and Marowak is Gloom. Like, Marowak sounds like Gloom, and also Gloom and Doom, Marowak is sad. Who else could that be, though, if I if I misheard it? Doo -doo -doo. Could maybe be Quagsire? I don't think it's Quagsire at all. Um, I kind of want to Ice Beam. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just gonna ice beam. I don't think I'm missing anything. And if it's like a water type or something, I can freeze it. Okay, I think that that's Marowak. That's Marowak. Yeah, that's Marowak. Oh, baby, we got Marowak too. I have to take that over Needle Queen, right? I have to. Definitely. Um, sounds like that. Dun 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 dun. Didn't fart at the end. So I think you're Executor. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, I know this is Executor. Well, I'm just gonna Ice Beam it as well. This is Curse. Frustration, sleep, talk, and rest. Um, why would I not? Why, I mean, do I ever go Hound Doom instead so that Lapras doesn't get slept in case this lives? Ah, uh, that's interesting, actually. Um. Yeah, wait, why did I just go Hound Doom? Because I have Lumberry in case it sleeps me, uh, and I could Fire Blast it. Yeah, let's go Doom. I don't think, like, maybe it lives this Ice Beam. Like, it, it, it could live this Ice Beam. You never know. And uh, um, then I get slept, and that's not a good thing. So I'm just going to go into Doom. I think that's the safer play, actually. Yeah. It's not going to Frustration. Curse, that's curse. 
Okay, that was curse. So, I'm just gonna crunch it. I'm just gonna crunch it. Ugh. Because then the same thing applies to before. If, if I made this play thinking that Ice Beam might not kill, and I miss Fire Blast and I die to this frustration, then that's just stupid. I have to crunch it. I wonder if that was a crit. Dugong. This is Dugong 2. Blizzard, double edge, encore, disable. I'm just gonna crunch it. There's the double edge, that's fine. I'm just gonna crunch it again. This has thick bat. I got shell bell recovery, that's fine. This is perfectly fine. Hound Doom's an anti water answer, definitely, guys. Ow! This thing is power. Okay, so I'm, I have to take Marowak in the back, right? Marowak is max speed with Swords Dance, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Well, no, no, it's a it's Quake Slide, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Swords Dance, and then this one is Icy Wind. Ah, okay, but okay. Admittedly, though, Needle Queen has more bulk. Does that matter to me? Does it matter to me that Needle Queen has more bulk? Like, how how much does that matter to me? I don't think it matters that much because I think I am weak to those defensive Stally Mons, and I think a Swords Dancing Marowak is just way too perfect for that. I think it's too perfect, and it still gives me that like anti rock anti-electric answer, I think I gotta go whack. I, I don't think there's a world where I keep Nido Queen. I like that it's bulkier. I like that it has some interesting defensive properties like, you know, neutral to grass, resists fighting, bug. Um, but, uh... No. No. We're going whack. We're going whack, baby. Okay. Lapras. Right. Right. Summary. Okay. Had to be Marowak. Had had to be Marowak. There's no way it is. Marowak in the back is a little weird, but what is that? Armaldo. So, Armaldo one is uh, ancient power. Iron Tail. Brick Break. And knock off. Um. <clears throat> yes, they can hit me with ancient power, but I mean, I could go. Wha I I don't know. It's either I'm going Marowak into the ancient power, right? I don't know what knock off AI looks like. Oh, I don't want Marowak to get knocked off though. Hold on. No, 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 no. I yeah, I don't. I don't want Marowak to get knocked off. Never mind. Um, I have to stay in. I think that's too risky. I have to stay in. And yes, I'll take some damage from Ancient Power, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't I don't die. Um, let's just surf. Awkward lead for sure, though, now. Nah, hold, pause. Well, I would... Man, if I had an AI document, I'd look it up and see what knockoff is, but I... Like, do they ever just randomly knock off? Like, is that like a... Would they do that? Furthermore, does it actually matter. I know that's crazy. Does it matter that much? I kind of don't want Lapras to take damage. It's a, it's a, ah, Marowak is a good mon too. Yeah, but also the matchups that I have versus water types are really polarizing now. And I kind of really, well, Marowak is good into water types, except like Gyarados. 
Because Gyarados 2 is the Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard set. That would just smoke my ass right now. I mean, I'd be dead. I would lose the game. Dude. That would suck to lose the game to Gyarados. I don't even know what item this thing has. Armaldo 1 is Scope Lens. 3 is Quick Claw. 4 is Banded. Maybe this one's also Quick Claw? I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this moveset is. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this moveset is. God, I hate taking damage on Lapras. And this is good damage. This is an Armaldo Ancient Power. Like, that's not... That's not a slight breeze. Fuck it, I'm going Marowak. I'm doing it. Ah, I don't know. I actually don't know. No, nah, I'm going whack. 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 God, you better be Marowak. It, the thing is, what's crazy is that it just... When you're blindfolded, this does not sound like a dude that's jumping and, like, banging a bone. Like, okay, guys, everybody close their eyes right now, all right? Close your eyes. Seriously, if you're at home, if you're, if you're lurking, close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes and think about if this is Marowak. You ready? I'm gonna go in three, two, one. That does not sound like a Marowak. I'm very certain it is, but it just doesn't sound like it. Nice. No Omni Boost. Um, I could Rock Slide, but Earthquake, I'm pretty sure just Twit KOs anyway, so I don't see... I could Swords Dance. Swords Dance is fair. Um, do I... Isn't Swords Dance actually just a better play, objectively? Because I can't crit Armaldo. It has Battle Armor, so I don't... It's not like I'm losing out on any potential Oko stuff here. Rock Slide could flinch, but it also could miss. And I don't want to miss moves. I want to click SD. See what it does. Does it knock off? Nope, that's Iron Tail. Okay, that's pretty bad. Not, okay, I'm just gonna Earthquake it and it dies. Surely you're dead. This Marowak 2 is also 252 speed, so it's very speedy. Nice, okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is that mischievous? It's either mischievous or meganium. I don't think that's meganium. I think it's mischievous. Um, they don't have an attacking move, so I don't know what they're really trying to do here, but I'm just going to rock slide them. Oh, don't they have Confuse Ray? Uh, maybe I'm faster. Should I not maybe this? Should I swap? Should I swap right now? I do that. Uh, I should probably swap. I should probably swap. I mean, like... Yeah, because this Mischievous is the Parish Mean Look Parish Song set. Um, they're not going to T-Wave my Marowak. And if they confuse Ray Houndoom, I have Lumberry. And I can keep my Marowak alive in the back, which has, which is obviously pretty big upside. Um, right, because this is what? 
Mean Look Parish Song. Confuse Ray T Wave. I think that's what it is. Mean Look Parish Song. Confuse Ray T Wave. I think the objectively best play is to go Houndoom. would have activated. Parish Song would have activated. T-Wave would have always hits. Confuse Ray always hits. This isn't mischievous, is it? If this is Meganium, they could miss Grass Whistle or Leech Seed. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, this can't be mischievous. Every single move would have gone through. It, this, this, this can't be mischievous, right? I mean, it literally cannot be mischievous. Every single move goes through. Thunder Wave is 100% accurate in Gen 3. Mean Look can't miss. Parish Song can't miss. Yeah, no, this is Meganium, I guess, or something else. I, what else? What else sounds like this? I guess I'm gonna fire blast it then. I guess. Okay, pause. What? What just happened? What what am what am I what am I missing? What happened? What what I'm How how did you miss a move? Mr. Viss? What? What what happened when Hound Doom swapped in? I am so perplexed. Does it not... It has to have something else then that I just don't know about, I guess? But if it had Shadow Ball, it always hit... Oh, it has Psychic, doesn't it? No, 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 no. That's Missy 3 that has Psychic. Wait a second. Oh, I think I'm missing... I think I'm mixing up Mischievous 2 and Mischievous 3. But I think Mischievous 2 is the one with, like, Psychic Shadow Ball T-Wave, something like that, right? Psychic Shadow Ball T-Wave. And it clicked Psychic on the... Ah! And then it... So it clicked Psychic on the Houndoom. Or on the Marowak, but Houndoom came in, so it was immune. Ah! Look at that. The hell? That's Espeon. What are you doing here? You... You're, you're dead. Yeah, you're Espeon. Alright, you're dead. I'm just gonna crunch you. Comes the rest. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna crunch, and then it's gonna rest, and then I'm gonna crunch, and then I'm gonna crunch. I'm not swapping. There's no reason to. This team is very good. There's 
here's my cup of food. I don't want to knock it off here. Is that an Umbreon or a Dugong? Kind of matters. I think it's an Umbre I think it's a Dugong. Um, um, I could body slam it. Uh. Oh, interesting. So this is Encore Disable Blizzard Double-Edged Dugong, I'm pretty sure. It has Encore Disable. So, like, I I kind of just want to roar it out. Like, that's what I want to do. Because I don't want to switch Hound Doom in on a Double-Edge. But I also want to get damage on it. Well, they're never going to Encore me right away. They're going to Double-Edge me. That's what they're going to do. They're going to Double-Edge. But I don't want to Body Slam and then try to roar. But because it's negative priority... Um, my body slam gets disabled. They would never encore the, the body slam. No, they, they would disable body slam. I now know, though, I need to keep my, uh, um, my Hound Doom in the back healthy for this. Well, just, just Hound Doom, I mean, it, it uh, I can't 1v1 this Dugong in the back with, uh, um, I think Hound Doom might die to two double edges. Um, Marowak definitely drops the blizzard, I would think. Maybe I body slam it here. Is taking two double edges worth it, though, for a body slam? I'm just curious. I wonder if body slam puts it in range of a Marowak rock slide. I'm kind of thinking it does, actually. And that's kind of what I want a body slam for. I do, I do not like taking two double edges, though. That is unfortunate. Oh, I don't like taking two double edges. Because, I mean, it, it, this Dugong has max attack. It, it's going to sting. Like, double edge actually stings my Lapras. So maybe I just let it take its recoil and then roar it out? Because it won't eat. Yeah, I'm just going to roar. I'm just going to roar. I think this is roar. Yeah, it is Dugong. Take that recoil. Wait, what? Oh. Oh my gosh, Tentacruel. Okay, so Tentacruel is really bad. Um, I mean, that's that's little that's horrendous. That that's like a horrendous pull. Um, that's interesting, though. I didn't know that Shell Bell would activate after you take the double edge recoil when you're at full. Oh, wait, no, that makes sense. I'm stupid because. No, yeah, of course it would. Never mind. Um, and this is terrible. Uh, so this is a uh, Surf Giga Drain Toxic Confuse Ray Tentacruel. Surf Giga Drain Tox. Surf Giga Drain. Uh. Wow. I could have stalled this out if I had Nido Queen. If my Lapras is water absorbed, I could have stalled this out by going, swapping from Nido Queen to Lapras. Nido Queen on Toxic, Lapras on Surf, Nido Queen on Toxic, Lapras on Surf. Bing, 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 bing. Wow. Ah. Uh. Well, they're never going to surf me here, actually. If they're never going to surf me, they're going to Giga Drain, or they're going to Toxic, or they're going to Confuse Ray. Can I just go into Houndoom? And, like, just try to get a Crunch off? I feel like Marowak is slower, and I feel like Marowak 
also dies to surf. That's a that's a huge problem. Maybe I need to paralyze this. And you know what? It's not like I won't have a lot of chances to paralyze it. Because this thing isn't doing, like, a lot of damage with Giga Drain. I think that might be my play, actually, huh? I think that's my play. I think I have to paralyze it with Body Slam so that Marowak can EQ it. I don't think I can do any... Any sort of fancy swap stalling shenanigans. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, let's go for the para. I think that's what I gotta do versus the tentacruel. This is tentacruel, right? Ding, ding. It's gotta be tenta. What was the first spawn? Dugong, Shell Bell? Yeah, this one has lefties. That's fine. Okay. Let's slam it. Quick Claw? That, that's okay. I knew this was gonna happen. I've got it. I've just got to slam. I've got to slam. I've got to slam. I just, I just need a para. That's all. I just need a single para. That is all I need. Just a para. Yes. Okay. Oh, so interesting. So here's an interesting idea, right? So I don't know how much health I'm at. I'm assuming if I took a double edge and I've taken 1 16th of toxic and now 2 16th of toxic, I'm probably still in the green. I can't check because the summary screen will always do a low pitch cry because I'm toxic. So what I'm considering is right now they're gonna giga drain. They'll never ever surf. They'll also never toxic. Because they can't, they can't toxic because of, uh, um, yeah, they can't toxic because I'm toxic already, so they'll never do that. So what I'm kind of interested in, well, I got to sneeze, I think. Um, what I'm interested in is I'm, I don't, I don't think I directly go into Marowak, although I'm very tempted to. Because I, I, Marowak won't die to a Giga Drain, um, but risking a crit is unfortunate. However, I'm also like, do I want to keep my Lapras alive? Like, like, yes, Lapras isn't very useful versus Dugong. It's not very useful versus uh, Tentacruel anymore, but versus the Mon in the back, like, it could be, it could be useful, right? You know, like, if it's like a Salamence, right, then I want my... Lapras to Ice Beam in. If it, you know what I mean? Ah, interesting. And I'm just, I'm also like, I, I'm thinking about the fact that I'm pretty confident that if Marowak comes out, right? If Marowak comes out and kills Tentacruel, Dugong will come back in. And I need Dugong to be at a range where it kills with Rock Slide. And I. And so what I could do instead is if I keep Lapras alive, when Dugong comes into Marowak, I could um, swap into Lapras on the Dugong. And I could. I could just body slam it, right? Just get some more chip on it so that I feel comfortable. With Earthquake or Rocks... No, Earthquake, I think, just raw KOs it, right? I think it does. That Dugong has no bulk. Dugong 2 has no bulk. I think Earthquake just raw KOs it. I feel like I've, I've had this experience before where I feel like a Marowak 2 killed a Dugong 2. If anybody has a calc, you should put it in the chat so that uh, viewers can know what's up. Um, and also, check the pinned comment. Unfortunately, the exclamation point FAQ is not working um, because I don't know what's up with Streamlabs. Um... And, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Man, dude, and I think... I think if I hit that dugong with just a little tiny body slam... No, I roared right away. I didn't even slam. Well, uh, does Earthquake kill it? I don't know. I guess one interesting idea as well, this is kind of an interesting idea, is uh, um, one fun thing I could try 
is I could... So let's say I go Marowak right now and I kill the Tenta, right? Let, let's just say that, right? Go go Marowak. Ah, what if they confuse Ray on the Marowak, though? They could confuse Ray right now. Maybe I do just sack Lapras all day, right? Maybe. Oh, whoopsie. Um, oh, that's interesting. What if I... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Because one thing I could do is with Marowak on the Dugong, I could go into uh, Houndoom on the Blizzard to crunch Dugong while it double edges me. No, I don't want to do that. Why, why, why am I doing that to my Houndoom? Damn, dude. I think that Dugong might just drop to Earthquake, but I don't I don't know the role. I have zero clue what the role is. And I I, I just I don't want to I don't want to lose my Marowak to a Blizzard because I don't I don't trust I don't trust Houndoom to 1v1 something. Ah, me so maybe I should keep Lapras in the back, right? Because let's let's say this scenario, right? Let's say I go into Marowak right now. Okay, I go into Marowak. Uh Tentacruel clicks Giga Drain. I kill Tenta with Earthquake. Um, yeah, I kill Tenta with Earthquake. Ah, well, one thing is interesting to think about is what if Tenta just clicks Confuse Ray right now? Then I'm not staying in with Marowak because I can't. I have to go back into Lapras. Yo, no, then I just go back into Lapras and it would just be like a, a cute attempt, right? Because then I'd go into Lapras and I'd just like, would I roar it out? Okay, I mean, one crazy idea. What if I just roar? Is roar a bad play? If, what if I roar? If I roar, then Dugong or the Mon in the back could come in, which is huge information. That info might be like really, really relevant. Oh, that's so interesting. That could be really relevant info. However, what if I get confused and then the mod in the back is like Salamence and I'm like, oh, well, I wish I wasn't confused right now. Like, I think that, I think the, the, the regular play or the, the obvious play is to sacrifice Lapras and then revenge with Marowak. But that's stupid. Because I'm not sure I kill that Dugong. And if I'm not sure I kill that Dugong, and Dugong kills my Marowak, then Houndoom has to 1v1 something in the back. And I, I just don't think I'm feeling that. I don't think I'm feeling that. So I think I kind of want to try to go directly into Marowak. The upside, if they full para, that's absurdly amazing. If they Giga Drain my Marowak, that's fine, because Marowak lives easily. And I can just earthquake the tentacle, and I'm I'm fine. Like that's okay. Um, and then I think Dugong would come in, and if Dugong comes in, then I'll earthquake the Dugong. Right? Wait. Yes, I earthquake the Dugong, and then maybe I kill it, and that would be sick. And if I don't, they have to hit a Blizzard, and if they hit that Blizzard, then I oh wait, but Shellbell. Oh, interesting. Would they live the Lapras Body Slam? I think I'd have to go into Houndoom then, right? Oh, interesting. Well, I think I'd rather have Houndoom in, right? I'd rather have Houndoom in because it's fast. Yeah, I'd rather have Houndoom in as well because then Lapras isn't taking 1 16th and then 2 16th of Toxic. So, uh... Yeah. Okay, I kind of want to go Marowak. I think I want to save my Lapras. Sounds bizarre, but I think I want to save my Lapras, man. Yeah. Yeah, I want to save my Lapras. I want to save my Lapras. And if they confuse Ray the Marowak, I'll just go back into Lapras and I'll just accept what happened. I'll accept what happened. Let's go into Marowak. They will never surf. They will only Giga Drain. And I eat the Giga Drain. I don't die to Giga Drain. There's no way I die to Giga Drain.
Alright, that's fine. I just go back to Lapras. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> that's okay. Let's go back to Lap. I guess we could find out if it has uh, um, water absorb, maybe? Because I feel like they wouldn't toxic. They probably water absorb. They probably surf. Okay, I'm, I'm shell armor. Yeah, I have no clue how healthy I am now. I, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I'm gonna go to Marowak. I'm gonna go to, I think I, I think I think I just rinse and repeat, right? I'm gonna go into Marowak. Is Lapras useful at this point? Yes, I actually think this thing can be useful, right? I feel like this thing can be useful. I don't know why I'm, I'm like answering myself, but like. It's a fast Lapras that can get an Ice Beam or a Surf off in an endgame. I, I I think that's objectively useful. That has to be objectively useful. I don't see how it isn't. So I'm going to go into Marowak. If they do it again, are they para? Yes! Let's go. Let's go. I guess I, I am... Uh, do I Earthquake it? Marowak is such a good mon, man. I kind of want to go into Lapras and Body Slam this thing. I really do. That's, that's, that's what my brain wants to do. I really want to do that. I don't think Lapras now... Having... Having had... Having to have had... Taken another Toxic. I mean, it's just one more Toxic, bro. I could also just trust in Marowak. That that's that's boring. That's lame. I feel like Earthquake kills this, but I'm just I'm not certain. And I gotta blow this up, man. I think I blow this up with Earthquake. Especially if it has a little bit of chip. Just a little bit of chip. Might have more than a little bit of chip. Because that is a max attack double edge. I mean, like... I think I'm gonna go Lapras. I think I am gonna go Lapras. I'm gonna slam it. I'm gonna slam it. I think that's my play. I gotta, I gotta slam it. I gotta slam it. I can't have this die. I'm going Lapras. I can't get crit. I have shell armor, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, I am low. But I'm fast. I'm going to slam. Or does do you think surf does more? Wait a second. If I'm timid, but I'm max special attack, but surf is resisted. 
Does Surf actually do more? What is that? 95 uh, plus stab is uh, like, I don't know, like 45 some, 46, 47. Let's just say it's 45. That's uh, 140 divided by two is 70. This is like a 70-ish based power move. 70, and body slam is 85. But it's also coming off of my special attack. So I think Surf does more than Slam. Yeah, no, I think Surf does more than Slam. Yeah, Surf does more than Slam. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident now, actually. They're gonna double edge, too. Probably dead. Perfectly fine. That's good recoil for me. Yeah, good recoil for me. This should put it in the range of the Marowak. Marowak, please. How much? Why did that not take long? How did I like crit with Surf? Why did that? Why did you? Why did your HP bar drop so fast? Anyway. No way. What is that? Wait. What is that? 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 Venusaur. Yeah, that checks out. That's fine. You're Bright Powder Venusaur. Um, I'm just gonna... I have to pressure you with Earthquake. I can't go into... Uh... Oh. Oh, actually, do I go into Houndoom? No, I'm gonna Earthquake your ass. You're so dead. Why did you go faster? How are you faster? What? Oh. Wait, I can't, uh... I'm so confused. How is that thing faster than my Marowak? I thought Venusaur 2 had no speed. Wait. I can't let it Giga Drain me now. I have to go into... I have to go into Doom. I have to go into Doom. I have to go into Doom. I, I mean, I have to, right? You're dead to Crunch. Wow, yeah, you were faster. That's crazy. I'm assuming you're dead to crunch. Nice. That was a close one. Tentacruel really had me on the ropes. And Dugong too had me on the ropes. Or at least made me play really safe around him. I don't know. Um, am I taking any of that? No. There's just no way. My team is too good for that. I don't need to. Blaziken? Blaziken. Right, that's gotta be Blaziken, right? That has to be Blaziken. So, Blaziken 2 uh, is very slow. Lapras 
very fast. Guess who's faster? Lapras. So I'm not scared of Brick Break. Goodbye. Blaziken sucks. I'm sorry, Mr. Leaky. Uh, Victory Bell or Rapidash? I think this is Bell. And I think I KO it with Ice Beam. I don't see how I don't. This thing has no bulk. It's max attack, max special attack. I think it's dead. Yep. Lapras sweep. Here we go. That's Vaporeon. That's terrible. Um, I am just going to stay in. This is uh, um, Surf, Ice Beam, Body Slam, and Shadow Ball with Shell Bell. Um, clearly, I think I just uh, Ice Beam it. And just keep ice beaming it down and wait for it to kill me as well. Or, uh, no, it can't roar me out. Yeah, I gotta stay in. I'm not switching out here. I'm staying in. It's getting ice beamed. Why did it ice beam me? Why not body slam? Why is it ice beaming me? Oh, it thinks I have water absorb. Oh, so get this. So the AI guesses your ability, 50% chance. So what the AI is doing right now is they're guessing that I have water absorb. Therefore, because their highest damaging move in Surf can't be selected, then after that, all the other moves are actually random, I believe. So, yeah. Something weird like that. That's funny. I am very wrong. What What was that, then? It, I Now I look stupid. What was that? Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about, I guess. I, I'm, I'm really confused actually now. This is the last Pokemon, so I can just keep Ice Beaming, right? Yeah, I also froze it while... Fog. Very slow win. Nice. Um, not taking any of them, 0% chance. This is, might be battle 6 or 7, I don't know. Okay, we're just moving on, no swapping. This team is very good, we're focusing, I'm focusing in on round 6. Well, I shouldn't just assume I'm gonna win, but... Um, I did do a little bit of round six practice this morning, just looking at different sets. My set knowledge is very high, but the move orders I really, really struggle with on round six. So if I if I don't get the gold symbol today, know that I'm gonna be doing a members only stream during the week where I'm just gonna be practicing round six move set orders. That is all I'm gonna practice. Maybe I'll do a little bit of early round refresh, but yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. What is that? Stupid college bells. That's definitely a, a mischievous, right? That's definitely mischievous. Um, that's mischievous. I'm just going to go into uh, um, Hound Doom like before.
Fine, I have Lum. That's what's so nice about this Undoom. This Undoom having Lum is like absurdly good. Not ever, not really to use rest, just for pivoting into stuff. It's so useful. Nice, there we go. Up 3 2, burned a Lum. Porygon. Oh, they could have traced Flashfire. Um, I don't know if I'm early bird or Flashfire. Oh, was that my vegetables? Um. I... Just to be sure... Here's my tissue, just in case. Okay, there it is. Um, what was I doing? This is Porygon. Porygon 2 is horrendous. Uh, this is, uh, T-Wave recovers Sunny Day Solar Beam. Um, however, hilariously, it actually, that actually kind of owns my team right now. So I need to stay in and crunch. That's pretty funny, actually. Um. I can't Fire Blast it, though. And we get spit F drop. Let's go. Don't T they probably T wave. Yeah, very high likelihood to T wave, but that's okay. That that's fine. Um There's the sun. Okay, if we hit, we might kill. Hound Doom is so good. Um Starts high like that. Is that is that Venusaur? Oh Jesus Christ, that is a Venusaur, isn't it? Oh, that's actually really bad. Um Well, I just gotta hit it to kill it, but also like Huh. Well, let's just, uh, let's fire blast it. Oh, I'm actually really nervous now. I can't lie. I have to swap out. No, I can rest. I can rest. Do I rest here? Hold on. Wait. Let's actually slow down. Let's really slow down here. Okay. So this Venusaur is bright powder with a double team, light screen, a giga drain, and leech seed. If I can stall this out, I can win. I don't think I can stall it out when it's... I need to stall it out of Giga Drains. I need to stall it out of Giga Drains. That's what I need to do right now. So, how do I do that effectively? Um, I don't want to be paralyzed as part of it. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to rest right now, actually. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. I just, if it's out of Giga Drains, then... Oh, wait. Can I swap stall Leech Seed, actually? Uh, wait a second, wait a second. I don't know if I can. Wait. Uh, wait a second, I gotta think about this. Um, it's out of Giga Drain. Can I... So, it, five Giga Drains. I just gotta stall out five. And then, if Houndoom's alive, I can swap between... Hound, Hound Doom and Marowak on the leeches. This is going to be a while. 
Yeah, Venusaur 2 moment. Um, okay. But I have to rest to play it safe? I think I have to rest. Yes, I want to rest right now. Is it Roar Rest or Rest? I have no clue. I'm going to just try to rest. I think this is rest. The double team. I, that's fine. I'm letting you go at this point. I'm letting that go at this point. Nice. So. Leech Seed. That's fine. That That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Is it though? Oh, I got to actually think about that. Damn, I actually don't know if that's fine. I don't, I do not know if that is fine, that they got the leech seed off. I mean, I doubt that leech. Giga, giga, leech, leech kills. I doubt it. There's no way. There's no way. Because they're not even damaged. They're not even, like, an overgrowth. There's no way. There's just no way. I don't believe it. They could also set up a light screen by the time. Nah, they don't. They don't have it. There's a sleep. Light screen. Fine. There's the... Leech. Is it optimal to fire blast to go for a burn? I think it actually is optimal to fire blast and go for a burn, right? Or do I wait for screens to go out? Hold on. What the? Okay, um, I'm on fight now. Um, how big of a deal is this? So, Giga Drain, Light Screen, Double Team, Leech Seed. And all I really care about is Giga Drain. It should start Giga Draining now. If I am Early Bird, I will wake up right now. If I am Early Bird Hound Doom, I will wake up right now. What do I want to click? Fire Blast isn't killing because of Light Screen right now. So is it even useful to click Light Screen or to click the Blast? Or am I thinking about it less as a way of killing? Ah, wait, man. I mean... I am going to have to stall this, I think, right? I think I have to stall this. I think I, I think it's going to end up like where I am swapping between a Houndoom and a Marowak. Specifically Houndoom and Marowak. And, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be... Well... Oh. I'm swapping between Houndoom and Marowak on Leech Seed specifically. Yeah. I guess I I guess it is optimal to just go for a burn just in case, right? Yeah, I go for a burn. All right, I missed. Oh, click Giga Drain. I need this thing to Giga Drain, dude. This thing needs to start Giga Draining. Gotta burn it. I'm gonna try to burn it. Okay. Light screen is up, though. This shouldn't die unless I crit. Ho! Oh! That is so beautiful. What a beautiful thing. I didn't need to burn the win. Like, I again, I, I did have a guaranteed win path. 
without needing that. Um, but, uh, it's nice. It's nice that, uh, um, it's nice that this speeds it up so that I'm not as mentally fatigued for the next battle. So, that, this is pretty immense. This is pretty immense for us. Um, let's just rest and we gotta rest. Yeah, that's immense for us. That's just a good burn. That's a good burn. It just, it'll speed everything up. There's the Giga. Right, that's fine. Just spam and rest now. Just, I'm just spam and rest. Unless it's an overgrow right now. The double team, that's fine. Yeah, that burn was nice. It just, it literally is just gonna speed things up, which is just awesome. Good stuff. Um, all right, so I should be should be awake. Um, I don't die to. I'm just gonna rest just in case. I feel like it's just the safer play. I don't want them to get some sort of overgrow Giga Drain crit into Leech Seed and then they. Yeah, I just I can't let that happen. I can't I can't let the the overgrow Giga Drain Omega crit into Leech Seed something I don't know. Because then they could, like... I don't know. They could do stuff. If they Giga Drain here, they should. Yep. That's two out of five. You gotta burn all of them. It's so funny how good this burn is for us. It Just for expediting it. Again... We already won without the burn, but the burn just helps. There you go. That's four out of five, I think. Rest Town Doom, the warrior. All right, I, I, that's either four or five. I got distracted thinking about stuff. Either we have time to wait it out here. So I'll just, I'll just click rest again. No threat to me. They still might have one, so I'm resting here. they clicked something else. Okay. So, now I go into Lapras, I believe, is the play. Um, or is it Marowak? Is Marowak the play? I'm genuinely not sure what my play is. I'm gonna go Marowak, though. Again, doesn't really... We could just try to hit it here. Doesn't really matter. That's fine. Let's see if I hit. That's okay. We're just going right back to Hound Doom.
Why it low? Oh, they leeched on the swap. It's actually mega annoying. Sleeping? I am sleeping. Okay. Fine. I'll, I'll rest here and then I swap. Because I got to heal up. I don't know what health I'm at. I think I still took some gigas. I can't tell. Okay, now I just go to Marowak, etc. We're fine. We didn't need the burn, but it is nice because I have I get to think about it less now. Genuinely, the burn just it just helps me think about it less, which is nice. Saves my brain power for round six. Okay, we'll just stay in, try to hit. Yep, that's fine. If we hit, we kill probably. That's okay. We just go back to Doom, back to Marowak, back to Doom, back to Marowak. Oh, the low summer, the low cry. I, I forgot they were sleeping. They weren't at below half. Let's go to whack. Nice. The Venusaur goes down. No swapping. Right? Because who did I face off against on lead? I don't even remember. Like that Venusaur battle felt like it took a long time. There's nothing to swap for, though. My team is very good. There's nothing to swap for. Gotta keep my, my brain moving. Blaley. Oh, fuck. You have explosion. Okay. Um... Oh, wow, what a terrible matchup. Um, this is terrible. So this Glalie is a uh, Indoor, Icy Wind, Body Slam, Explosion. They're not going to click Indoor. Um, they don't need to click Icy Wind because they're faster. Um, which means it's either Body Slam or Explosion. Uh, they should click Body Slam, but they could also click Boom. Which is a, uh, which is a dead Lapras. Um. Oh, God help us all. That's bad. Would they Icy Wind, actually? I, I mean, no, they're faster than me. So I don't think they would. Um. If I have to let one Mon die, I think I have to let Houndoom die, right? Um. Right? I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. So, uh, I'm just gonna go Houndoom, right? Because that's the only Mon that can, like, Oko it. And if it booms, then I want it to boom on Houndoom. Yeah, I think that's my play. I think I go Houndoom. Also, because they have Salak Berry, that means I don't have to worry about, um... Who else has Salak in round two? Uh, Metacham has Salak Berry in round two. Uh, Lantern has Salak Berry in round two. That actually is nice. So I don't have to deal with that fast Surf Bolt Beam Lantern. That is really, really good versus Marowak and Lapras. This is actually faster than uh, Marowak. Um, I think that's the only Salakmons that are... Yeah, that's the only ones. 
I'm gonna go Hound Doom. I I think I think Hound Doom's the play. I think I'm gonna go Hound Doom. If they body slam, um, that's okay because I'm faster. And if they para, I have Lum. Again, the safety net of Lum Hound Doom cannot be understated. Um, it just can't. It can't be understated. Fine, I got Lum. That's fine. <clears throat> I have to fire blast it and try to kill it. They could endure here. Actually, actually, let's check how much health I'm at first, just to play it safe. Because maybe I need to know with Icy Wind and Slam. Always do that. Good habit. Oh, it is max attack. I guess that makes sense. Wow, that did half to me? Oh my god, wait, they're gonna body slam me again. Oh, wait a second. Um... No, yeah, I have to fire blast their ass right now. Oh my god, I have to hit a bu I have to hit a fire blast. Wow. Please. Oh, that's huge. Because if that missed, they could have maybe killed me with Body Slam or Icy Wind into Body Slam. And then uh, they could have boomed on Amon, and that would have been a 1v2 scenario. Is it that Fortress? I'm pretty. Damn sure that's Fortress. It makes sense. They're weak to fire, and they're, they have a super effective move on me. The AI likes sending in Pokemon that are weak to my move, but have a super effective move versus me. Why? I do not know. Um, uh, surely, this is, uh, this is Earthquake, Double Edge, Counter Protect. Um, they're gonna Earthquake me. Um, I'm just gonna Fire Blast. And if I miss, that's okay, because then I can still go Marowak and Swords Dance up on it. So let's just do that. Nice, they're dead. Pretty sure they don't have Focus Band, and Sturdy does not work like that in Gen 3. Nice, Houndoom Nation. I think that's a Machamp. I think I, but I think I still crunch it. And I know that sounds bizarre, but I don't want to miss. And I think I, I think I want to crunch it so that Marowak can Earthquake it. Yeah. And if it's slow, bro, then that's good too. I'm, I'm crunching it. I know that seems weird, but I'm crunching it. Maybe they'll go for a cross chop and miss. That's fine. That's okay. Marowak kills this. Should kill it. This Machamp is bulky. That's okay. Okay, see? And even if I got crit, Lapras is faster. This Machamp is bulk up Resto Chesto. So bulk up Rest Cross Chop Earthquake. Lapras is faster and 100% revenged with Surf. So I'm chilling. Goodbye, Machamp. It's probably right at red. Yep, it was literally right there. Okay, is this round six now? Okay, here we go. 35 wins. 
Getting consistent, man. I'm getting better at getting consistent. Let's get some good mods. Again, I'm nervous because uh, um, I don't know the moveset orders in round six as much as I would like to. So if I mess up because of that again, we are... Um, I'm, that's what I'm practicing this week, and I'm getting this gold symbol next weekend. But let's hope it's today for you guys that are here right now. Let's go, guys. Battlefront tier history. Let's get it. Let's go. Battle Factory Gold Symbol Blindfold. Come on, man. On this round, we have to face Noland with 31 IV Pokemon. Those are perfect stats. My Pokemon in draft will have 21 IVs, and if I swap for one of the opponent's Pokemon, they will only have three IVs. So I'm always at a stat disadvantage and a massive one if I swap. So the draft is really important here. I also want just straightforward Pokemon that are easier to use when I don't have to know the calcs. Give us Starmie 3. That would be cheating if I got Starmie 3. That'd be hilarious. What's that? Kingdra. Ugh. That's, uh, um... This is the Flail and Door one, right? This is the, uh, um... Flail and Door Dragon Dance Hydro Pump. Yeah, that's not a blindfold, mon. Um, and I think that's the order, right? Flail and Door... No, maybe it's like... Maybe it's, uh... Is it... I don't know. I, I have no clue what the order is. Flail and Door... Hydro Pump Dragon Dance? FEHD? I don't know, man. Oh, no. Is that... Is that... Is that Casino Dugong? Is that Casino Dugong? Is that Horn Drill Sheer Cold Sleep Talk Rest Dugong? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dugong is family. If Parasite's in the chat, I bet they did that. There was once a members only stream, $3 to become a member, by the way, you help directly support me. You get cool emotes, access to members only lounge and random members only streams that happen during the week that are chill and cool. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, on a members only stream, I was practicing uh, for level 50 singles in like the fall. And on a practice round, I had this Dugong. And you know what? Dugong is family. I don't know how that meme started. It's a it's a very niche LRX meme. It would be low on the LRX iceberg, very low, like a very bottom tier thing on the LRX iceberg. Dugong is family. Oh my gosh, wait, my Discord, which mods, you guys should link the Discord so that you guys can join. My Discord is called the Berg, so we could have a Berg iceberg. How cool. Anyway, um here we go. My Discord is sick. You guys should join. Okay. Anyway. Oh my god. No. No. I don't. I'm not you again. I don't know who you are. I, 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 I did not. I did not practice this today. I did not practice Ride on Magmar. This is not real. Dude, why? Oh, I'm, I'm actually annoyed. I do not want this to be a. Let me listen to it. Maybe I know it. If that's not Rhydon, I'm gonna flip. That one has to be Rhydon. Come on, man. That has to be Rhydon, bro. That has to be Rhydon. Anyway, let's see. What is this again? Kingdra. Okay. I forgot. Is this Dugong Chestoberry or Quick Claw? I don't remember what one this is. If this is a Chesto or a Quick Claw variant. I don't think it's Quick Claw. I think it's Chesto. Anyway. Oh, that's a good mod, right? Oh, that's Sceptile 3. That's not bad at all. Oh, wait. That's the weird Earthquake Aerial Ace one, right? Yeah, that's not Sceptile 4. This is Sceptile 3. This is the, uh, the Leaf Blade, um, what you call it? The, uh, the Leaf Blade Earthquake Aerial Ace Cr Crush Claw. Crush Claw. It has Crush Claw. 
And I, yet again, I don't know the order, which is unfortunate. I need to study my moveset orders on round four or round six. I just, I, I don't, I mean, surely it leads off with Leaf Blade. My intuition says that it then goes like, I mean, I feel like it's Crush Claw, Earthquake, Aerial Ace. But again, I don't know, which is unfortunate. Oh, that's Weezing. Um, this one's okay. Uh, this is a zero HP Weezing, though. This is the Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Boom set. And uh, I'd be lying if I told you that I knew where Explosion was. I don't. I have no clue where Explosion is. I don't know if it's the first move or the last move. I know it's not in the middle. I know it's Thunderbolt Flamethrower in the middle. I just don't know where Boom is. Which is, uh... Wait a second. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't I? Wait, doesn't it start with SF? Doesn't it start with SF? Is this the one that starts with SF? SF... SF... SF, right? Doesn't it start with SF? Why do I know this? San Francisco... Is it Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Explosion? I think Explosion's last. Why do I know this? Where, where did this come from? I didn't even remember making a moniker on this. Okay, anyway. Ugh. Oh my god, that's my draft. Wow, okay. Um, I gotta think about this. So this is Manetric 3. Um... I know this thing has Thunderbolt. I think this is the Iron Tail one, right? I'm pretty sure this is the Iron Tail Manetric. It's like... I don't even know what its other two moves are. I know it's... I'm pretty sure it's Thunderbolt Iron Tail. I'm pretty sure this one has Iron Tail. Um, but I'd be lying if I told you I knew the other moves. Okay. Dude, there's no way that's Magmar. There, there's just, there's no way that's Magmar. Wait, can I know? Wait. Uh, this one has Scope Lens. This isn't Quick Claw. I believe this is Lumberry. I have no clue what this item is. I have, I have zero clue what this has. I mean, my, I, I'm guessing Bright Powder or Lum. That's usually what it is. Like, it's either Bright Powder or Lum, but I, 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 I really don't know. I know this is Lum. And this is... Or is this the lefties? No, that's that Sceptile one. This is Scope Lens. And I know that Magmar has Scope Lens. So this is Quick Claw Rida. What a bizarre draft. I really gotta think about this. Um, is my mic on? Yes, my mic is on. Really, really thinking about this. Let, let's, what's a mon that I'm always bringing? I think... I think wheezing has to be. I think I'm going boom strats here. I think I gotta go aggressive with boom, right? I think I have to go aggressive with boom. But that doesn't make sense with an Okomon. That doesn't make sense. I don't. I don't like that at all. Dude, I might need Dugong. I, I think I might have to take Dugong, man. I just. I don't know. I mean, I actually like this Kingdra. I have used this Kingdra, but with sight. Without sight, I, 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 I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't, I like. God, why is the answer maybe Sceptile, Rhydon? Sceptile, Rhydon, and then Dugong. Double Oko? <laughs> or... 
I just lead wheezing, right? I lead wheezing, I click boom, and then I try to click horn drill on Rhydon, and I click uh, uh, Oko moves on Dugong. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. I don't think this Sceptile is very good. Uh, it's actually- it's good into Starmie 3. It's good into Starmie 3. God, is this Thunder or Thunderbolt? I swear to God, if this is Thunder... Because I- I think Manetric I could take. Manetric is faster than Starmie. Um, with 21 IVs that it has. Compared to Starmie's 3. Unless Noland has a Starmie, then I'm screwed. I kind of like the idea of leading Manetric. Weezing is there for, like, ground types and grass types. And also special walls, such as Blissey and Snorlax. I could just boom on them. God, if this was Kingdra 2, I'd be in heaven. I mean, I love Kingdra 2, but, like... I mean, I don't auto-lose the Metagross, right? Steals are annoying. Not really when I have Flamethrower on Weezing. Is this Weezing? Hold on a second. I don't know what else that could be. It's not Mr. Mime. Because, uh, well, it could be. Oh, that, that's Mime, right? I think that's Mime. I mean, not Mime, that's Weezing. Yeah, that, that, that's Weezing. That's definitely Sceptile. Something feels wrong about going Minetric Sceptile. I don't know what it is. I just feel like Sceptile is not that good of a Pokemon. I don't I don't trust Rock Slide Liss Rhydon. I don't trust this thing. It doesn't have the move Rock Slide. I can't use it. The thing is, Dugong is kind of like Weezing, right? Weezing booms on stall. Dugong sits on things like lap- like a lot of water types, Dugong just kind of sits on. But I could just go Sceptile instead. Like, it, here's the thing. I don't think I- I'm not using Kingdra, I just... First off, I don't know where its moves are guaranteed, and I just- I don't trust myself with this Kingdra. I just don't think it's a good choice for me. Yes, Dugong is just Mr. Oko, but like, it does poop on mons like Swampert, Whiskash, like a bunch of slow, bulky, annoying stuff. It kind of poops on. I think the answer is Sceptile, though. I think I gotta go Sceptile, right? This Sceptile is at least pretty good into other grass types because it has Aerial Ace, right? Um, well, Venusaur just sludge bombs me. But we Weezing walls Venusaur. Victory Bell is trash. I have Weezing. Um, Vileplume 3. I can't really tell you. I have no clue what it said is. I think it's like... I mean, Weezing probably beats Vileplume 3, right? Weezing beats Vileplume 3. But I can aerial ace stuff like Ludicolo. Earthquake is a good move. What does... And it and this also helps me beat Swampert and Quagsire, who could have Damp into Weezing and Whiskash. Sceptile helps with that. It's also good into Starmie. It's good into Starmie, which if Manetric goes down, which Manetric is likely to be played very aggressively... Yeah, Manetric is very likely to be played aggressively. Um, Manetric is probably going to go down, and Sceptile needs to 
do some stuff. And while everybody in the chat right now probably really wants me to use Dugong, I can't. I just can't. I, I think Sceptile's better here. I think Sceptile's better here. This is a fast, this is gonna be a very blitz paced team. Very fast team. No swap stalling, no cool stall outs. This is just gonna be go, go, go. Yeah, I think this is my play. And I like that Sceptile is also good into other electric types. Like, uh, well, it's okay into Electabuzz, which has uh, coverage for me. Ooh, and my stomach is hurting, so I have got to play. My fault. I ate Taco Bell this morning. My fault. I guess we're going, like, the back three. Ugh, I kind of want to use Dugong for the memes, though, right? That's so funny. LOL, Dugong. <laughs> but I also want to win. And, uh... I do think Dugong, I wouldn't hate it if someone was in my position and chose Dugong over a Sceptile. I, I actually, I wouldn't think they were making a misplay. I think it's just a difference here. All right, let's run it. I, again... I, I don't know the other moves on this, but hey, you know what? I know that Thunderbolt is in the first slot, and honestly, that's all that matters. Ugh, what do I do into Salamence? Cry? Yes, that is the answer. I cry. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. <sighs> Espeon. Oh. oh, that's a very good Pokemon. I so wish I knew if I had Crunch. I, I, I feel like I have Crunch. Like, I feel like I have Crunch. Does it matter, though? I'm just Thunderbolt. I could kill this with two Thunderbolts anyway, I think. But I don't think it matters. But I, I, I mean, I obviously wish I had Crunch. Because one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to Thunderbolt this and then synchronize Paralysis onto my main. So I would, if I knew where Crunch was, I'd click it every time. But I just don't. This is that Thunderbolt, Crunch, Iron Tail, something. But then what is Manetric 4? Manetric 4 is Thunderbolt, Crunch, something, T-Wave. I don't, I don't even know what the fourth move on main four is. Honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to Thunderbolt, though. I don't think I don't want to click Iron Tail or whatever the fuck the other moves are, and definitely not T Wave, because Espeon Three is um uh um what is Espeon Three again? The good set. It's a uh, um, Psychic Bite Wish Reflect. Psychic Bite Wish Reflect. Um, with does it have Lum? No. No, Espeon 4 has Bright Powder, 1 is Lum, 2 is Chesto. No, maybe 3 is also Lum. I think 3 is also Lum. But yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna Thunderbolt it. Okay, that's fine. Um Wish is perfect for me. I should kill you. Please. 
Perfect. Good, good job. Good job, Espeon. That's Magmar. Because I had Rhydon in the draft. Which means that they objectively can't have Rhydon. Therefore, this is Magmar. And why would they send it in? Because it shares a move that has... Wait, what are they... I mean, I don't think it matters. I'm just clicking my moves here. I'm, I'm clicking Thunderbolt on it. Oh my god, what if this is a... If this is a Rhydon, I could just Leaf Blade it, so whatever. Imagine, if this is Rhydon, I'm gonna cry. No, I was right. Static, static. Yeah, that's fine. Manetric sweep. I'm feeling good, actually. This is good stuff, man. That, what is that? That's a, that's Cradley 3. That's Cradley 3 with, oh my God. No way, this actually kind of, oh, this is bad. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, shit. So, Cradley 3 is Substitute, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Recover. A really bizarre set. I actually had a video that I half worked on, didn't finish, about the, one of the most complicated interactions I've ever had. And it was versus this Cradley on the fifth bat on the sixth battle of round six. And it was with a Gengar and a Slaking. I might, I might still make it. Um, it was a really cool interaction of how I had to try and outplay this Cradley with, like, all the tools that I had in my disposal. Anyway, um, yeah, Sub, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, Solar... No, Sub, Substitute, Recover, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, but specifically SSSR, with Recover as the last move. Um, so... Obviously, the one of the plays feels like to just boom on it with wheezing, right? And I kind of like that. Um, but it has substitute. So I have to sludge bomb it, and then I have to boom on it. And then I have to hope that Sceptile finishes it off. I could also use this as an opportunity to test what my other moves are on Manetric, which I think is valid. Um, so let's see if this is Iron Tail, or if it's Crunch, or whatever it is. Oh, it's Charging Solar Beam. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell I just clicked. Um, I'm assuming it was an Iron Tail miss, because this thing has leftovers, so I can't miss Crunch. So I assume I missed Iron Tail like that Agron did five times. Um, which is probably still my best play so that I can boom on it with... Uh, um, I, I'm fine with it doing this. I just want to boom on it with Weezing. But I'm going to Iron Tail again. Yeah! Defense drop, defense drop, defense drop. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't think I died at this. It is a modest solar beam, but... Oh, no, I was... Why did I... Wait, why did that drop me so quickly? Did I take damage from something? Oh, I took damage from the Magmar. Oh, yeah, I saw the kill with... Uh, um, yeah. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go wheezing and hope that we know where Boom is. This better be Boom, dude. I mean, like, this better be wheezing. Okay. I'm clicking explosion and you're gonna die. I hope, please. Dude, there's no way you're faster, right? No, I'm faster. What? This isn't... This... This isn't wheezing, is it? Is this actually Mr. Mime? This isn't wheezing. There's no way 
There's no way Thunderbolt is the last move on this Weezing. I don't believe it. I, I don't believe that Thunderbolt is the last move on this Weezing. There's no way. I think this is Psychic, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunderbolt, Mr. Mime. And I... But no, that thing has Bright Powder. It wasn't, uh... Who was in my draft? What was in my draft? I had... Well, first off, on my team, I have Manetric. I don't know the item of main. Um... That tile is Scopeleds. Um... Rhydon is Quick Claw. Uh, who was first? Kingdra was Salak. Espeon is... Oh, I guess it could have been mine. Are you serious? What does Weezing sound like, then? Is it like a slow... It's like pum pum pum. I thought that was Weezing. Hold on. Let me go to my summary. I got it. Dude, that's so wheezing. There's, there, that is not Mr. Mime. That has to be wheezing. What am I clicking now? What? Oh, maybe it's ordered like, uh, maybe it's explosion, sludge bomb, flamethrower, thunderbolt. But what did it do? It set up a recover? Do, um, hmm. it's going to sub right now. Um, I think I kind of want to... I kind of want to sludge. I kind of want to sludge, sludge. So sludge, it subs. I sludge, it recovers. Oh, wait. Then it's just going to do that shit. Um, yeah, but I could poison it, too. I want to sludge it. I, I, and I think... I think this is where sludge would be. I think it's explosion sludge. This is wheezing. Okay. Sunny day. Okay, uh, do I just boom? I kind of just want to boom on it now. I kind of just want to boom. Okay, so it is explosion, sludge bomb, flamethrower, thunderbolt. Okay. I'm just going to boom. I don't... I think that's easily what I do. Now, am I taking that Espeon? That Espeon is really good. I, I, I really like Espeon. I think it's a very good Pokemon. I really think it's a good Pokemon. Okay, let's actually really think about this. So, obviously the problem with this Espeon is that it has three IVs instead of Sceptile's 21. But it also... It's harder than Sceptile. Like, a lot harder. That's a modest psychic. And it has bite. I don't, I don't know why that's a big deal, but ooh, it has bite. But still, it has bite. I mean, like, that means that... I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But, like... I mean, like... I didn't... I, I guess Sceptile makes more sense into the waters, right? Like, it... Water grounds, specifically. No, yeah, I mean, like, if there's a Swampert lead, I have no switch in. Uh, Sceptile's Earthquake is better into Metagross. But that that's such a random thing, though. I mean, like... Espeon kind of slaps, man. Espeon's a shooter. I mean, Espeon is a certified shooter. And it fits the pace of just like fast and hit hard, right? 
Am I threatened by the dark types that wall Espeon? Let's think of Shift 3-3. Uh, no, I have a Weezing. Hound Doom 3 is, I suppose, scary. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the physical Hound Doom. But still. Well, no, Manetric and Weezing are fine into that. And then Umbreon 3 is that weird swag psych up shadow ball thing. Okay, I guess that's actually kind of... But I would have to boom on it with Weezing. I feel like Sceptile doesn't like a lot more Pokemon compared to... Like, I think Espeon is better into almost everything. Except... Rock Grounds and Water Grounds. That's Rhydon, Golem, Swampert, Quagsire, Whiskash. Those five. Swampert, Whiskash, Rhydon, Golem, Quagsire. I, I... Admittedly, those are really troublesome for my team. Quagsire totally poops on Weezing and Manetric if it has Damp, which blocks Explosion. And that's Curse, Double Edge, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb. Espeon would have to get two Psychics off and not lose to Quick Claw from Quagsire, which I believe Espeon would die to two Earthquakes. Whiskash is, uh, is Mr. Oko. Rest Talk, Fissure, Surf. That's horrendous to deal with. I mean, I'd literally have to sacrifice my Manetric to that and just crunch. Swampert's pretty terrible for me. I would have to boom on it with my Weezing. Espeon's such a good mon, though. I think I gotta go Espeon. I, it's just, it's a good mon. I gotta go Espeon. I don't see... I've gotta go... I, I, I think I have to go Espeon. What sucks is that I lose to the Pokemon Rhydon, though. Because they Megahorn me. I mean, I think I kill Rhydon with a Manetric Crunch. Or, well, Manetric Iron Tail. I don't actually know. Rhydon just smokes me right now. Megahorn Rhydon owns me. What's my Gengar matchup looking like? It would look better if I had Espeon, that's for sure. Um, my Dusclops matchup is whatever. Espeon is better into, like, Salamence and, like, Flygon and, like... I really think I want the Espeon in the back. I think I have to take it. Just think, am I missing anything? I mean, like... I just feel like there's gonna be times when... Sceptile hits, like, a wet noodle and can't win the game. That's that's what my intuition is saying. So I'm going SB in the back. We're going SB on in the back. Starmie 3, though, man. Starmie 3. Starmie 3. Starmie 3 is a mon that I struggle with if Manetric goes down. I think the answer is Espeon. I think it's Espeon. I'm going Espeon. I'm going Espeon. Now just to be sure I did swap, I'm gonna check first, because something sounded weird there, I feel like. Let's listen to this cry. Slow bro. Or Machamp. I don't know. I think that sounds more like Slow Bro. Um, let's see what I got. That's Espeon, right? Yes. 
Yes, that is Espa. Okay. So, if this is Machamp, this is Cross Chop, Flamethrower, I think Thunderbolt Ice Punch, or Thunder Punch Ice Punch, Fire Blast, something. It's like Elemental Punches plus Cross Chop, which is funny because of the physical special pre split. Or it's Slowbro 3, which is weird because it has Surf Psychic, and then it's like Shadow Ball Attract. It's like a really weird set. Um. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Machamp or Slowbro, which is really tough. I think I really got to train my pitch on this one. I, I used to know it. What was I saying, though? I I was leaning towards Slowbro when, when I was first talking. I can't really remember the cry right now, but I, I, I'm leaning towards Slowbro. If I knew it was Machamp, I'd instantly go into Espeon. Because I died a cross chop for sure. Um, but uh, I'm just going to Thunderbolt it. And if it's not, this Machamp has no HP investment. So I will do a lot of damage. Not that it matters because I'm revenging with Espeon anyway. But like, uh, yeah. Um, or maybe it would be a play actually. To uh, um, maybe instead, if I don't kill it with Thunderbolt, if it's a Machamp. Um, I would revenge it with Weezing. So that I can then boom on something. If they have a... If I have to. I don't know. Either way, um, where am I at right now? Let's press B a lot. Okay. I should be on the fight screen. Absolutely paranoid, making sure it's Minetric. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thunderbolt. Oh, it's Machamp! Oh, they missed. They missed. Wow, they missed Cross Chop. Yeah, that's Machamp. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting really lucky this run. I'm happy. Nice. That's, that's, that's pretty big. What's that? That's Glalie. This is the Glalie that is Beds, B-E-D-S, Blizzard, Earthquake, Double Edge, Shadow Ball. Um, Someone is just like slamming on my wall. Zero, zero clue what that was about. Okay, my bad, guys. Um, someone was literally just like throwing someone into the wall. It felt like someone was like coming through into my room. I don't know what that was. Okay, anyway, I gotta focus. Okay, Glalie is in front of me. Um, this is this this is just gonna have to be a I Thunderbolt Glalie. They probably kill me with Earthquake, and then I revenge with Espeon, and it's Espeon. I guess there is a there's a question though. Do I want Manetric alive or do I want Espeon alive? I can kind of choose here. Because um like I could go into Espeon on Earthquake. And I could just Psychic it, and then of course Espeon dies, and then I can go Manetric and Revenge with Thunderbolt. Who do I want, a who, who would I want alive more? Um, do, do, does Manetric plus, does Manetric plus Weezing lose to more, or does Weezing plus Espeon lose? Kind of feel like Manetric plus Weezing loses to more because of the ground types, right? Kind of what I'm thinking. So I think I am just going to stay in with main. Yeah, let's just stay in with main. Oh, unless it's that Espeon. Oh, wait a second. Or that Starmie in the back. Can it be Starmie in the back? I lead off against Machamp. 
I have no clue what Machamp Bree's item is. I think it's Scope Lens, so it, and Starmie is Lum, so it could be Starmie in the back. Then I then I would want Manetric. Oh, that's 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 just that's one Mon though, right? That's one, that's a single Pokemon. Is Espeon slower? And I I I I would get s surfed twice, and then Weezing would die to Psychic. That would be hilarious. Could you imagine if that actually happened? That would be the stupidest thing ever if there's a Starmie in the back. Now I'm kind of getting in my head about it. Oh, okay, but what does Manetric plus... No, you know what? No, Manetric plus Weezing doesn't lose to a lot because... Uh, um... Okay, let's see. What is Manetric not like? Round types. We're thinking... Well, Claydol would be actually horrendous. Claydol... But mainly like, you know, whisk like the five water, ground, water, rocks, right? Um, oh, I can't boom on Rhydon and Golem with Weezing. Well, I could, uh, no, I probably could. No, not Rhydon, though. I think Rhydon, I I don't even know what I'd do versus Rhydon. They could just horn drill me. I guess I have to boom on Rhydon and then hope that Crunch can knock it out. But I don't even know if I have Crunch. I only know that I have Thunderbolt and Iron Tail. Yeah, but Espeon doesn't even win. No, it actually does, because I could boom, and then I think boom plus psychic kills them. Yeah, I don't I don't win versus the other ones. I don't win. So I think Manetric helps me cover Star Manetric helps me cover Starmie. Yeah, Manetric covers Starmie. And then uh um Oh wait, 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 wait. But for Manetric to be alive. Manetric to live a hit from Starmie, it needs to be at full health. So I'd have to go Espeon here on into this Glalie, which is nerve-wracking. Um, oh, this is interesting. So, Manetric, I need alive to beat Starmie. If I don't have Manetric at full health, I will lose to a Starmie 3 in the back if that is here. Wait, is this Lumberry Glalie? Lum or is this Shell Bell? Oh, this could be Lum. Is this Lumberry Glalie? Ah, uh, I don't know. I know Glalie 3 and 4. I'm pretty sure one of them is Shell Bell and one of them is Lum. I just don't know. I think this one is Shell Bell. I'm pretty sure this one is Shell Bell. I think Glalie 4 is Lum. So this one is Shell Bell. So it can still be Starmie with Lum in the back. Um, okay, let me think about this. So I need Manetric for um, Starmie. I would want... I would probably need and want Espeon alive for Golem and Rhydon specifically. What else does Manetric and what do, what else does Espeon? Because that that's two Mons. For, wait 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 hold on. What's on the field right now? Lately, who was in the lead? The champ has Scope Lens. Okay, but yeah. So Golem and Golem and Rhydon have Quick Claw. So yeah, it can still be both of them. Okay. Um. Can't be Swampert, though, which doesn't matter. Well, it, no, no, it doesn't matter. Swampert doesn't matter um, because uh, it has Shell Bell. Uh, could be we could be Whiskash and could be Quag. Can be Quag. Quag is one. Yeah, no. I would lose the damp Quag if I didn't have Espeon. So add another one to the list. But what does Espeon plus Weezing lose to? What else? Is it just Starmie? Um... I could see... No, I'd probably beat Dusclops with Bite, and then Weezing can probably Thunderbolt on it. Um, and if they try to swagger me, I have Slumberry. Um, yeah. So I think it's just Starmie. I think it's just Starmie, man. I think it's just Starmie. So uh, I think I'm going to Thunderbolt this, and so that I can keep Espeon alive. Also, I guess also it, it helps Espeon not... I don't know if Espeon dies to an Earthquake crit. I doubt it does, but like I guess it could. Okay, anyway, let's Thunderbolt this Glalie. Let's see if I die. I might not die. Nice. What is that? It is Shell Bell. I was right. Good. Okay. Yeah, we're set then. I, I don't know what we can lose to. 
Well, I guess Starmie still, actually. Oh. Okay, this is actually awkward. Um, no, it's actually not awkward. You know why? This is, so this is Ludicolo 3. This is an evil Pokemon. This is Double Team, Rain Dance, Giga Drain, and Leech Seed, right? Um, if they get up double teams, they could stall out my team with leftovers and double team and leech seed and all that stuff. But here's what I'm going to do. Most would stay in and just sacrifice their Manetric. But me, I'm a little different, right? I know they're going to click Giga Drain because I assume that they see a Giga Drain kill on my Manetric right now. So they are going to Giga Drain. I'm going to go into Weezing and I'm going to, I'm just going to boom. I'm not going to Sludge Bomb. I'm going to boom because I'm faster, right? Wait, I should think about this. Hold on. Am I faster than Ludicolo? Wait a second. This Ludicolo has no speed. Well, I guess it... I guess... I guess I might as well still Thunderbolt it, right? I might as well still Thunderbolt it because... Because, uh... If I have Espeon in the back, I can... I can lose Manetric and I can boom and I still win. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt it. And I could also para it, which would guarantee the Weezing follow-up. I- that- this luck is absurd. That is absurd. I don't even know what to say, that's just absurd luck. I mean, I- I was winning anyway, but that's absurd. It's getting handed to me here. Okay, they did see the kill. Okay. I just go wheezing. Yep, they got their lefties. Yeah, it's sludge it. Nice, let's go. That's another win. That's a PB, right? That should be a, just a PB. That's a 36, 37 wins. Okay, am I taking any of that? What did we have on the table? We had a Machamp, which missed Cross Chop. I mean, I, I, got, I got very lucky. Because if Cross Chop hit, I would have had to Revenge with Espeon. And then, um... Glalie would have came in. I would have had a Psychic Psychic. Then Ludicolo would have came in. And that would have been dangerous. Because uh, then they could have started setting up double teams. I mean, I was still likely to win, but it could have been scarier. Um, but either way, I'm feeling good. Let's just keep going. Have I had a lot of big brain moments this run? I can't even remember. I hope so. I want the run to feel really good. You know what I mean? It definitely felt really good uh, two weeks ago on that Sunday when I was out playing that Blissey and all that stuff. Yeah, anyway, let's run it. Oh, that's terrible. Ooh. Wow, that's a Breloom. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, Iron Tail Focus Punch Attract Spore Set. Wow, that's really bad. Well, is it? I think I just go Espeon. They're never gonna Iron Tail. I just hope that Manetric and Espeon aren't the same gender. And if they Focus Punch, Espeon eats that Focus Punch. And if it Spores, I'm pretty sure I have Lum. I'm pretty sure I have Lum. I really hope I have Lum. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go straight into Espeon. That's focus. Probably dead to a crit. Oh my, no way. Wow, 
that's powerful. Wow. Huh. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, I know that they are more likely to focus punch on that turn. Like, I knew that they were more likely to focus punch on that turn. But I'm not going to throw away my... I'm not throwing away my um, main, right? If they attract, I don't want to deal with a wheezing that's attracted, and then I have to switch something else into focus punch anyway. I made the right play. That's just that's just terrible. Okay. So, yeah, no, this is like horrendous. But you know what? And this is this is these are the this is the downside of running a flimsy team like this, right? When you when you draft a team like this. Like, if I was sighted, I'm telling you right now, I might have taken Kingdra. Because when you take a flimsy team like this, one crit and your team is instantly weak to a multitude of things. And those are just the, that's just the balancing and the risk reward that you have to take and think about in the factory. Um, so, right, I'm on that menu. I, I gotta go wheeze. I gotta go wheezing um, and I gotta sludge it twice. Or does flames do more? No, sludge should kill. I'm gonna sl sludge. They got the iron tail off. Yeah, that's bad. I'm chipped too. Oh, hope. This is hope. This is shift three. I just uh, sludge it. Do I even have to think? No. Wow. All right, Manetric versus the world. I'm not feeling good about this. I'm not, I am not feeling good about this. Not, be, I mean, this is, there's so many things that I just instantly lose to. Come on, Manetra, give me a Gyarados. <laughs> give me a Gyarados, and then a, a Gyarados 3 is Quick Claw Earthquake. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Come on, Manetra. Is that Vaporeon? Oh, I win. Right? That's Vaporeon. I'm pretty sure. So, uh... This is the, uh, um... Oh, this one's Quick Claw, though. Or is this the chest... Is this the Lum one? This is either Quick Claw or Lum. I don't remember which one. So, this is Surf... Wait, can it be? Yeah, so this is Surf, Ice Beam, Acid Armor. Vaporeon... One of Vaporeon 3 or 4, one has Rest and one has Baton Pass. The rest one has Lum, and the Baton Pass one has Quick Claw, so I'm kind of hoping for no Quick Claw. I don't think I- I don't kill this with Thunderbolt. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't. So let's just hope that nothing stupid happens. Oh, they got the Quick Claw Acid Armor. Wow, that's hilarious. And they didn't click Surf. Wow, that's so lucky of me. That's absurdly lucky. Well, not really. Oh my god, dude, just give it to me. Oh, no! Oh! Dude, double Quick Claw? Wow! That's crazy! If they clicked Surf twice, I lost the game. Wow. Well, now we know it's Quick Claw. Hey, this team's doing good. Let's keep going. Um, do I want Vaporeon? Uh, I, I, no, I don't want Shift 3 instead of Vaporeon, so I'm not taking anything. I think that Breloom sucks. I'm keeping my team. Wow, I got really lucky there. That was a battle.
Oh, what is that? Um, what is that? What is that mod? Is that Fortress? I want to say it's Fortress. I feel like I feel like that's Fortress, right? If it's Fortress, this thing has Earthquake, Giga Drain, Zap Cannon, Explosion. Um. Oh my God! But I don't know if it's Slow King as well. Um. And Slow King is a uh, Slow King is P S I E Psy. Psychic Surf, Ice Beam, Earthquake. Um, swapping Weezing into a Slow King would be would not be good. Because they... Uh, uh, well, no, no, no. Actually, they would Earthquake me, right? Well, unless Earthquake and Psychic do similar damage because of the fact that they're not attack invested for Earthquake. And they still get... I mean, like, Earthquake is base 200. And then Psychic... Psychic is what? Base 135? No, they would click Earthquake here. They'd so click Earthquake, right? And Weezing walls Earthquake, but I wouldn't know that I'm actually walling Earthquake, which is kind of scary, because if I if I don't know if it's Fortress or Sloking, if they click... If Sloking clicks Earthquake on the Weezing, I won't know, because nothing will happen. That could have been Fortress clicking Earthquake, or that could have been Fortress clicking Zap Cannon. I... Don't I mean? There's no way they click Zap Cannon. Uh, Fortress would also click Earthquake. Um, and I'm nervous about this Fortress because I'm pretty sure this has Quick Claw. And if I Thunderbolt this and they kill Manetric with Earthquake, they could get a Quick Claw boom on Weezing, and then it's Espeon doing a one v two, and I don't like those odds with Espeon. Um, Let me think about that cry. Dun 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 dun. That's gotta be that. That's gotta be fortress. I, I, that that's fortress. That has to be fortress. I think that's very much so fortress. Which just makes me really want to go wheezing. And I swap to wheezing. I flamethrower. I kill the fortress, and then I click boom. And then I am. And then Manetric and Espeon have a two v one in the back, and that's that's huge. That's really good. I don't think this is sloking. I think this is and 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 and. If Fortress decides to click boom here, I uh, would I rather have Manetric get boom. I don't want Manetric to die. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. My wheezing. I'm going wheezing. Oh, I don't know where flamethrower is. No, no, flamethrower has to be the third move because there's no way it's flamethrower as the first move. No, because I clicked explosion. Yeah. It's Explosion, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, right? Because I clicked Thunderbolt on that Cradley. Yeah, so Flamethrower is the third move. Yes. Okay. Going to Weezing. I swear to God. Okay, I think that was a fortress that tried to click Earthquake. It should die. Yeah, that, I mean, that had to be fortress. That had to be fortress. Oh, no. Oh, do I have to stall this out? Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to stall this out, dude. My brain can't handle that right now. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this is Quick Claw Jinx. This is Sub. I'm pretty sure this is Sub Lovely Kiss Dream Eater. Yeah, this is Sub Lovely Kiss Dream Eater Attract. I mean, I have to do it. I have to. I have to. I have to intelligently stall it out. I can't. I'm not just gonna let Weezing get Dream Eatered and die, and then like, I, I I have to stall it out. I have to stall this out. Oh, okay, man. I mean, it, wow. I'm. I, this is bound to happen. 
I had to stall something out. Okay. So let's think about this. Um, who do I want to get slept? And because here's the thing, I don't know when they run out of Dream Eaters. I, I literally can't know that. So it has to be something that I'm okay with taking just one Dream Eater, potentially. Just one Dream Eater. Um, so I think the right... Uh, I don't want to burn Espeon's Lum. I don't want to. I don't want to burn Espeon's Lum. So, uh, well, does my whole team have Lum? I mean, I know Espeon has Lum. I know Weezing has Lum. Maybe Manetric has Lum. Um, that'd be kind of funny. I think, I think we do. I or is this the Parish Song? This doesn't have Parish Song, though. No. I think that's only Jinx too. I hope it's only Jinx too, or else that would that would, that would be terrible. Um. So I think I'm going to go to Manetric expect, and stay in until... The, and I can also use that as information gathering because I can just, like, click my third move for fun and see what it is. If it's Crunch, if it's T-Wave, if it's Attract. I don't know what Manetric 3's other two moves are, to be honest with you. I really don't. Um, I'm going to go Main. Then I'm going to swap stall between Main and uh, Weezing. Main, Weezing, Main, Weezing, Main, Weezing. We're just going to swap stall back and forth. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go main wheezing. Okay. I do have Lum. Interesting. That's fine. I'll just let it do it again. Um, let's test out my other move. What is this? Oh, I didn't want a T-Wave. Well, maybe I did. Maybe I did, actually. That's kind of funny. Um, hold on a second. Does that mean I could just Iron Tail this? Ah, they got Quick Claw. Did they die? No. Well, maybe this finishes them off. Oh my gosh. Manetric, you just saved like 30 minutes of my time. Septile. Um, yeah, I'll just T-wave this so that I can sludge it with wheezing. I'm likely dead to this. No, maybe not. I bet I live. Okay, so what's our fourth move? Oh, it's Roar. It's Roar because that's the only way they were able to move first. And they crush clawed me. Yeah. That's Roar. Okay. Good to know. Man, I'm getting lucky. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting lucky with some of these matchups. But hey, you know what? I deserve it. I've had some crazy blindfolded stallouts. taking anything there's no way right um septile i i already had a chance to have that mon um fortress no i'm not going double boom jinx zero chance yeah so let's keep going i'm getting a bit lucky i mean i'm playing i'm playing really well i am but it's not like i'm making any like insane insane plays maybe i am maybe i am and i just don't know it i don't know 
Let's keep going. Let's do this. Oh, no. Nope, this is it. Yeah, that's as bad. Um, all right. Well, this is Earthquake Meteor Mash Double Team Rest. Oh, no. It's faster than Weezing. Oh, no. It's going to double team if I Thunderbolt it. Oh, hold on. My brain hurts. I got to take a... Hold on a second. Hold. Dude, my brain hurts so bad right now, actually. Woo, let's do this. Okay. Because I'm just thinking of all the options. So, is this... I don't... I don't... I forgot if this Metagross has 170 in speed investment or if it's zero in speed investment. I, I just... I don't remember. I don't remember what speed this meta has. I know Metagross 2 has 170 speed, but I forgot if this one does as well. Because if it does, that 170 speed will push it ahead of Weezing speed. And if I Thunderbolt the Metagross, right? Let's say I Thunderbolt Metagross, and they they knock me out with Earthquake right now. Like I, they KO me with Earthquake. I'm I'm pretty confident on that. Um, that means that then they could just simply rest up on Weezing, or they could. I mean, do you think they live Thunderbolt into Flames? I don't know if they do. I'm considering clicking T-Wave. That's dumb. Logan, don't do that. Well, what T-Wave does is it potentially prevents them from clicking Earthquake, which is fun. Um, but it also guaranteed means that Weezing is faster than them and can get two Flamethrowers off, right? And probably kill. Obviously, the problem with that is that they could get, like, a double team off and then they could rest. And uh, I mean, I, I think we went through what this play looks like before. Metagross is an awkward matchup. I have to Thunderbolt, and then I'm going Weezing, and I'm clicking Flamethrower, and I think I'll get the kill. I think I'll get the kill. That's I need that kill. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Maybe they'll double team or something silly. Maybe I'll get a crit. I don't want a crit. I don't want this to be handed to me. Yeah, okay. I should die. Yeah, okay. Please to God be faster. I hope this Metagross doesn't have 170 speed. Please don't, man. Well, no, that's good, because they'll rest again, right? They're going to rest again. No, I'm actually happy with this. Because, uh, um... Yeah, they're going to rest, well... Yeah. Unless they mash. Oh, man. Well, they're going to rest. Did they die? Oh, uh, yeah, there's no... Okay, we're going to flamethrower here. Okay, one hot idea... Is this, a, is this a bad idea? I'm thinking about making a crazy play and going into Espeon on the rest to reflect. Okay, let's think about this. This is actually an insane idea. So, if Metagross is resting here, which they are 100% going to rest. They are burned. They are definitely below yellow. They are very, very likely to rest here. They will not mash. If I know they're going to rest, I could technically go to Espeon on this turn, right? I reflect they're sleeping. Ah, but then... No, then they'll set up double team. No, because if I go to Espeon and I reflect, then they're sleeping. Then I go to Weezing, they burn their second sleep turn, and then because they're at full health, on that turn, they will click double team, and that's just way too dangerous. So I'm just gonna play it... I'm just gonna play it safe, and we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Flames... Huh? 
No way! How did they rest? I mean, how did they double team? Oh! Oh no. I mean, that's not like end of the world, but like that's still. I guess it's technically better than them mashing me, right? It's so bizarre. Are they. Are they. How did they not rest? That's really crazy to me. I don't understand how they didn't rest. That's like a microscopic chance that they don't rest, assuming they're below 60%. Wow. That, I mean, that, that's, that's not the best for me. What a crazy double team from that Metagross. That's absurd. Yes, 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 good. We just gotta hit one of the next two and we're hit. We're safe. We have to be safe, right? Nice. They have to be dead, right? There's no way. They have to be dead. Nice. Let's go. Okay, now we can boom. Wait, right? Right? No. Oh, no. There's two mons left. There's two mons left. There are two Pokemon left on the field, Logan. Oh, no. Is that slow, bro? Oh, Jesus, hell. I have to boom on this thing. Right? No, I, I have to boom. I don't I don't see another option. Yeah, I, I have to boom. I mean... No, I think booming is the best, right? Because, like... They have Quick Claw, too. That's scary as hell. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. I think I have to boom for the reason that... Okay, so I think they kill me with Psychic. I think they do. I know I, I, Weezing doesn't have very good Spadef. And if I recall, I think the Slow, Slow, no, Slow King, Slow, slow Bro is Psychic invested. Like our special attack invested, right? Um, yeah. And I think they kill me with Psychic. I don't, and here's the thing. I could Thunderbolt them, yes. But I don't think Thunderbolt plus Espeon Bite gets the KO. I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I think I need to boom. Um, yeah, I think I think I have to boom, man. I think I have to boom, and then Espeon's got a one v one the back, which I'm not I'm not looking forward to. I have to boom. I don't I don't see another option here. What if it's Machamp? Oh, what if it's Machamp? I, I can't let it be slow, bro. I can't let them get quick clock. I can't let that happen. And then they're gonna chunk my Espeon with Shadow Ball for like no reason. I can't I can't do that. I mean like technically, yeah, I could do some like reflect wish stuff, but that's just playing games. I don't think I need to do that. Laptop. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Oh I have Please be, this is, I mean, I heard this right, right? Please, please, please. I, th I think this is slow, bro, man. I don't think this is Machamp. Please, Espeon. No! Oh, I gotta think about this now. Um, okay. So this is a Salak Berry Mill Tank. This is Endure Reversal Shadow Ball Earthquake. They're gonna Shadow Ball me. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. Okay, so... I don't know how much my psychic does. That's the 
I think I think they kill me with Shadow Ball and then endure Shadow Ball. I think they I think they kill me. I, I feel like they would kill me with double Shadow Ball. I feel like that's a that they kill, right? I feel like I kill them with two psychic. But the problem is if I psychic them into a range where they want to click in door, they'll click in door, they'll get the Salak berry, and they'll win the game. Wow. Wait a second. What was the first one? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Better Ghost. That's Chesto. Slowbro is Quick Claw. This is Salak berry. Hello, Mill Tank. Okay. Um. So obviously the other idea here is reflect plus wish. I don't I, I, I think that's slow I I think that's too I don't I don't think that's the play, right? I don't I don't I just I just don't see that being the play. I, I'm just asking I feel like I'm asking to get crit. But then again, if I think that my psychic will put that mill tank in a salak range. Oh, so do I bite? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that's a hot idea. Hold on a second. I don't think bite plus psychic kills, though. I don't think bite plus psychic kills. Oh, that's such a cool idea. What if I, like, bit twice to try to get just a single flinch? That would be an absurd idea. To bite, bite, psychic. Because, again, like... You guys might think I'm cooking too hard here, but if I psychic this and it gets into Salak range, I lose the game. Or if it gets into a range where it wants to endure, I, I'm... Oh, no, 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 never mind. No, 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 I win. Because if they, um... If they Shadow Ball me, and then they see a kill with Shadow Ball, I'm pretty sure that seeing the kill with Shadow Ball um, out-prioritizes clicking in door when they're in indoor range. I'm pretty sure kill move is plus four and indoor range is plus three. So no, I think I actually psychic this twice. Right? That's got to be the play. Watch them KO me. This year. I got. I think I psychic them twice. Ah. <laughs> the other thing too, though, is what if my psychic does enough damage that they get into Salak range? That would be the saddest thing ever. I don't know. I think. I think I would regret my play more if I clicked Bite into Psychic. A being. Like being afraid that my psychic puts them into Salak range, along with the potential upside of getting the bite flinch. But even if I get the bite flinch, if I bite flinch and then psychic them and put them to Salak range, they'll ball ball me and I'll die anyway. So, no, yeah, I got a psychic here. I psychic twice. Um, oh no. Oh, I just thought of something. Is psychic my first move? Or is Wish my first move? It's gotta be Psychic first, right? There's no way Wish is my first move. There's no way. There's just, there's no way. No, no. It's Psych Psychic's my first move. I'm not even playing around. Psych Psychic's my first move. This has to be Mill Tank, yeah. Please don't put this in the Salak. stings. I 
Oh my eyes. Did I really, am I dead to that? I was actually dead to that? Wow, that's crazy. Hold on, I'm, I'm pulling the chat up, hold on. Wow. You guys. Yeah, let's see what it did. Let's see what it was. Let me let me edit my uh, PV uh, thing. The thirty nine wins. We're getting better. Man, really, dude? Wow. I just there's no that had to be a crit, man. Let me turn my speed up on. Let me turn my speed up on real quick. Uh, settings, shortcuts, emulation, fast forward held, base. Hold on guys, I'll look at the chat in just a second. Yeah, Metagross, let's see how much I did. Yeah, was that a crit? No, I mean, I was dead. Yeah, no. Yeah, they rested. But then this is a this is a crazy double team here. This double team makes no sense to me. That's crazy to me. I have no clue why it double teamed. And yeah, they almost got me. Wow. Hit the flames. Yep, I just needed to hit another one. Yep. Here comes slow bro. Please be slow bro. Nice. Yeah. And I boomed. Makes sense. They're dead. Wow, man. I didn't think they killed Espeon. So I guess I should have clicked bite, huh? Oh, no. Yeah, I was just dead. Is that a crit? Oh, wow. I just dropped that. Really? Wow. Did my fiery trick astonish? I don't know, man. All right, guys, I'm, I'm I'm pulling up the chat for real now. I'm pulling up the chat. Hold on. I will. Uh, what is it? 7:48. Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay in. Uh, um. I'll stay and read the chat. Let's go. What do you guys have questions? What's up? One K voted and only six hundred liked. What's up, Coreyway? You what? That's awesome. Yeah, let's look at the calc. Let's look at the calc. Hold on a second. I, I really want to look at this calc. I, that's crazy. Hold on a second. Real quick. Let's see. Espeon. Espeon 3, 3 IVs, and that was Mil Tank. Uh, oh, yeah, Reflect was better, huh? Here, can I... Can you guys see this? If I go like this. Capture. Oh, hold on. Look at that. 68%, but I got I got lucky man. I feel like I got really lucky during that run. So I'm like I'm like I'm whatever. I'm whatever about it. Coreyway and Drew chatted it up in my chat. Hey, yo, actually, Coreyway, um, I have something serious to DM you about on Discord. Like a, a really next level idea. If you join it or uh uh, DM me on Discord, LRXC. I, I, like, this is serious. I got a seriously, insanely cool idea. And it's not camel percent, I promise. It's not camel percent. But, uh, um, anyway. Um, yeah, Reflect was an Oko. Okay, but could I... Yeah, and Bite into Psychic never killed. Yeah, check that out. So, Bite into Psychic never killed. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Hold on. Bite into Psychic never killed. You guys can see that. Yeah, Bite into Psychic never killed. Yeah, Miltank's not what I wanted to see. 
also, that Breloom, man. Oh my god, it wasn't a crit? That is absurd power. Look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was not a crit. That's not a crit. It just... It just, on average, it KOs Espeon. Wow. That is un... That is unreal. Well, I had no clue. I would have never in my life thought about that. I, n I never would have considered that. Dude, that's some insane stuff. Okay, what about, like, what about Weezing? I mean, Weezing was, uh, 21 IVs. Boop, boop. Oh, was Weezing then? Okay, so I guess Weezing was the safer play then, right? Yeah. It, again, if I had a calc... Wow, Breloom, I underestimated your ass. Holy crap, man. Look at that, we got new members. The five gifted, Metal Giant, thank you for the five gifted. Timothy Gaynor with the gifted. Let's go. Courtney's a one month member. Let's go. Nice bronze badge. Shiny Ralts with the gifted. Timothy with the gifted. And Timothy with the gifted again. You guys rock. Thank you guys for the thank you guys for the gifteds. I'm staying here though. If you guys want to chat, I'm here. I'm here. You guys have any questions? I am focused on chat now. Man. Yeah, I should. Yeah, wow. I forgot about that. They. If they always focus, well, even, okay, here's the thing, though, here's the thing. Even if I knew that they always focus punch, never in my life did I think they'd KO Espeon. I think, I think one thing that I did is I feel like I consistently overestimated Espeon's ball. That was, I think that was a mistake. I really think I, I really think I overestimated Espeon's ball. Oh, yep, I'm streaming next Friday and Sunday. Um, I did not save state. I don't, I'm not save stating when I'm blind. I don't think the speedrunning mods would like that. And that that's that's no shade. Like I I just I don't I think that's weird. Yeah, no, I mean I just need to I just need to study the round six movesets. You guys know I know all of the moves except that Manetric. I just need to know the move order. That's what's really handicap handicapping me. Um and but again, also, you know, this draft was very flimsy, right? I think I actually if I was sighted. I feel like I would have taken that Kingdra. I really would have taken that Kingdra. Um, yeah. I really think I would have taken that Kingdra. I don't know. Why not go Espeon over Main instead of Sceptile? What do you mean? Oh, 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 you're seeing, you're saying Espeon lead? So I really like a fast electric lead. No, wait, I didn't have Espeon in the draft. What are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, you mean for the swapping? Um, why did I not? Because, um... I think Manetric's a better Pokemon than Sceptile. That's that's the main thing. I think a Manetric's a better Pokemon than Sceptile. Um, because Manetric is... It just has a more consistent, stronger stab attack. And, um... Just fast Electrics are really good. Um... No, I thought about doing Blindfolded Pyramid, but it'll, it would just be, uh, really boring. Trying to find the exit, uh, what? Let's see, 10 rounds, seven floors, 70 times, I think I'm good. I'm good. I think the item, the item management and the item management and the battles would be really cool blindfolded in the pyramid, but I just think that finding the exit ruins it, unfortunately. I think it, I think it ruins it, unfortunately. Um, and then I think, I think every other blindfolded facility besides Pike, I think Pike could be interesting. But I think Tower, Dome, and Arena, and Palace, I just think they're lesser versions of the Factory blindfolded because they also rely on set knowledge, but also you know the team that you'd be using in those facilities. So it just, I think it's just less interesting than Blindfolded Factory. I think Blindfolded Battle Factory is easily way more interesting. Um, no, I think Pyramid Blind would be possible. It definitely would be possible. It would just be really terrible to play because of the finding the exit. Um, yeah, pal, that's the thing, right? Yeah, wrong mon, wrong time. Exactly. Is this the hardest challenge of the entire frontier? Um, I'd say so, Half Moon. Well, I think... 
Okay, half moon. How are we? Are we saying half? Are we saying most difficult in terms of getting the gold symbol, or like to um, the the skill gap in the, the facility? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think blind blindfolded battle pike could be interesting. I wonder if do you? I wonder if like the current like uh the current like speed run team with like muck and waylord. I'm curious if that's actually like the optimal team for blindfolded my my intuition says no routing battle pike blindfolded would be kind of interesting actually that could be kind of interesting you guys have any ideas on that you guys should uh you guys know what you guys should uh um, 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 join the discord wait hold on this was not this was not a, this was not correctly timed i have to i have to do the invite i have to do the invite hold on hold on hold on omg G, 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 G. You guys should join the Discord. Pike is heat. Um, well, I did just do a really long attempt, and I got to 39, right? I got to 39, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A lot of those matches just felt like I was just kind of hoping something wasn't showing up. You guys kind of sensed that too, right? Like, that team was a very aggressive team, and it... it it, it was kind of like, I'm just hoping that something doesn't show up at the wrong time. Especially with Weezing having the boom on so much. Um, thank you, Disco. And look at Disco with the gold badge. I love this blindfolded battle factory, too. Let's go, Freddy Saurus. That's awesome. I'm glad you are inspired to try it on your... Make sure everyone's liking the stream. That's awesome, Elliot. You rock. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like... Yeah, no, you're right. SB Red Dragon. I mean, like, I, what was I gonna do? I wasn't gonna take, uh... And that was Rhydon, right? Yeah, I know that was Rhydon. That had to be Rhydon in the draft. I'm not taking Rhydon. Um, yes, thank you guys for all the support. I'm, I'm gonna stay in chat, so... Um... Yes. Woo! You think the Double Oko team would have done better? Yeah, let's... I don't think Espeon... If I'm correct, that Slowbro has Shadow Ball, right? Yeah, so check this out here. Let's look at the uh, window here. Why this is like zoomed in weird? I don't know what's happening. Hold on a second. Let me go. Hold on a second. Let's see. Let's put our Espeon three here versus Obro three. No, yeah, dude, look at that damage. Wow, Espeon is frail. Look at that. I mean, do you guys see that damage? Look at that. So, Slowbro would have surfed, and I would have, I would have only gotten a bite off. Yeah, there's no way that would have worked. And then also, I could have gotten Quick Clawed, and then that's it. And I, then I lost my Espeon. I had, I had to boom, right? Plus, how much did my Weezing Thunderbolt do? Let's see. Bite is doing 46 to 55. Yeah, so it was a roll. It was a roll. It was a roll. And yes, they did kill with Psychic. So yeah, it was a roll, and it just it didn't make sense to go for Thunderbolt Bite when I might as well... Because what that risks is... So yes, Thunderbolt does have the upside of getting a crit and a para. That is true. But the I think the downside of Slowbro getting a Quick Claw Surf or Shadow Ball off on the Espeon was really bad. Because then Espeon has to KO whatever is in the back. Um, yeah. So I didn't, I, I didn't like that. Um, and it was a roll. Thunderbolt plus Bite was a roll. So, uh, yeah. I think I made the right play there then. I think I made the right play there in Booming. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, all surrounded by a lucky RNG. Yes, Alex. Yep, you're right. I guess not an issue if you can just make them with hacks. Yep, true, Alex. But usually it's kind of nice to, like, actually go out and get your own team. Feels more genuine. I feel like that's what I would do if I was going for a... Di well, would I actually go out and try to find Pokemon for my Pike team? Uh, I don't know, actually. Why didn't you just tell the opponents to not have Metagross? This is a great idea. I should have thought of this. Damn it. Oh, come on, is FAQ working? Come on, FAQ. You got it, Streamlabs. 
Come on, Streamlabs. Nope, you suck. Crazy, crazy. That and we had we had a good amount of viewers here. Look at that. How many people were here? Seven hundred? Yo, let's go. We had seven hundred people here. Wow, that's so awesome, dude. Seven hundred people is sick. That's like really good for me right now. You know, in the fall, in the fall and the winter, that was like pretty, you know, a, a little bit above average. But that's really good. Let's go. That makes me happy too. Awesome. Thank you guys. You guys stayed. Yeah. Yeah. And like the, uh, um, dude, my Minetric was so lucky. That Minetric was absurdly lucky. What a great dog. Yeah. So I'm doing more runs on Friday and Sunday, you guys. Same thing, Friday, Sunday, um, there will 100% be a members only stream during the week. Um, how much BP do I hold right now? Let's see. 500, and this doesn't even count all the practice that I've done on different like save states and stuff. I'd say this is more like 5,800, 5,900 probably, maybe 6,000, I don't know. Is what I'm guessing this would be more like. But also remember this is speed up too. A lot of this is speed up, so uh, yeah um yeah but if you become a member hey uh 100 members only stream during the week where i will be grinding memorizing round six movesets do you think focusing too much on beating certain matchups rather than picking the best overall mods can work to your detriment um i don't know i didn't i mean i think i did focus on specific mods at times but i do you have any places where you think that I over-focused on a matchup instead of picking the best overall mon? Um, was there anything like that? What's up, Gingis? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a members-only stream during the week. Um, probably Tuesday morning is I'm what I'm thinking. Probably Tuesday morning I'll do a members-only stream. Um, and then also probably on Thursday, just to, cause I, I want to get this run. I'm like right there. I've made it to round six. What? Like this has been three times in a row. I'm on round six. So this is like three times in a row. I'm on round six. Like I, I'm getting way better blindfolded. Um, yeah. Yeah. Little Jeff. But I think that's, I think that could be a fair criticism of me though. I do think sometimes I do tunnel vision, and it, but it's also, it's so much easier to tunnel vision blind. Because when I'm sighted, I have a spreadsheet of all the Pokemon I can look at. When you're blind, you only think of the big Pokemon that you have memories of, or that are like really big, right? I'm not, I'm, when I'm blind, I'm not thinking about like, oh, what are the dynamics versus Slow King 3 or something like that. Exactly, yeah, exactly what Wildcat said too. Accounting for the worst case scenario to maximize your chances. That's that's the beauty of Battle Factory. Yeah. Thank you, Paul Heyman. Appreciate it. Kronos, what's up, Kronos? Man. That was crazy. There's a 2% chance you would have lived that Shadow Ball. <laughs> Oh, did you did you finish it, Joe, dude? You finished it? I haven't looked at Discord really yet. Ah, I see a DM from you. I'll have to look at it. I can imagine running blind just let negative bias be even stronger. Definitely. Do you ever get tired of this track? No, I don't. People ask me about that. No, I don't. I, it's not like I love this track, but I don't get sick of it. Oh. It's like I'm not. I don't. I'm not really. I don't hear it when I'm like playing. I, I'm not. That's like. The, be the music isn't even in my brain. Like, it's it's not it's not something that my brain is thinking about. Um, it's actually a lot longer than you think, Kronos. It actually is. There's actually some really interesting depth. Um, there's actually some depth to this. A little bit. Um, the soundtrack to your of your life. Oh my gosh, that makes it sound like I don't go outside. On track of my life, imagine. Run to your head track slaps. I'm so with you, Amitya. Is that how you say it, Amitya? I'm assuming. 
Green Wildcat should do some kind of Battle Factory bingo challenge, like first to kill Nolan, first to get a kill with Shadow Ball. Oh, that's a fun idea, actually. Battle Factory bingo? Battle Factory bingo. That's kind of funny. Like with Speed Up? No. Is there something wrong with it? No, it just doesn't... It's just weird. Something's wrong with the texture of this banana. I don't know. Something's wrong with the texture. It just didn't feel right. Yeah, the corn and peas came in clutch. <laughs> the, the, the corn and peas came in clutch. True, true, true. Did any, uh, did any interesting discussions happen? Do you have any side effects? No, I don't, actually. I don't. Um, it's actually, it's not a, it's not unhealthy. It's not like I'm wearing the blindfold, like, 24 hours a day. I'm only wearing it, like, two dot two days a week. And it's, like, for, like, seven to eight hours. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not bad. Now, you only, you go outside because you only stream twice a week. LOL, yeah. Book about vegetables. You made Leaky break character? Zero chance. There's no way. Mr. Leaky broke character? When we were on Tentacruel and telling chat to pull up the calc, we were all ignoring you and deciding on my choice of dinner. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of funny how, like, because I've been doing blindfolded streams for the past, like, month, this chat has kind of changed where you guys have, like, had to figure out a way to entertain yourselves more without me. Because, like, they're... The big thing with streaming is, right, like, part of the reason that you guys watch, and whether you want to admit it or not, is you watch streams because you want attention, right? Like, you join a stream because you want the streamer to notice you. Like, you want them to say hi to you. You want a little bit of attention. A little bit. And when I'm blind, I literally can't give anybody attention. So, it's like, you guys kind of have to, you guys are then, like, focusing more on each other instead of like it being a more dynamic experience, which I'm definitely excited for when the blindfolded challenge ends, then it'll be like that again, which I'm really excited for. Um, but it is funny, it is funny. No, it is, dude, I'm, dude, you guys, I can't tell you after like the first week or two of blindfolded streaming, when I was looking at the chat, I was very, very happy with how the chat was because I feel like it's a representation of this community and I just, I love it. Like, it just, it makes me very warm that like, it's just awesome. I love that like the chat that this is a, just, this is just a great community that you guys are able to just have fun with each other, meme with each other, like these inside jokes. It's just, it's just great. It's just great. Um, I have Kronos, yeah. What's the, yeah, pie guy, yeah. Ex Lone Sniper, I've noticed you. Yeah, the bad banana, yeah, dude. Oh, banana, man. Something's up with that banana. Definitely throwing that out. Definitely throwing that banana out. Yeah, and a lot of new people join. That's awesome. I'll have to look at the VOD. That's exciting stuff. That's exciting stuff. See, that's the other thing too that I miss is I really liked it when new people what's up salt slug 13 thank you thank you I really liked it when, when I'm streaming and new people join I can like say hi to them and I can be like you know like what's up welcome to the stream this is that that's the one thing I really dislike about blindfold is that I can't interact with new viewers um what was the deal with the event we had to walk on heels oh it's, I was just talking about an event that I did that uh um yeah Yeah, I missed the interaction too. Would you have ever taken Rhydon if you were certain it was Rhydon? No. You I will never I will not take Rhydon 3. That's awesome, Leah Grace. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Leah Grace has been here since September when I started streaming on YouTube. And Leah Grace is considered a, a YouTube OG. I guess that's what we consider it, yeah. Better quality bananas. Well, it's just it's the college dining hall banana. That that's the thing. It's college dining hall banana. Um. Well, it wasn't. It was not Magmar. No, no, no. Definitely wasn't. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have taken Ride on three. And dude, dude, this makes me excited, dude. I want to get. I want to do. Wait, 
very bot. This has been a fun chat. Even being way more larger than the small streams I usually join, it feels pretty intimate. Thank you, Freddy. I'm glad. Yeah, I think I I agree. I agree. I really think it is. Uh, a, it's a. I think I'm really happy. It's a nice balance, right? It's a really really nice balance of like there's a good amount of people here, so it feels hype, right? Like there's a lot of people watching. You want usually people like being on streams that have a lot of people, right? It, it just feels like oh this is more important, but. The chat isn't moving like crazy, you know? It's like, there's a good balance, yeah. And I, I, I'm really happy, I don't think I built anything toxic. Nathridium, that's what you said about Magical Leaf Gardevoir? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Fun to see you grind is crazy. Thank you, Angelo. You're from the single world record battle factor times. Hey, hey, we're gonna be back to that. Look at this, you guys, you see this? See this open level record? Well, it's not a record, but Wildcat has 119 wins. My PB is 101. I want to get over 119. I want to get to 120. That is that is a goal of mine over the summer. Um, I was thinking about doing this Minecraft thing over the summer, but I think I'm putting that on the backlog. Maybe this will be a winter thing. If you guys were here, you guys know what I'm talking about. Might be more of a winter thing. Um, but yes, open level singles returns and with a little bit of a pyramid in between probably. Have you tried memory exercises to help identify cries better? I know it's hard for some of the Gen 1 mods, but it might be useful if you think you need it. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like my cries are pretty good now, though. Am I wrong? I don't think... I think my cries are really good right now. Like, some of the early round mods, I don't know the cries right away, but I have... I don't care as much because those early rounds are a lot easier for me, right? Um... Yeah, Candela, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. First dono of the stream, you rock. Thank you so much. Um, favorite Pokemon cry? Okay, you guys ready for my favorite Pokemon cry? Does anybody here know my favorite Pokemon cry? Tell me what in the chat, what do you think my favorite Pokemon cry is? I have a very clear favorite Pokemon cry. I feel, I've definitely talked about it before. Oh my gosh, Mithridium instantly got it. Yeah, Mithridium instantly got it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's Agron. I love Agron. I think Agron's cry is awesome. Where's Agron? Oh, it's just so good. It's like... I love Agron. So, I, I, did I... I mean, I probably talked about it on Twitch at some point, right? Something like that. Bloff has the worst cry. I don't have no clue. Delcaddy. Oh, uh, that's a good guess, Toby. I like I like Delcaddy. Jinx, no. Thanks, Paul Vite. I appreciate it. Speaking of train, no, oh, never mind. I wa I watched Mr. Beast's uh, Lambo versus Train video. Dude, I'm dude. It's it just sounds like. It sounds it, it Agron looks badass and it sounds badass. So good. The person. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I also. I mean, who doesn't like this one? Come on, who doesn't like that one, right? Who doesn't like that one? Um, a Tropius sounds way more badass than it actually is. This sounds like a mon that needs like 100 more in their base stat total. Like, this sounds like a legendary. Oh, I love Kyogre's too. Do I have Kyogre here? No, I don't. Um, Kyogre's is amazing. Kyogre's is so badass. Yeah. Love Metagross. Metagross is so sick too. Metagross, this is such a sick cry. Um, who else do I really like? Walrein is badass. Dude, like when Glacier sent this out as a kid and I saw Walrein for the first time, I was like, oh my goodness, what is that thing? That thing is about to fuck me up. Some ROMs turned Tropius into Grass Dragon, yeah. How long did it take you? So, 
Frank, because I've been playing a lot of Pokemon for a long time, I had a lot of like, um, like cry knowledge that I didn't know that I had. But um, here, I can actually show, I mean, here, hold on a second. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I'll show you, I, I can show you all the members only stream that I've done. Here, watch this, check this out. These are my live tabs. These are my live stream that I have done that are member. So you can see the members only stream. So check this out, you ready? Uh, so there's some cry blindfolded practice more blindfolded practice with the Corsola that's cry practice victory bell is cry practice rapidash is cry practice togetic is cry practice more cry practice with the flygon and the Piloswine, and then more blindfolded practice i did a lot of blindfolded practice and just to get a lot of cries down um uh, if you become a member you can see those practice Test almost, what do you mean? What's another cry really like? Um, what do you sound like? Oh, you're like really support. I forgot about that. x Plouds is great. Just sounds like how it looks, you know what I mean? They upgraded the cries so much in Gen 3. Ah, Gen 3 is such a good generation. They did Gen 3 so good. They did Gen 3 way too good. I, I love Masquerade's cry too. Definitely, Frank, definitely. Only pre-gen 3 one that stands out is Starmie. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I also, um, I like Gravelers. Gravelers is kind of fun. Um, yeah, Starmie. That one's kind of neat. I like Kangaskhan's randomly. I don't know why. Just, I like Kangaskhan's. Um... Uh, those are fine. Gen 2 ones, like... I don't know. Azumarill? Oh, I like Azumarill's a lot, actually. I like Octillery's. Good one, Gabe, yeah. I'm a fan of Azumarill. I had no clue what that sounded like. Um, it's like a really long fart. Air across. This one's great. I like Skarms a lot. You want to see for alligators? Yeah, for alligators is pretty okay. There's nothing special about it, but I think it's fine. Oh, I hacked them in. I hacked them in. That's why. Uh, that's why you see. I think that the cheats enabled thing. That was the hack them in. Yeah, that's whatever. What's up, Dial-Up? Really like Sneasels? Yeah, Sneasels is pretty good, too. Farfetch'd, yeah. How do you practice the cries? So how I practice the cries is I'll literally... Well, so I have an Anki deck of, like, the different cries, right? But also... I'll just go like this. And then I'll... And then I put a blindfold on. And I try to think about what the Pokemon is. 
be at. Yup. Yeah, 39 wins. It's a good one. It's a good one. I was happy with it. I feel like I wanted to earn it more. Does that make sense, though? In a weird way, I'm kind of happy I didn't get the record here. Or I didn't get the, 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 the gold symbol here. Because I wanted... Something felt off about this run. I feel like I got way too lucky. Like, I want it to be like a... Whoa! I did make some really nice plays on round four and round five, though, that I was happy with. That I thought were intelligent. Round five was really cool. Um, what was my round three team again? Yeah, wow, that was Arbok, right? Yeah, that was Arbok was on round three. Um, I think I, oh, the Kecleon, yeah, Arbok, Solra Kecleon was fun. That was cool. Um, yes, original Matt. How old is the save file? Um, this is from last summer. From last summer in July. Yep. Last summer in July. Called Contest Emerald because I was originally playing through it to do contest content. And then I accidentally stumbled across the factory. That's pretty funny. Yes, thank you, Freddy Soros. Join the Discord, you guys. I'll be back on Friday and Sunday. Friday and Sunday. There will definitely be two members-only streams during the week. At least two members-only streams during the week. I'm going to really work on this because I want to get this blindfolded gold symbol. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. And I'm going to get it. So, uh, yes. But I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking. Coming members, staying members, donating, all that stuff. Really appreciate it. Um, yes, join the Discord. OMG, do it, do it, do it, do it. But yes, thank you guys for tuning, staying out, a bit, all that stuff. And uh, you guys should watch my recent video if you have Yes, this was fun. Let's go, Hog. Let's go, Yay. I'll see you guys on Friday or Tuesday slash Thursday if you're a member. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Yeah.